fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Welcome to finals day here in sunny surf city. I am Chad Wells. Next to me, my co-host, Mr. Brett Simpson. Brett, big day today. It's a humongous day. Here we go. Quarterfinals starting the day off. Surf dropped a little bit. Super clean. Right on the inside bank. Should be some solid uh, surfing this morning. Yes, and since 1957, Jack Surfboards has built a reputation as the premier surf retailer. They started by opening uh, the shop on Huntington Beach and Main Street, their flagship store, and the passion for surf and just supplying everybody their surf gear has uh, been the genesis and the driving force behind Jack's. Massive thank you to Ron, Bobby, Jamal. This is the Jax Pro Women's Quarterfinals Heat Number 1. Zoe Benedetto coming up against Olivia Storer. 3,000 points, $9,500 on yeah. the line here. Big heat. I mean, Zoe, standout performer yesterday. Olivia kind of squeaked through a couple couple uh, yeah. heats. Um, one keeper score and then a couple smaller ones. So this will be interesting to see. You'd have to say, you know, Zoe won the the last year's ranking, so she's sitting pretty in the Challenger Series this year. And uh, Olivia's trying to crawl her way up. She's younger, I yeah. think. So well, anything can happen. Benedetto, definitely the veteran out of this bunch, and uh, it should be a good battle. Super clean conditions, what, one to three feet, yeah. and high tide right on the shore banks. Like, this is what we want to see. Yeah, I, I prefer with the sandbar right now, a little bit higher tide. I think it comes up a few hours around nine o'clock. It's like a five something, which with the way the sandbar is, it doesn't feel super high tide just because no. it's kind of rolly. But um, it is it's a little more impactful on this inside. And these girls, you know, it's a uh, mano y mano now. So a little more strategic. <clears throat> You're not going to really let your typically you don't want to let your competitor just roam away. No. And uh, so they're on top of each other right now, kind of sitting on that main peak. And, you know, Blue's looking like maybe, hey, I'm going to get away from her, make her think about me, <clears throat> might find a corner. And Zoe has her peaks. I think she's working with Ryan Simmons. Simmo's down there, been on the beach. They've always got a plan. And, yeah, he grew up right right around this corner, so he knows his spot better than most. Yes, four women's quarterfinals today, right into men's quarterfinals, and ping-ponging back to women's semis, men's semis, women's air show final, men's air show final, and the finals women's first men's last and uh let's see the finals will paddle out for the women at 150 and the men will paddle out at 220. get down here beautiful day here at surf city and Jax has pulled the the cord on rallying everybody to get down here we have amazing a plus brands <clears throat> excuse me and uh, we'll run through that, but all these tents, running activations, board giveaways, free swag. My my wife and kids are coming down today. It's going to just be a... I was tripping on stuff when I got home oh, last yeah. night. There was hats, beanies, uh, keychains, the whole... They even got hydro flasks with their names on them. Yeah, it's uh, all they, happening. Yeah. I uh, This event's so fun, thanks to Jax, as you just said. I mean... We're, we're, we can't thank them enough to really uh, have this event again. I think it's seven, seventh year in a row. And we did have, obviously, the 2020 kind of canned it. But this year, we're back better than ever. And it's, I mean, it's so important for these athletes. I think all the brands are here, which is great. But the athletes need these events as well. So, uh, Jax, can't thank you guys enough. Ron, Bobby, Jamal, the whole crew up there. And, uh, yeah, they've got to be one of the, you know, bigger surf shop brands in the world, right? Oh, Halsey? 100%. And yeah. their reputation precedes them. They are just uh, A-plus top, top-notch top human beings. Family run, and then you, you know, you, you add in all the other brands and, and people that they help. It's, 
And you got to be cohesive. Nice little wave here. Looks like Olivia starts off with a backside snap. Cuts it back. And we're going to see a lot of that where the wave, you know, very nice peak. But that one, oh, she's kind of talking to herself. Little, you know, nice snap. But the, you know, just getting underway, that'll be see where that score comes. And then the judges are going to really base, you know, off these first couple waves. Here's a replay. Yeah, I mean, look how good it is. It's pumping today. That was a nice turn. And then this thing kind of tapers off, and she wraps it there and gets really isn't able to complete it. So it's coming down to that first major maneuver. And we'll let those scores. They might even wait. Sometimes judges will wait and see a wave or two. But, you know, they get down here 30, 40 minutes before. They watch the waves. They see the free surf. They kind of see what's what's out there, what's capable. And uh, you got to do the, you know, do the research. There it is, 3.67. So one decent turn. Gardner's 3.67 for Olivia Store. Priority now with Zoe. And uh, she had that 817 yesterday. Huge frontside turn. And uh, yeah, there we are. Lay of the land. Everyone's kind of starting to mosey on down. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. It is probably, it's 806. It's, you know, in the what, 50s right now? Yeah, it's a bit chilly. I mean, I, I, I uh, lightened up the rug today. Went went for a lighter weight hoodie. Yeah. Uh, courtesy courtesy of Excel. Thank you, Excel. That thing's nice. Yeah, it's got like this crazy little uh, waffle grid. Ooh, warm. Internal thingy. Internal it's all, fusion. It's all happening. Um, but yeah, I mean, today each matchup is just a battle. I mean, they're little four mini finals of their own, you know. Yeah. But we are crowning champions. We also have the U.S. Air Force Air Show presented by. FUWAX coming up. That's going to be interesting today. Yeah, that will be interesting. There's been some, you know, big airs this event. So nice front side turn there. Olivia ain't going to wait that long, sitting second priority and gets a one major maneuver. So it might stack something a little bit similar as her first. Just try to put a little pressure on Zoe to make that decision when that next set comes. And it is like we talked the last few days where sometimes it's hard to be right in the spot when the when the good ones come and there's that front side hack yeah i mean you know i think i said uh said it earlier like having that extra set of eyes on the beach whether it's uh the simo or the matt myers or you know you for one of your your hurley athletes just having that extra set of eyes to try to just simplify yeah and just help like hey this is kind of your zone this is where i you know, we're hedging our bets of where the best For sure. waves are going to hit the lineup. Yeah, and that's a lot of times like beach break situation. You're sitting on the beach and, and your head goes like full, you know, 360. So you could see the lay of the land and it's a couple hundred yards and you see waves everywhere. But you really have to kind of almost put on the blinders and focus on certain little areas because you can only cover that much ground. Oh, totally. And, and that's been, you know, with the four-man heats makes it a little bit easier to roam around these ones i mean olivia at this stage can can you know take a little more chance just because she doesn't have first priority and she does have a 417 and a 367 but it comes down to zoe's just kind of gonna sit where she's most confident and her and her coach have kind of thought that this is where the best waves have been coming in consistently and um, right now, nothing on the board. 17 minutes. Uh, it can, yeah, you can get, it can get to you when you don't ride a wave. She's, she's been waiting eight minutes already. So sometimes that makes it, uh, you know, the nerves, the pressure can kind of start to mount. And you don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> but um, just. Uh gonna do a little minor uh housekeeping as we call it today making sure that we relay what is happening down here if you make your way down here you don't even need food you don't even need sunscreen we've got uh acai republic there they've got the bowls also we have um taco surf providing some tacos and and on the walkway in, you're going to see those Java Jaws if you want to get percolated and 
and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Today, Zevin Automotive Excellence, who's jumped on board huge at this event. They are ponying up the women's first place uh, cash prize pool money and have partnered with Hankook Tires to give a set of tires away for the highest combined total. So you might even have lost in the quarters, but you've got a banger total. So that's looking like Cleland right or, now. Or lost somewhere else in yeah. the semi or whatever. But yeah. yeah, I think Al Cleland sitting in the driver's seat, sitting Seven, on some new rubber. 17-2. Put some new shoes on that whip. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, he's got the automotive or uh, Layright Deluxe box for the gas, he and, said. And Layright giving away free haircuts. They're also here on the walkway. They've got product down here whether it's clay, pomade, you name it, and they're handling the prize pool for the men's. There are. Uh, yeah. Hydro Flask, etching, custom, um, your name, stuff they've got plugged into the into the computer for uh, their bottles. They have the, the little computer etcher thing. Yeah. I'm like, I got mine today. I'm going to get my name on there. Uh, visit HB for all of your touristic needs. You want to find out the hot spots in HB, go see them. Food, hotels. Dickies is here. So that Spy Optics, Nixon, Super 73, that is just walking in. I mean, you're just, like you said yesterday, you're like, boom, a half he's gone. Just could stepping be into the place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you missed your buddy's heat. <laughs> then as you make it to the sand, and this is where all the magic happens, is the amphitheater of vendors and yeah. tents. It depends if you want to go right or left. Exactly. If you hang a left, you're going to see... Um, you know, Caton, Dekine, Fuax, Vans, Volcom, Captain Finn, Ruka, Luce, Billabong, Dragon, Ava, Rain, Slow Tide, Sun Bum, that's where your sunscreen's hiding, Rhythm, Olakai, Rusty, Stance, Melon, Rourke, and O'Neill. That's just on the left. And then if you hang a right, you're going to be greeted by the Salty Crew, FCS, Hayden Shapes, Lost, Cobian, Pizel, XL, Hurley, Almeric, Monera, Costa, Reef, Carve Skateboards, Catch Surf, Firewire, Rip Curl, Sharp Eye, Futures, and Quicksilver. So apparel, surfboards, wetsuits, Fins. accessories, yep. eyewear, footwear, it's all happening. The whole kit and caboodle. The whole kit and caboodle. It's, uh, yeah. Even Kobe came home yesterday. He had two bars of cold foo oh he's, he's just on the with f- sister for a warm and he was i was like dude you that you better hang oh he's shanghai gold <laughs> mine fully <laughs> just sold ice to the eskimos <laughs> i'm like that's base code. like what's up Paige? when's the next trip to hawaii that's when you're going to be using that yeah, next. exactly <laughs> <laughs> maybe go down to cabo so having a look we are um 5.1 at 849, so the tide is just basically on the top right now. Yeah. Well, Zoe, this one's kind of really slowed up. We had a lot of waves. It's always tricky, Wellesley, when the free surf's out there. you got got 100 people. Waves are being ridden everywhere. And then the heat starts. you got two out there, and yeah. it just tightens up a bit. But we have a looker right here. She's kind of got to get off the schneid. Might have some legs. Let's see right here. Big turn. Oh, does she pull it? Yes, she does. It looked a little sketchy there for a second. And I mean, this is you're you're testing the judges at this stage and yeah. early in the heat. All right, a one one vert banger. Where are they gonna put it? I think it's the best turn of the heat. Uh, as a competitor, you always want to know um, where. Like, you kind of watch what the other person does. You don't want to watch too intently, but you have to know. And she would know that. Both of uh, Olivia's scores are one turners. You know, she got a three six seven and a four one seven, and then Zoe, there it is. Really got the board up in t- at twelve o'clock, and then pulled it down before it exploded. And it's sometimes hard front side to do that on a small wave. Oh yeah, quick quick uh, quick work on the toes right there. Well, just really able to kind of rotate over the hips in a in a tight transition. So she's gonna roll the dice again under priority. Kind of looks like a little inside grower. Nice carve. And then she gets a little stuck on the rebound. So it, it was kind of lining up. Maybe could have just went for the one major and not the two for one carve to kind of speed float. Sure. But. Uh, so 5.3 high at 849. So we are basically on a full pool right now, it falls out to 305, a negative 0.03, so that's a low one. 
Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he, you know, finals this afternoon. I still think there'll be these little TP kind of runners, but it it does. I feel like it just lo it softens up a bit the the umph, but maybe that you know underlying south can kind of help us. And Olivia's found something right here, so nice carve in the pocket. Wraps that one back. Just kind of waiting, seeing if this thing's gonna develop on the inside. Another cutty, and then unable to stick it. So. Nice first turn using the rail. It's just on a smaller day, it's a nice maneuver, but you've got to package that the rail carve up with something in the lip. Yeah, I mean, any really substantial combo is gonna get get you into that good range. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's uh. You see a little something coming this way. Let's see if it's. Sometimes the sets aren't necessarily the. Uh, not that the sets are big or anything, but they kind of miss just outside of the bank. So it'll be interesting to be kind of looking for those ones that are going to have some sort of closeout. So nice turn here. Bottom turns, wraps it in the pocket. Cuts it back, just trying to stay with it. Nice technique. And then this one just kind of goes soft. She pushes extra hard, but then on that rebound kind of gets bucked off but nice drone view that'd be a cool shot yeah i mean olivia would have to really be you know kind of feeling it today zoe's been here before mm -hmm. i don't think olivia's been in this situation before yeah she's it, it's a it's it's already a good result for her huge a, a keeper and zoe's obviously when she enters these things it's entering to win at this stage where she's had multiple qualifier wins I think last year she might have got a semifinals in a uh, in a uh, challenger that you know was a was a big step in the right direction. So nine minutes, yeah. <laughs> Olivia would be feeling a little more of the pressure in the, in you know these certain situations, and especially now with Zoe having the best score. Yeah, I mean we we've got a uh, 850 remaining store sitting on the 417 367. I mean it's a it's a temporary lead. Mm -hmm. And Zoe, she's got the high of that 533 just trying to wash off this 133 and I mean as soon as she basically stands up, she'll do that. And uh and it's funny how it always comes down to the pointy end and just Well, yeah, like after all, she needs a 251, but at 825 to go and you look at it, she didn't catch a wave for the first 10 minutes. Yeah. So, not saying that's going to happen again. There might be some more urgency now to ride waves and knowing that she only needs a smaller score. And uh, kind of having a look here, she might be going on the backhand. So, up and riding, gets her board speed down the line, slashes it, wraps it again. So, smaller wave, but... Might have something on the inside. She's just going to kind of milk this thing to the bitter end just to patent all these scores. And yeah. uh, The 1-3-3, three, three, uh, I would uh, say, was easily replaced. I don't know if that's going to be a crazy high score. Most likely getting the score, but it, it you know, maybe by a point or so. Yeah, but I mean, had she been able to climb up on that lip and then come down and kind of find something in the hook, it obviously would have driven this score higher it's like she didn't really get to do this turn. yeah like right here she that's the wall that she kind of needed to hit and kind of went around the corner so the the pumping down the line you got to be able to kind of pivot and i think that's why i like the backside you're able to usually pivot in the tighter pockets and uh that one she went just a little too far out she needed to be turning back there a little bit and that that's why this score comes in at just a 3.7. Right. All right. So replaces it, jumps into the lead. Now trying to trying to better that 3.7. And Olivia needs about a five. Mm -hmm. Not a crazy score. She could do it. Not at all. 6.45 remaining. And uh, uh, yeah, we're here live. This is finals day here at the Jacks Pro. Women's quarterfinals in the water. Men's quarterfinals coming up. That will start at 9.40. And then we go into the semis. That is at 11:20 and 11:45 uh, for the women's two semis, men's semis, 12:10, 12:35. Air show, bang bang! People are going to be punting 
And then it is uh, for all the marbles, finals, men's, women's, 150 for the women, 220 for the men, and that is for 3,000 valuable QS points, 9,500 smackaroonies. I think we got to get a list because uh, I think the air shows are set, right? Um, it, yeah. Because it was after round of 16, I'm pretty sure. So we're into the quarters, and I want to say the names are set. So it would be yeah. interesting to see. You'll get... Well, off memory, Kolohe would be sitting Kolohe's, in the driver's seat. Kolohe's winning. Um, then we had Dwight Pastrana from a few days ago. Pastrana. Luke Weiler and Davi Toledo. I think Dylan Horde might have slipped in there. Ooh, okay. And then I think Talia, Talia, Talia Sandal, yep. got in there for the women. Okay. But yeah, we'll have to get the updated list for the air show that's coming up later today. U.S. Air Force presented by FUAX. Mm-hmm. So 520 remaining. Coming up next, we will see the likes of Leilani McGonigal and Mahaya Olin Demphel. So Costa Rica versus Canada. Mm, international battle. Quarter three. Wow, this could be a, a, a barn burner. Zoe Kaina and Sanoa Olin Demphel. So the sisters on the quarterfinal uh, appearance. And I mean, Zoe being so small in stature, this just might be a major advantage. And definitely... You know, competes out here a lot. Zoe does. Like you said, smaller in stature. I think she's only, I don't know, 13? 13, yeah, yeah. something like that. Very and young. She's on a Magic RS. Yeah, it looks really good. She has some of those high-performance kind of fin-release maneuvers which fit the, the criteria definitely today. Yep, and uh, quarter four, Kylie Pulsini and Kira Pinkerton. Yeah, well, you know, Kylie's got to be kind of... Rubbing her hands together a little bit on the smaller conditions, hailing from Florida. Oh, yeah. And Kira, Reveling this stuff. And Kira obviously loves the bigger stuff, So, but she's no slouch when it comes to, like, timing and, and surfing Huntington Beach. Sure. She knows, what, she knows what's at stake. Men's quarterfinal kicking off with number one, Luca Messinas versus Nat Young. Two vets. That's, a, that's the vet, yeah. Quarter two, Sam Reedy, uh, Owen Moss. Big results. Yeah, a couple younger kids. Al Cleland versus Wheeler Hasbro, quarter three. Yep. And quarter four, Blair Barton, Kolohe, and Dino. Man, they're all just mini finals. It's all happening. Yeah, there's some good heats right there. Some of the younger crop kind of making a push right here, starting the year off. You got Wheeler. I think Wheeler is probably the youngest out of this crew that's into the quarterfinals. I think Sam... Sam and Owen are probably right around, I don't know, 20. Mm-hmm. And then Blair as well. Wheeler's got to be, I don't know, 18, 19, so, I'd have to say. Yeah, get down here. Still still early days. Get your morning coffee and uh, some muesli in you. Come on down. Um, Jax is giving $75 off of surfboards, 20% off of clothing, and accessories in store and online. All you have to do is just head over to one of the sponsors' booths and grab a flyer. They're everywhere down here. Yeah, there's. And then you could take it into the flagship store, right? That's Get it. Some discounts. That's it. And it's only a couple hundred yards behind us. Jack Surfboards on Main. So getting down to the wire here. Two minutes thirty seconds. This is the and this is kind of what we were talking about earlier. Is Olivia gonna feel this pressure? Zoe's kind of making her think, having a sniff around these little insiders, just trying to better that 3.7 to maybe put a little more pressure on Olivia. But Olivia's staying calm. She looks, you know, looking in at her coach. I think she's with uh, working with Christian Sign, so out here consistently surfing this sandbar and has a good grasp on it. Always, he had a good event. He had Luke Guinaldo who made made it to yesterday round of 16, and then the Star Sisters and Olivia here into the quarterfinals. I mean, it's coming down to crunch time. We're uh, just almost on 90 seconds, Brett. Zoe with the lead, but vulnerable with the three seven. For and sure. I mean, as Courtney, our co-commentator, said, Courtney Conlog is looking a little plump it, out there. It is. We might have. We're on that, like, just maxing out in a, what, half hour or so? Yeah, it's uh, 5.3 at 8.49. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, like, pretty much on the 
on the top of the tide for the most part. Beautiful day. Look at the piers just glistening. Sun coming up out of that. What is it over there? The southeast? Or is it, was it rise over there? Kind of that southern. How long have east? you been alive? I don't know. <laughs> it slows your eyes out. How long now. have you been alive, Brett? <laughs> yes, it rises in the east and sets in the west. <laughs> But I'm saying, like in the winter when it's right. Oh the, yeah, yeah. Today's not as bad. I feel like we're obviously into the spring. But the winter rights at like before 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. Well, oh and, and the sun sets more like out of just off Catalina, yeah. Kind of in the in the channel where like in the summer it sets over Long Beach, like the skyline. Sky, exactly. Turns a little bit. Here comes. This is it right here. 30 seconds. There's nothing after this. So gotta make a move. Will this wind shell, windswell kind of show what it needs? It does look all right. Do or die here for store. Which way is she going to go? Looking left, going right. Oh, my, was that pressure? It looked like a left from here. I wonder if the left, like we only have the content condensed view. I wonder if the left looks short. So she might not have saw the score in it. And that's why she entertained going right. Mm. Oh, that one will... But it's uh, one, at that stage, it's just one big major maneuver to give yourself a chance. Yeah, I mean, I'd it, be... It's tough to go straight, and that's that just indecision, and she's young, she's going to learn from this uh, you know, mistake. If it was a mistake, I it was hard to tell, but it looks like Zoe Benedetto moving on. Yeah, the vet. So, uh, don't go anywhere. We will bring you more live action after this commercial break. Welcome back to finals day here at the Jacks Pro. This is quarterfinal number two, taking to the water, Leilani McGonigal, hailing from Costa Rica. Matea Olin Demfel um, from Canada, so international matchup here. We just saw Zoe Benedetto taking out uh, Q1, so she moves on into the fine or uh, semi, and the other per the the girl who comes out of this one will uh, match up with her in the final, correct? Semifinal. Yeah, bracket stages. So, you know, you start the draw from, you know, if it's round to 60, they divide it in half from, you know, half. So they're going to meet and they, you know, sometimes I always tell people like you see all these people doing good through the event. You might be on the other side of draw. You're not going to see them unless you make the finals. Right. You know, so it's really in these events, um, you know, if you do the math, like on the women's starting from 
you know, starting from, say you started from round 40. So it's two, four, six, well, I'll tell you, if I could figure it out on my fantasy team, I wouldn't have my team cannibalizing each other in the. You got to beat. Tw- <laughs> you got to beat twelve people. Twelve to, people. Twelve people to make the final. Hot damn! Yeah. So when you look at it, you think you hear all these big scores, and you're watching an overall event yeah, as a competitor, and you're like, man, it starts to kind of get crazy because you think, you know, oh, this guy did really good, or this girl did really good, but in the end of it all. You got to beat twelve people. So six heats. Yeah, six heats. All right, let's kick it down to the winner of quarterfinal number one, Zoe Benedetto. Zoe, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, great job. Tough, tough start to the day. A little slow. Maybe didn't get going until maybe uh, ten minutes into the heat. You know, what was the plan paddling out? Um, yeah, it looked really, really fun um, right before I paddled out, and I talked to Simone, and I was just like, you know, I'm not trying to just grovel threes and fours. I want to wait for a set and be patient um, and open up with a good score, and that kind of went south for me <laughs> in the beginning. Um, just was a little bit more slow than I expected. It, I thought it was more slow than when everyone was out three, free surfing. I thought it looked really fun um, and consistent, but yeah, I guess that's how it rolls sometimes and just shake it off. Well, good job. That a way to adapt. Uh, the 5-3-3 the three, three turn was super nice. Timing was good. Hopefully, you know, going into the semis, you're gonna, you'll are gonna you have more opportunity, and that's the name of the game. So congratulations. Um, you're going to be out there, you know, in a couple hours' time. So get warmed up. And uh, any shout-outs? Um, just hiding my family back at home if you're watching. Um, all my sponsors and my friends that support me. So, yeah. <laughs> well, good job. We're uh, proud of you, and we'll see you soon. Thank you, guys. Zoe Benedetto taking home. Is she still getting some of that automotive excellence debt box all after the, this? All the way to the final. All the way to the final. So she's going to Ching. She's had, you know, you look at it now, she's had four or five heat wins. I mean, yeah, that's a flight to Australia. Sit- Not there just yet, but at least gas, half, you sure. know, save it. Sid, the package, uh, a bruisey from water brothers in rhode island says you and i should do them all let's start our campaign <laughs> let's start campaigning now yeah let's oh i mean just a little sugar a little spice a little comedy we're just trying to you know keep surfing just fun. a little stir the pot let's not make too surfing, much make it fun again make surfing fun again it <laughs> is it's so much fun oh we love having fun she just got her you know and especially when you get a heat win and you make some extra coin that's fun <sighs> That's really fun. Yeah, I need to go make a heat so I can make some extra coin. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but that you, I, you know, Andrew Automotive Excellence was chatting with him yesterday. He was, uh, he's such a cool guy. It's rad that he's doing that. Great, great situation for the competitors too. I know they love it. So backhand snap here. This wave looks all right, Wellsy. You know, Leilani kind of like looked like she had a weird bobble off the bottom right out of the gates. So, I mean, she's just trying to just put something on the board here. But I was like, oh, here it comes. And then she kind of had that weird, like, rail kind of dig. Wow. So maybe the next wave just drew a little off the sandbar. It looked like Mateo was getting a little swivel going. I mean, probably just a couple small scores to start with. 18 minutes remaining. So, um, I mean, early days. Watching the last heat, like, Zoe thought she was going to go out there, be, be calm, be patient. Waves didn't really happen. Olivia gets the couple, the threes and the fours, and then she's just like, I got to get going. So a little bobble off the bottom turn there might have cost that, you know. A little spark off the top. Yeah. But, you know, it's like you said, Brett, you kind of have to focus on kind of segments in the lineup because when you look at it, your eyes see everything. Mm. And uh, I know that for a fact because, like, I'll pull up at the HP cliffs and it looks like it's firing. And then paddle out and just be... You're like, where am I? <laughs> just can't buy a wave. <laughs> um, and it's the same thing because you're up on the bluff. You just see a mile of just open you're, peak. You're looking down to like up to Sea Point and down to Golden West. And you're like, oh, there's so <laughs> many waves. Exactly. Whoa, here we go. The backup score. Nope. It looks like up she's on up. a new craft. I think, I, I, if I can't remember, I think she's on a different board than she has been. So she might have went a little smaller, could be... You know, EPS. Would you go back to the uh, the flare on a day like today? Yeah, I think I would have to. 
Um, it's just gives me that little extra zing. So I'm sure all the competitors are kind of looking at their boards, their board confusion, maybe even a different fin. And hopefully you don't overdo it because we've all been there where you're going into this and you want every little advantage you can get. Yeah. But sometimes it's a disadvantage in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> and it really I mean, throws you for a spin. That's probably the hardest part um, about being a professional surfer when you've got this massive quiver of boards. If you're not super like in tune with every sled in your quiver... It, I think that's where it, that kind of indecisiveness comes I in. Just, I just remember there was events where the waves would change, and you're like, everything's feeling good, and then all of a sudden the conditions just get a little different than maybe what you had been surfing, and then you just start looking at your boards, you start looking at fins, and it's just... <laughs> It's, it's just a cluster. Yeah, I'd say, well, it's a lot, you know? It's a golf bag. It is. You're like, should I take this out? Maybe I'll throw in a couple si uh, bigger sides with a smaller back. And then a lot of the fins now are based off that. But, like, it's just, yeah, it's a mind riddle. I mean, I've been doing a bunch of uh, coaching with Kei Kobayashi. I mean, sadly, his heat didn't pan out how he was uh, hoping for the other day. But he has... Oh, gosh, I would say probably about 30 surfboards. Yeah. But he is so in tuned with every nuance of every surfboard that the he has. The difference, yeah. All these Biola shapes. And when he'll, we'll show up to the beach, he's got his one epoxy, that the stringerless, the other one that's poly. And I'm just like, it's mind boggling, but he's got it sorted because he's got all these different paint jobs. Yeah. But they all look the same. They but all look, the, yeah. He knows. I don't know. <laughs> But you're all what's what? Yeah, and he's he's got it 100% dialed, and I think that that's a really huge uh, thing in, in going into events like this is just having the confidence in the equipment. Yeah, it yeah. is. It really, really is. And obviously, everyone's good at this stage. It just comes down to who's consistently kind of putting in. I mean, they're all everyone's putting in the work, but like just the consistent heats and and trust in everything they have and do which is the difference can we get some of these lines to kind of form up yeah we're, we're we've peaked i'm pretty sure the tides not we haven't peaked but it <laughs> looks like the tide has <laughs> it's 8 36 so it's 8 59 basically nine o'clock it's a five three but the tide is, is essentially not really going up too much well more. looks like matea maybe a little cornerback left she's gonna go right it's a nice peak could be one major maneuver slashes Ooh. it so that's a bit better there maybe a wave of the morning and just that, hacking it board looks good yeah i think red's possibly up and riding too looking at this left hander and as you can see like from that drone view coming from the pier to your left that's a lot of wind swell coming from up north eight second intervals so not a lot in between it where is a little underlying one foot at 12 seconds south that could be the difference in a wind today like a little bit later on that low tide it showed up yesterday and i mean it i think the south kind of revels on the lower mm -hmm. tide yeah opens up the playing field a little bit more to the north but yeah i mean uh we can only hope it stays nice and clean for our finals day Rippers here at the Jax Pro. 13 minutes remaining. Uh, we've got Dumphy threatening to come pay us a visit. <laughs> um, I'm down with that. I would love to get some of these athletes in here. Yeah, Matea, 6'5 and a 4'17. She's in the lead. Leilani chasing a, a 6'9. She hasn't really yet dumped a good score into her uh, score line, so she's on the hunt. She did have one, so let's see what the judges. Is. is this the three seven seven? I think it is. I I think it is because that was kind of right piggybacked uh, Matea's wave. Let's see. There it is. Well, nice snap there, but then it just does that taper and you know not covering a lot of distance. So the one turn Gardner's three seven seven. So it's a battle. Twelve minutes remaining. Coming up next for the ladies. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Quarterfinal number three, Zoe Kaina, Sanoa Olin Demful. So that is going to be another battle. But if you are in striking distance, 
50 miles, get down here. There is all kinds of swag on offer. There is sunscreen from Sunbum for your skincare needs and uh, all kinds of great brands. I mean, I'll run through them again, but because uh, it's kind of a long laundry list, but it's all happening down here. You bring the kids down, come down yourself. I mean, Vans is, you know, they're cooking up waffles on a stick. You have a little brekkie. Uh, with the Vans crew, and I do believe we have our air show qualifiers. Yeah, so here it is. The Women's U.S. Air Force Air Show presented by FUWAX. The finalists are Maddie Stanton, Rubiana Brownell, Bella Kenworthy, Zoe Kaina, Zoe Benedetto, Talia Swindoll, and Vela Mativ. The Men's U.S. Air Force Air Show presented by FUWAX finalists are Kaloe Andino, Dwight Pastrana, Luke Weiler, Alex Lima, Dylan Horde and Luke Guinaldo. Ooh, that's a battle. Yeah. All right. So Luke Vance, or uh, I mean, Jack's team rider snuck in there. Yeah, he did have that kind of fin ditch air yesterday that would, should, which would have slid him right into that final spot. But at the end of the day yesterday, huh? Yeah. Luke? Yeah. I do recall. And if that's the that was the maneuver that kind of saw him through into the round of 16. Okay, ten and a half minutes remaining. The Canadian, 10.67, doing the number right now on our Costa Rican, chasing a 6.9. Leilani's on the hunt. And, uh, you know, it's it's funny. Like, when I walked up, you you see all these waves, just kind of like how Zoe said. And now, you're like, you throw the horn on, throw the jerseys on. You're like, where do they go? <laughs> it's all of a sudden, it's slowed down. Kiwi like, gets oh, no. scared. Oh, you see a dolphin out the back, yeah. hopefully. Um. It's like a little little bit of a early morning contest curse. Like we see it everywhere in the world. You know, the contest hooter goes, people are getting barreled. It could be at Chopu. We've had years where it's just nonstop. All of a sudden, brr, first heat goes out, <laughs> just restart. Hit the e-brake. Yeah, you're like, what is going on? So LXD Eyewear's Ronnie Nelson throwing the text down saying his daughter collected about 300 bucks worth of stuff already. Wow, that's epic. Yeah. So sick. So all the sponsors down here made, a lot of them made some, you know, customized merch, collabed with Jax, or just hand handing away goods. My daughter got the raddest little koozie. It's like a Volcom koozie with some arms on it, like a person wetsuit. <laughs> it's pretty rad. That's There's epic. some cool stuff. So come on down. Uh, gosh, let's see. I'll just throw. I'll throw what we know. Volcom is um, 12 o'clock doing a beach cleanup, and you can earn yourself a prize that way. So that's 12 noon at Volcom. Ruka's doing a limbo challenge, uh, one o'clock today. Uh, see how low you can go. I go so low I can't get back up. Uh, and then you've got Sun Bum. So they've got the, the SPF down there, but if they – here's the deal. If you go to Jack's flagship store, when you buy one of their SPF 30s, you'll get another one for free. How's that? That's pretty rad. That's huge. That's doubled up. That's Hugo. You know how much sunscreen I, I go it. through with my kids? Oh, yeah. It's gnarly. I love a two for one. It is absolutely mind boggling how much sunscreen I go through with my two groms. Every time we surf, slip, slop, slap, they're covered. Um, rhythm. So if you go purchase any rhythm product to Jack's, bring the receipt down and they're going to be raffling off a 6 0 vessel surfboard. Thanks for coming. Hello, Gavna. Spin the wheel at O'Neill from 11 to 1 and 2 to 3. They've got some swag happening. Dakain is holding a huge raffle every day at 2.30. Win a leash traction pad, tumbler, wet dry bag, towel, and a hat. Say what? The whole kit and caboodle. Are you kidding? He dialed. That's like a full day uh, at lowers right there. Just add an e-bike. <laughs> um, sharp eye, demo aboard, pull the trigger. You'll get 70 off at the Jack's flagship store right up there. Wow. So they've got demo sleds. Come ride one. You want to know Kanoa Garashi rides? Seven, Just it's hop the 77. On or Just, no, the 77's Felipe. He's on the storm. He's on the storm. Hop on one of those things. You want to do what Felipe's ripping on? They've yeah, got 77. it. 77. Um, Hydro Flask, again, we've talked about it. You can customize your Hydro Flask bottle down here. Here we go. Dempful. 
trying to replace a 417 or just throw a massive score on the board and create some distance. And McGonagall with priority chasing a 6-5. I mean, that's a pretty decent score for today, Brad. That's well, it would be it would be the uh, tied for the hot, you know, second hot, high or the highest score of the day. 6-5 is the highest score so far we've had in these first two heats. And 805 is selling their latest gear, also handing out free hats, press koozies and stickers, taco surf, um, grab a taco, and you can also sign up to win a taco. I would double. I love. I oh, wait, no. You can win a taco cart at your next party. That is sick. Hold the phone. I can't just have one taco. No. I need Are like two or kidding? three. Have taco but, surf cater your But then if I have major? a whole thing, I'm inviting everyone over. They don't know what they're in for. If I win, the boys will just be mopping those things. <laughs> um, it's not all you can eat, tacos. <laughs> They'd be like, you fatties are done. Get out of here. Uh, Jax, um, they've got a WSL collab gear at all of their booths. So you can find a few different locations down here in our little vendor village. Surf Tech's got, uh, they're demoing their latest Surf Tech models. And... Uh, you can get 70 off up at Jack's. 70 off is humongous. Yeah, it's almost 100 bucks. That's like, yeah. And then Spy's got uh, Take a Happy Boost Challenge, and you can get in the running to win a pair of free sunnies. Wow. Got to protect your eyes, the windows to your head. The wind. <laughs> I like that. Sometimes they may be small windows. <laughs> Or big windows. Especially when you're down here at the beach in the afternoon, you get that glare. But oh, yeah, no. Once the once it, the the sun gets out the back, you need uh, the welding mask. You can't yeah, those, see colors. Uh-oh. See purple spots. Slash. So Matea just under priority. She's just going to kind of keep putting the pressure on. Red Leilani's going to hear her riding waves. The commentator kind of just, you know, stresses you out a little bit. Totally. I just want to see him have opportunity. Mm. And it's just kind of slowed down. I think we're we're on the peak. But here's the opportunity. Zap. So staying, staying light on her feet, trying to bob and weave through this inside. Just it, that's the only thing that's been letting her down is just there's not that... You need Ending. the con yeah. You need the connector. Uh, you need the rollover minutes. It's got to be able to come together and roll over somewhere down the line. She's doing nice little swoops and kind of carves and cutties, but it's all just kind of blending in. And it's not her fault. It's just you know, at a certain point, you got to find that right wave. Whether you wait ten minutes or you luck into it under priority, just kind of hunting around. And you can see right here, it's, you know, full tide, little wind swell coming from your screen from the right to left. I mean, they look like they're pretty, like they would be south of where we are. They're down, yeah. They are to the south for sure. Looks like they're a little bit closer to the southern end of the venue. And that's kind of uh, the, the jam with the higher tide. It's but definitely, you can see that little piece of south well, moving over to the right. It's definitely safer. There is waves, you know, if you walk out from us to the right, but I think you could sit there for even longer. Mm. It kind of might could get skunked. Yeah, so if you guys are just tuning in, thank you for watching. This is the Jax Pro men's and women's 3,000, 3,000 points on offer. This is a huge launching pad for a QS campaign to get onto the challengers for 20, uh, 24, 25. Yep. First event, we've got our Challenger Series surfers all locked in, ready to go from the North America region. They're going to be heading over to Snapper Rocks in a few weeks' time. I hope they score. I do, too. I love watching that comp. Yeah, last... How was it last year? Was there... F there was a couple fun days, no? I think so. Yeah, I know the previous year, the first day was, like, pumping, and then it got a little bit funky, but... Here's a couple, uh, our past winners, past champions, Huzanomi, Kevin, Crosby, Nat, still in the draw, looking to maybe put his name on there again. Mm. 
And then right there, you got some of our superstars in the women's round. Caitlin Simmers holding the yellow jersey in the women's. Yeah, Sawyer, back-to-back, 22-23. She's on the world championship tour. She's had a great result at oh, Bells. Yes, she did. She uh, kind of crawled herself back. So she's going to have to head to Margie's and have a good result to you know, make that mid-season cut, which, you know, my feelings on that. But okay, down to 90 seconds, and just uh, wow, Dempful, Olin Dempful, Dempful Olin, Olin Dempful, Dempful. Olin. Uh, she is sitting oh. in the driver's seat. This is a big wave right here for McGonagall chasing a 6.9. Oh boy, yeah, so. Matea with a nice read, like, I don't think she's going to get it. I'm just going to hang on. It's tough to do with, under, like, a minute left. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely swole out there. Yeah. <laughs> and we've, we're on this back end of this uh, dropping windswell and this kind of underlying creeping south. Well, this could do it right here. Uh-oh. Nice little left, little combo. Could be the nail in the coffin right there. Yeah, well, it leaves the door open a hair. If uh, Leilani could get back out there, she did just ride that wave. So 35 seconds. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be the every other today. I mean, a lot of waves ridden, only a couple with substance here in this heat. It's kind of, I guess it's just a tide thing. Yeah. But it sure does look beautiful from uh, the drone shot, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely looks fun to just go surf and swizzle around. But, yeah, you get into these heats, and when you're looking for those quality waves, I feel like they could just avoid you. And Matea did better her score, so even now she would have needed a 7.73, which is tough. So that one will do it. Matea Demful olin into the semifinal. She'll be up against Zoe Benedetto. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll see you in a sec. Welcome back. We are live coming at you from Sunny Surf City quarterfinals. Heat number three, Zoe Kaina. Coming up against Sanoa Dempful Olin. And uh, man, this could be another barn burner. Yeah. 
Well, this is a little bit of a size difference. Sonoa's taller, lankier. Well, know. and you've got Zoe, who's the local girl, gets to sleep in her own bed, show up, uh, you know, lives a few miles from the beach here, and I believe she is now surfing for Huntington Beach Board Rider. As we swooped her. Oh, man, you guys are doing all kinds of shifty moves. So is this with a non-priority <laughs> situation on the backhand? Zoe, nice turn there, Wellsy. That was uh, spicy. Boom. So nice flow. I think the difference in this heat could possibly be the power right here. So you see, catches the nose a hair, but just a little more solid on the feet. Yeah, major size difference. I mean, Zoe's, what, 12, 13? Yeah, young. Just a pop. calm. And finding yourself here in the quarters. Quarter finals. Epic yeah. result. Huge result. Already. Any, anything further is just ch a cherry on top. That's right. I mean, who knows if she did a few of the... It looked like she did some of the qualifiers last year. I don't know how serious she's taking it, but she's kind of pushing pushing that route now, obviously with this success. But beautiful turn there. Timing right on. Rebound that. I really like that, where she got a little rebound off the whitewash and just showing her repertoire right here bang so solid turn for zoe kaina i mean gnarly props to rs it's got to be hard shaping a board that That's small <laughs> yeah a little too thick and then this one nice turn little bit cat little catchy on the you know coming down but then stays she gets a little more bonus love through this inside yeah found a little more meat on the bone through the uh shore break section and uh, getting the oncoming, like just the, anything that's closing out to smash into. Yeah, it just has that feeling like, oh, the wave was finished, wrapped up. It didn't just die out on you. Yeah. That leaves the judges like, ah, a little bit empty at times. But we got a tight, you know, everyone's fan picks. They got Sonoa up by 16%. I think I did my math right. But Zoe got a lot of the crew nice battle here yeah good for first, sure good first exchange looks like red gonna dig into this one looking left so up and riding nice carve back into the pocket holds the rail again smaller wave but she's gonna keep her board speed might have some oncoming here gets the fins up and over wraps it again such good form for such a young surfer. Yeah. Just so formed out. I love it. Just the board speed, too, and the control. And she gets the nod. You know, that first turn, clean timing, gets the 5-5. Five, five. Sonoa goes 5-1, so pretty even exchange. And then she's got that score coming in. Yeah, I mean, that little bit of hang-up possibly kind of hurt that uh, score of blue just incrementally. Maybe even, I mean, I'm thinking a point where she... So they're going to like that. Nice carve. The rebound, too, got a little twang off the whitewash. And then she's able to, like, carry her board speed, clicks it there, wraps it. So there it is, 4.17. Well, that's the backup. But they're already in kind of that lay of the land of the first two heats. She's got nine. What does she have? 9.67. So she's solid, solidly on her way. Yep. Well, let's uh, throw it down to Matea, our winner of heat number two. Are you there? Hello? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Kind of stressful out there. It seems like it's slowed up uh, as the tide is peaking. Yeah, it's definitely gone in a lot slower and kind of mushier out there with the higher tide. But I feel like when you get on the little bit bigger ones, they're still totally rippable. Yeah, what was the plan, Matea, when you were paddling out? Did you ha you know, were you looking right or left or just kind of trying to adapt as you go? Kind of trying to adapt. I think the right, like, out front of kind of like this whole setup has been looking the best the entire event. So I just wanted to go get a couple and surf strong and confident and, yeah, just hopefully get a couple wins because awesome. it would be easy not to get any out there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, congratulations. You're into the semifinals. And what's, uh, are you looking to make a big push for that Challenger Series this season? Yeah, I'm kind of um, just taking it event by event. Um, I really appreciate being home, and it's definitely a grind being on the QS. You're constantly traveling, and so yeah, I'm just trying to figure it all out, but definitely 
going to try my best and enjoying all these moments. Well, we're love eating and learning. Yeah, we're love watching you surf, surfing really well. You're into the semifinals. Anyone you want to get a shout out to? Um, shout out to everyone here that's supporting me. Um, I have Matt down here working with me. My sister is in the heat right now, and then my boyfriend. We have a really good crew, and also we're staying with LB Sears. He's one of like he's a fitness coach for Team Canada, so he's been helping us with recovery and everything at his place. So feeling really supported down here. Epic. Oh. Awesome. Well, congratulations. We'll see you coming up in the semis. Thank you. And that was your winner, quarterfinal heat two, Matea Dempfel Olin marching into the semifinals, and that's a great result. Big event for the Olin family. Yeah. So Noah out there now looking for a score. She's up against the youngster. She only needs a 4.58 with priority. So, yeah, Matea Team Canada, they got their trainer here working with Myers Mentorship, dialing in, you know, all the pre-heat, during heat plans. And uh, it's important you have support when you're, you know, on the road, good people around you, keep it relaxed, but, you know, got to be serious. Yeah, have you ever, things Wellesley wonders... Have you ever wondered, Brett, that if, because we have all those container ships, mm. and uh, if they bat the swell down at all? Because you've got to figure, <laughs> as tall as they are up top, they've got to be just as tall down below. They're like 60 feet under. Yeah, so um, you just got to wonder, like, on these small swells. It's how kinda... far, yeah, I always, how how far do those things sit under? Look at that. I don't know, but do they, like, kind of knock it down, or maybe as it, like, lifts the boat up does it help squirt it out the back and yeah. shit? <laughs> give it a little more i think water is just it, it just it the swell it's definitely not blocking it you know what's blocking it is catalina out there oh yeah that thing <laughs> <laughs> how yeah i mean it's 26 catalina is what 26 miles out but it's pretty long in diameter like it would we're definitely oh that thing is the west swell we'd killer. be ocean beach that thing kills West Swells for uh, some beaches south of here. Yeah. Yeah. So we got Catalina. You have uh, Palos Verdes. Obviously, farther up north, you got Point Conception. So there's a lot, you know, these west. The wind swells kind of, you know, sneak through there. And oh, bend still, and... we have the breakwater. That thing yeah. just kills us. Long, yeah. We have a super small window. Yeah. It's. Well, Fort, uh, just under 15, Zoe. In the lead, Sanoa looking for the 4.58. She's already has the 5.1. Okay, chasing just uh. Simma, Simma's chiming in. Oh, what's he got? Now yeah, container the... ships are floating. They float over swell. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's probably, and it's probably deep enough out there in the channel that that happens. I know. Who I I just feel like the wa there's so much water like. I don't know. I, I don't think it's breaking it up. It's especially on the ground swells coming a little bit deeper. I just mean on weak swells like yeah, days probably. like today. Well, this is an important ride here. What she got? Well, beautiful first turn. She's well on her way. So Noah and uh, nothing really after that. But I will say that turn was feisty. Maybe I'm going to say best turn of the heat. Well, let's see where the judges take this one. 1350 remaining coming up next more quarter final action yeah heat four final heat of the round of Kylie quarter Polstini, finals Kylie Kira Pinkerton wow that's a you know that like we were saying i think that's a it's a cool little heat we got here Kylie hailing from Florida used to the um you know smaller kind of quicker wind swell conditions but Kira is like you know, tried and tested in all types of conditions. You got to say a little bit more of the veteran, but she's only maybe 22, 21, so not that old. But here's a wave, important. Uh, Zoe off the bottom, nice snap there. Wraps it in the pocket, so looking solid. Zoe kind of, and another. Oh boy. So look like that wave had the combination that we've been kind of waiting for she's not done okay now she is wow that's gonna help the uh kind of just extend right 417 trying to just oh get for rid sure i'm going definitely best wave of the heat i'm going into the good range that 
the previous Asano was a 4.33, so it wasn't enough. And that one, I, I liked it the best. Yeah, well, she got the just, it stood up and let her just hammer the combos. It just had that, the speed and the connection was there and the extra bonus, you know, maneuvers. Well, it could, is it turning on? I hope. I hope we get a few more waves. 12 minutes to go. So the tide's done. It's peaked 859.53. So we are now on the turn. Well, there's definitely that, the power in that maneuver. There, you know, comparative, like this turn was really nice, but look how much less spray. Like Sanoa, when she wrapped it, it was like buckets. Oh, she's just zapping this thing. But Zoe is obviously smaller in stature, but has been picking, you know, little better waves. And a solid score coming in for her. So zips it right there. Then this one a little bit longer of the rail to set it back up. And then it forms up again, and she's able to kind of slash it right there. So 6.33. So just more putting the pressure on Sonoa. Yeah, I mean, uh, turning the screws on Sonoa now, chasing a 6.73. We're down to 11.20. And uh, 10 o'clock usually is uh, activation time, people, which is about in an hour, hour from now. Come on down. Everything you need here, food, coffee, acai bowls, and sunscreen you don't even have gonna, to bring anything i'm gonna need some of that soon. have a few bucks in your pocket for for your uh your acai and your java needs and then for the most part and your tacos but sun bums got you covered and you can walk away i mean i'm looking at a pretty epic jacks wsl collab shirt yep Jack's that Pro. um scott wearing just put on my, in Thank front of me you, scotty like all oh, red's my favorite color so happy. So stoked. Well, 10:30. Sonoa sees something. She's jamming. She needs the six or 6.73. Let's see what this thing has right here. A little wedge. Up and riding on the backhand. Jams it there. Wraps it again. Is this thing gonna come together? And it okay. does. So that. Um, you know, it's gonna get it close for sure. She's making them think. If not, I, I mean, what I, do you think? I'm she kinda, gets it. It's got to be better than the five one. No, guaranteed. Right? Yeah. So six seven three. Is it gonna be enough? I mean, it's. I feel like it's just gonna be right there. Um, that one lower speed. Let's see. She didn't carry a lot of speed Slap. on this one. Nailed the first turn. Wrap. And then she gets the actual like click right Ooh, there. The finish was solid. Buttoned it up. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Well done there. Didn't bottom turn too hard. Kept her speed. Keeps it in that three quarters of the top. And then has to hop a little bit, but then clicks it. Even gets a little release of the fin. So yeah. they're going to like that commitment. Did good to bring it down. Almost looked like she could have lost it because that section kind of ran out of steam. Yeah. Judges got their work cut out for him on this one because that is going to be a possibly a big defining moment so interesting in is zoe heat. gonna ride away or is she gonna hang and wait and hear when you're out there you don't know you know your competitor just got a good wave but you're like do i you only go if the wave looks i can you know better your score solidly but now they're both out there she's gonna kind of wait and hear how this situation just looks oh. like it's just under a couple yays couple nays it's six, right six, there seven so, yeah, it decreases the deficit now chasing a 5-1-6, but it was just right there. That's kind of what I this was This is guessing. a split in hairs heat. I would have probably been a little bit on the side of yay. Like in that, there was two, what do we got? We got two sevens, two six fives, and a six. So yeah. split decision. And the six person went 6-5 on Zoe's high wave, so... The, that person liked her Red's wave a little bit better. Which I, I mean, mean, the I only thing it, I could really think of was just the amount of speed through start to finish. Yeah. You know, on Zoe's wave. Yeah. And then the speed which Sonoa had, but she also kind of nailed the turns where well, that's maybe Zoe's thing. was like the, the speed. Speed's a funny one because like when you're 
like certain waves you can only go so fast it's a te- it's tempo you know tempo yeah. of a wave because that wave wasn't like a speedy wave where zoe definitely you know looked like she was going faster and just feel like it maybe was a little bit better of a wave but i think sanoa surfed hers up yeah way. yeah yeah Okay, here we go. Under priority, quick look. Nope, 720 remaining. And Zoe with priority. And that's just, I think, a power a power difference. Like the size, the maneuvers I think Sonoa has been doing are a little bit bigger. But I will say, I think Zoe's been on the little bit better of waves. Yeah, and I mean, I would even say weight. You know, Sonoa's, you know, almost a full-grown... Uh, uh, young lady, and and Zoe's just a, a wee little tacker. Well, she did surf that well. Such Lashes good right form. there, yeah. Feel like she gets that front foot back just a little bit. It's gonna be like she's gonna be able to rotate a little bit over it as well. Bigger maneuvers. I feel like it's just above the front point. Oh. Where here, look at the. I mean, the spray. She's she's a little more tail underwater using that rail and then this one drops the head kicks it so that's that's more difficult than just kind of placing it there sure you know yeah i mean they, it was right there six six seven on sanoa's wave so i mean you're right it could have they were splitting hairs could have went uh, the other you way. had two judges he had two say yes and then three said no pretty much uh, how they you know navigated that that score Still time left, six minutes, and the local grommet. Well, this is in interesting. She's kind of letting, like, in this situation, she's a youngster. I don't know if I'd let my competitor just roam away. I have, you have priority. She's paddling to the left. Your competitor's paddling to the right. Um, and now she's going to kind of come back. But you want to be near them. You don't want them to get an opportunity away from you with priority, especially it's man on man. It's, or, woman on woman it's like you don't you got to control that's what you can control and there's only 520 to go yeah well it's a little bit different in the 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 person on person heat than say the four person heat right priority is not such a big deal until you're getting into the pointy end of it where i think even at the eight minute mark you would be like um you you would you would be posted up next to uh, your competitor, just going, there's no way I'm giving you a good one. Well, here she goes. She let her have one. It's it's a closeout. She let her have it for a reason. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting. I mean, there's only four four minutes, 40 seconds, so there's time. And maybe maybe Sanoa's paddled into an area where that there's less less quality waves. But still, if you're, if you're red, Zoe... You want to just negate any possible, um, you know, luck. Yeah, and, truth. And you're you can be there and, and shut that down. So so now I was just gonna try to get her to go on a wave or, you know, muster up something. And she get around the corner. That thing grew. Oh, okay. Wow. So she ended up giving her this wave, and she's most likely getting the score right here. She did have to, the, the downer was the thing, oh, wow. So nice carve there for Zoe. Um, the downer of the of the Sanoa wave was it was a little bit, had to kind of hop to get around it, but it was one of those little wedges underneath. Yeah, if she could have, like, been doing the pump in the bowl and coming around, she would have uh, absolutely decimated that first section, but she kind of had to wait. I Got th- there just a little bit late. All right, 3.30, and judges have some more uh, to think about. Little exchange going on right there. Will uh, Zoe better the 5.5, and is this the 5.16? I'm going to have to say it is. It's got, I mean. It's got to be. Yeah, the surfing, look, Zoe's surfing really well, but the surfing dynamics, like you really have to look at the, so look at this wave. It's a little low, low underground runner. These ones, so boom. But then this turn right here, wang, like look at the amount of she's bearing, you know, in comparative to, you know, Zoe. And then Zoe out the back does a nice car, but this turn, 
So vertical, a little more in the lip. And then that one, a little bit deeper. Just cutting deeper. Yeah. And, and that's like, that's commitment, you know. And then Zoe gets this wave. Nice down carve. Really good technique. Wraps it back, but it's one of those tapers. And it looks like we got scores come through, Wellesie. And that's it. 6-1-3, Sonoa Dimple Olin does the job and is now out front with Zoe chasing the 6-4-8, her last a 5-0. And that was under priority. So the Gromit now in the hot seat. And she was there. Yeah. You know, she was there. She didn't really like what she saw. And... And Sonoa took advantage of the situation, you know, and rolled the dice, and it worked out for her. Yeah, well, it was like, hey, six six seven, you didn't give it to me on this one. Here, watch this. Bang! There's a six one three. Yeah, that's well, she's she's the she's the vet in this heat. Still young, obviously, but Zoe, being all of thirteen, has surfed a darn good heat. Well, a lot of uh, a lot of surfing life left in this one. Both oh, of them, to oh, be exact. Sure. But 125 remaining. The Maybe. grommet on the hot seat. Six four eight required. Can she do it? Yeah, and and just sometimes you come up against, like when you're young like that, or at any stage, you come up against someone who's like just bigger and stronger and and pushing a little bit harder. And that's what Zoe's gonna learn from this. You know, watching it, she surfed a really good heat, caught quality waves. It's just, you know, capitalizing on on the more, you know, the bigger maneuvers. Because I will, I thoroughly believe that she did maybe be on a couple of the better waves. Yeah. But it came down to like who's pushing a bit harder. Yeah, maybe on uh, Zoe's six three three, had she not kind of went the first turn, she could have went a little more, waited a little longer, and just get to it a little just a second you yeah. know when it stood up she kind of speeds out of zah. and the board kept going di- uh horizontal it wasn't like a ma- it wasn't a major maneuver but it tied it in pretty nice so 20 seconds to go wow that was a great battle though is it over it's over He's going to try to shut it down here. I thought there was going to be one last I mean, they're kind of paddling in like it's over. I always, <laughs> when the way, the heat's ending, you always, I thoroughly, you want to paddle out because what if a wave caps up and you're going to catch it farther out there than paddling in is, I mean, just last ditch effort. Yeah. You know, but. Well, bang right there. This is a little replay. Sonoa's. One of her keepers. Don't go anywhere. We will be back with more live action heat for quarter four of the ladies after this.
Welcome back. Finals day. Jack Surfboards Pro. Here we are, quarterfinal number four. Kylie Polcini in red. Kira Pinkerton in blue. So getting through that last one. Sanoa Demful Olin. These two girls looking to join. And this is up and riding. Kylo Polcini, first wave, 4.17. So this is the 805 replay. We're here at the Jack Surfboards Pro. Thank you to the crew at Jack's. Little replay here. Nice turn. Second little slash right there. Cuts it back. So on the board, Kylie Pulcini, 4.17. So solid little start there. I'm joined by Scott Waring, contest director. How's it going, Scotty? Good morning, Brett. I have been kind of busy running around, like uh, making sure everything's flowing for the crew over at Jack's, make, putting on their event this year, seventh annual, stoked on Bobby and Ron and and Jamal. You know, they work very hard on, on this event to bring these young athletes a, an opportunity to make it to the next level. And we've seen that happen in the last few years here. So, yeah, stoked to be sitting next to you. Beautiful day. Yeah, thanks so much. It's been it's been a great day. Here's Kira. She's up and riding. Waves look like they're starting to turn on a little bit more. That last heat, uh, ladies got multiple opportunities. I think up in the six range. So this is Kira. Looks like three point one seven. So waiting on this one to oh. So she comes. That's kind of why I thought it might have been a little bit more, but she fell right at the end. So that's going to cost you. And she's on the Challenger Series. She now, is. Right? Yeah, okay. she finished in the top four. So she'll, you know, a few weeks' time, she'll be heading over to Snapper Rocks, which, what a spot to start your campaign. Yeah. You know, that's killer. But right here, it's important. This event is, you know, starting the, the new season. So big result for a youngster like Kylie Pulcini in the quarterfinals of a 3,000. Kira's just trying to, you know, stay consistent. Um, get make some, some extra money. Make some extra cash. Um, prepare, like, you don't know how your year's going to go on the challenger. So a result here kind of will, you know, settle the nerves, I guess, in a way. And, um, just get your rhythm going in making heats. It's, it gets contagious, you know, and you want to, you want to have that rhythm of winning. And so it's important for Kira to be here. Right on. But uh, 20 minutes, yeah, it's been a great day. How's the weather out there right it's now? It's beautiful. It's clean and yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. So, you know, we're going to get all the, the vendors with their activations happening today. So if you're close by, today's the last day. Come down, enjoy it, support Jack Surfboards Pro. And it's, you know, we thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah. Here's the lay of the land. I love the drone view. You know, yesterday it was super cool. We... The drone flew into the Jack's flagship store right on Main. <laughs> You'd see everything, all the brands. You got the boards, you know, everything, fins, booties, the whole kit and caboodle. And here it is right there. There we are. Jack's Pro, seventh year running. Like you said, Ron, Bobby, Jamal, the whole crew supporting surfing. These events are so massive. Kylie finds herself on a nice left right here in Surf City. And uh, it, it, the big difference today, Scotty, and I guess most events, is the first turn and the last turn. And, yeah. You know, yeah. the, the contestants have been, you know, some have been struggling finding that, you know, finishing maneuver. Yeah. But um, the first turn is always important. I notice her board, I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing things, but it seems like she's got a lot of rocker. Don't you want a board with, like, basically no rocker in this type of wave? Or? You you would want a, today a little bit less, you yeah. know, and I think for speed purposes, right. Right. which, you know, Kylie grows, you know, she's from, like, the Melbourne Beach, Florida area. Right. So she's used to smaller, um, you know, smaller windswell waves. I will say East Coast when it's smaller kind of pockety sometimes yeah. so it could be different like equipment than huntington is typically a little bit slopey we obviously have days where it gets a little more hollow if mm -hmm. it's shore break or certain size and yeah. the sand bars right but yeah i think you know if you ask kira and her they both ride for matt biolas mayhem right. and they're probably on different they're designs. dialed yeah they're dialed. but they're on different designs <laughs> yeah. for sure that's a nice little left right here yeah is she gonna roll the dice Last wave, 3.57. What about a leash? Would you recommend as a coach sitting on the beach if you... Uh, no leash? 
No leash it? Yeah, I mean... Come on, the swim, the paddling is like nothing. Well, sometimes I feel like if it's not in your head, like a lot of times, like well, I'll always free surf with like this type of day when it's one to two, two to three plus and no leash it. If you swim, it's not that far. Right. But it is like, I don't know. You don't want to look like a fool. You know, I think if you lose your board, it's kind of like a bad look in a way. But the other day when it was small, Scotty, I had the same thing grow through my head. Should I wear a leash? And... Nice floater there, unable to stick back, it, and I should, I probably shouldn't like have. Like back when I, just because it would have been, it's a confidence thing too. Yeah, yeah. You know, you focus more, and it is a. Little, I feel like there is some little, I used little to, drag. Yeah, yeah. Little like drag. when I would not wear a leash, I felt that I surfed a little better, better just yeah. because I don't know if I was concentrating more or whatever, but yeah. you know, every. It's like a, there no, there's the no strength pro- of a tennis racket, right? The yeah. strings, yeah. that one minute. And everyone likes it strung a little bit different. Yeah. You know? But we're going to throw it down. We got Sonoa, Demfo, Olin. Great heat battle back and forth with the youngster, Zoe. Kind of congratulations, Sonoa. Thank you. Yeah. What was uh, surfing really well? I think um, you just, you know, you picked it. I almost want to say Zoe had a little better waves, but your power kind of showed out there. And I'm, what was the plan when you were paddling out? Yeah, I definitely, you know, like those little rides were um, kind of doubling up and offering multiple sections. So that was kind of the game plan, just try and find those and not be too patient just because, like, even though there is lots of opportunity, it also has, like, long walls. And it's kind of, I don't know, just like you, if you see a wave, like, kind of capitalize on it. Yeah, well, you got your your... This is we're watching the replay of your highest score, but you got your backup score underneath her priority, and she was right there. Um, did you see the line on that wave? You must have, because you got a little stuck at the start, and then all of a sudden you went rapid fire. What was your thinking, you know, paddling into that wave? Yeah, that was like one of those like little double ups that I'd seen a couple before, and you know you can't really like plan to try and sit inside and get those, but if you find yourself in the position, like those are kind of the best ways out there. Um, I was a little deep on it, so I definitely was, like, a little nervous at the start. I was like, okay, you need to get around this, and then, you know, it's the score. But just trying to, like, get a bit of speed and, I don't know, just get <laughs> make sure I get the score on it. Well, we are on our way for another possible Olin Sisters final. What would that mean for you and your sister? Yeah, I mean, obviously that would be insane. You know, like, Moro, that was, like, such a cool thing to have a QS final um, with my sister. I feel like... I don't know. That doesn't happen very often. So yeah, it's for sure. Special to have like a sister in the same sport, and you know she's like my biggest inspiration. You um, took that one, right? You took <laughs> no, my sister. Took oh, it. she big won that one. It. Oh, it's yeah. payback. Big, <laughs> big sister got it. Okay, so yeah. I was wrong. I think the other day I was saying you won it, but uh, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> this well, time. Yeah. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Still work to be done. Any shout outs? Yeah, definitely a shout out to my mom and my brother at home, my sister and everyone here supporting me, and Matt, of course. Um, it's great to have a support at the beach and yeah just i don't know happy to be into the semis and kind of get like a good start to the season all right well we're happy to watch you keep surfing we'll see you out there pretty soon go Thank grab you. your go grab your automotive excellence cash reward yeah, for get, winning the heat give us a shot of that money <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you well we're back so Noah, yeah, I would. So her sister's still going in the Mate- event as well. She's in the first semi. Oh, and, okay. And Sonoa's in the Matea's in the first one versus Zoe, and then uh, Sonoa will be surfing whoever makes this heat. Nice, yeah, that's great. And huh? they finaled together. Was it last year at Morro Bay? Oh, cool. And Matea. And they're from and Canada, Canada, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. And and it's kind of cool. Like just recently, the uh, Cola Pinto brothers yes. were in a semi, yeah. right? Yeah, or quarter. The, the quarter. Semi- Quarter. Was that over? It was a quarter it's in Bells, Portugal. Right? Or Portugal, Portugal, yeah. Yeah, quarter in That's kind of cool. Yeah, there there it is. Thank, you, An- Thank you, Andrew, over at Automotive Excellence, Seal Beach. If you need anything done to your vehicle, they are the best. And I'm not just saying that. They are cool. They'll take care of you. And we appreciate their support here at the Jack Surfboards Pro. Yeah, I got to hang out with him yesterday. He came down. He was down at the comp. It was fun. Talking yeah. talk shop. Yeah. Cool, dude. I got to get my car over there. I definitely need an oil. It really is. I got a whole, it, yeah, it's right. It's convenient for us, too. <laughs> yeah. If you're local in the Orange County area, it's right yeah. there off PCH and Seal Beach. I'm always driving that way. I always see your Groms, the video, like the, yeah, the jetty. Oh, we're always Beach. surfing the jetty. <laughs> yeah, don't tell anyone. Nah, it's, <laughs> Secret. It's a, it's a killer little Grom wave, that's for sure. Look at beautiful drone of today. 
It's a beautiful day down here. If it you're is. close by, come on down. Enjoy all the festivities. All right, here we go. Important ride. Kira Pinkerton slashes in the pocket. And another. So opening up the shoulders and the hips. Wraps it all the way. So this is looking better for your Challenger Series. One of the best in our nation. Kira Pinkerton. She won the ISA World Games. Uh, Ryan Simmons was the coach. I was kind of helping assistant. And that event that she won ended up giving us an extra surfer a third I think female I surfer that, yeah. into the olympics and that's now katie simmer's spot so wow that's awesome kira doing and she a- excels when the waves get big yeah yeah oh yeah big wave yeah well katie's great in the barrel i will say kira's is, is special in big waves i want to get your honest opinion okay yeah Chopu Olympics. <laughs> no, Chopu Olympics. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now, there's a lot of guys, you know, like uh, Gabriel Medina and all that. We all know John, that what they yeah. do. But what about the guy who's from Sweden that's never surfed there? And it's cranking. Well, and they got to represent their country. You think they're going to take off? Well, I, like, I, don't you think it's dangerous? It is dangerous, but I think that's like the 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 fun, exciting factor about it. It's a it's one it's, of the dangerous it's a dangerous wave but it's one of the most perfect dangerous waves okay in 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 the fact of when the waves are good out there if you make the drop your chances of making the wave are really good even comparative to pipe Mm my pipes a little more shifty and kind of wobbly i would say right or like just a little more unruly like pipe i think is probably the most deadly wave in the world yeah yeah where chopu obviously it's much cleaner has its teeth yeah but the, the teeth can be like ultimate beauty, though, too. I've just been really worried, like, you know, as an event producer, like, there's, you know, they're going to be charging it because they have yeah, to for yeah. the country. But Well, they have some of the best water personnel in the world, yeah. too. Like, yeah. there's multiple jet skis. Yeah. I mean, if anyone goes down, they're in there, they're grabbing you. They're, they can get to the land and like that with the skis as well. So, I mean, if there's a place and time to go... It's then. Yeah, yeah. Go know? for it, right? Because uh, even when we had the CT, there were some big years. And that I remember one year, like, man. holy crap, this is crazy. And like, you're going. I, got, I remember just getting the whole reef, just my whole left side. Yeah, you did got good in that laid. one where it's really a, big. Had a couple of years. Where well, I, what what you get on that one? Fifth. Fifth, fifth yeah. yeah. I was like, because I was watching that one. It I'm was, like, it was nuts. Yeah. It was, it was crazy. I mean, like, it is crystal clear. Like, you're like dro- dropping in on dry reef and it's you just, can't even see it it's like one of those waves where you know typically here or somewhere else you see it and you kind of paddle out to it like yeah. there you just have to sit there and you see this thing just comes out if of nowhere. you paddle out you paddle out of position you're like on the back side of the yeah, reef yeah so you literally there was a heat where i had kai Otten and john john i think it was in a ninth round heat and there was a set it was a it was a toe set like they those guys didn't even look at it. we were all just like it's just, <laughs> things just coming like all the way across just the whole ocean's just folding on top. No yeah, one's like yeah. whistle. Who'd you oh. end up losing to? Do you remember? I ended up that heat in the ninth round. I lost to uh, uh, Owen Wright. I think he almost had a perfect heat. Okay. I fell. I got a six or a seven. Got blown into the lagoon. Come out and he had like a nine and a ten. Like as I'm hopping on the ski coming around, he got two <laughs> waves like that. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a really quick. And guy. then in the in the one the one I lost, I lost to Travis Logie. Mm-hmm. In the fifth round, good heat, close. The waves had dropped down, but it was still like probably six to eight foot and yeah. firing. Yeah, but that was the code red swell. I remember paddling out, and people were getting wrapped around buoys, and guys' vests are flying off. It was even before like all this, yeah, you know, safety pat- equipment. Yeah, yeah, in a sense, because I remember one of my he- or two of my heats there, I wore like a, a vest underneath my suit or like top. Right. Just because it was gnarly. You know how everyone's wearing helmets at Pipe? Yep. They're not really doing that at Chopu yet, right? Kind of not. Yeah, I'm surprised. I and would I think. think I'll, you know, it might it might change a little bit in that sense. Yeah. Anyway, but here we back go. to the action. This wave looks pretty good. And, and uh, you know, Kylie did have priority. Nice stab. Two for one. She can't hang on. But her previous 5-3-3 three, three for Kira. So she jumps into the lead. This one's winding down. Eight minutes, 20 think we got the men coming up. I saw Nat Young walking out in a jersey, so they're up next. Yeah, this is this first heat is kind of the out of this, you know, out of the men's round, 
this first one's a bit of the vets, you know, uh, Nat Young, Luca, oh, Luca wow. Messina. Yeah, yeah. Luca Messina. So that's like one of those heats where, I don't know, there's always heat. That, you know, you get into the quarters or something. You still have Kolohe. Uh, Wheeler and Wheeler and Cleland have been pretty on point. Obviously, Allen, yeah. highest scores through the rounds. Yeah. But, um, you know, that heat right there, the veter- the veterans kind of going at it. You could say whoever wins that wins the comp. But up and riding, Kylie, important ride here. So nice turn. A little more horizontal. Didn't really push too hard through the turn. So that will affect the score. But gives it a little pump there. Not looking for too much. A 4.34 is, uh, you know, in that average score, just below average. Well, you know... We started off setting up in the Thunder, the setup crew, Randy and Thunder Randy and Jr. Lightning. and yeah, Brandon. Yeah, did you guys set up? Saturday. Yeah, on the yeah. weekend. Yeah. yeah, it was thundering around us and pouring rain. We were all in our rain gear. And did they kick you off the beach for a bit? Did. Yeah. They did. They did. Yeah. They stopped us from setting up. So it's been, uh, to get this thing all put together, took a took a lot of work and i want to thank the crew for that they will really work hard yeah and uh we start off the west coast board riders kind of foggy that day and uh kind of went on and off all day long but yeah. ended up being pretty solid there's a perfect know. 10 yeah you know nick marshall nick marshall got a perfect 10 solidifying that, that and i guess it was the highest scoring west coast board rider event scores in the history of it well they went they went Four. ella ella mccaffrey went eight Cole went seven, Nick whammy to ten, so that's twenty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What you're on 30, 35 there, and then um, I think they ended up with like forty eight. What's or his, something? I'm I'm they're uh, I'm brain farting. Caleb Crozier went eight six seven, so that's yeah they went forty four. I mean possible fifty, they got like forty four points. Yeah, yeah. So that was good, and then we started off Thursday, little small. And got very windy in the afternoon. Then we had a great day on Friday. The waves were smoking. Pumping. Or was that yeah. Saturday? Uh, Friday. Yeah, yesterday was Saturday, but yeah, it was yeah. fun. Yeah. But Friday, Friday was, was that's it almost looked like J Bay. That's top notch. Nilton Nilton got a picture of this set. It, Order it's these perfect right. rights. Yeah. yeah. And a, and a lot of that day was you know the lefts were utilized just because current and and yeah. rhythm. Yeah. But the there were some big scores. And I mean, yeah, Alan Cleveland nine eight seven. Three, three or four just upside down hits. Massive. Then Chloe on Chloe's that same day, huge that huge air, nine point three three. Yeah, so there's been some surfing going down today. Very fun conditions, beautiful day weather wise. All the activations are out there. All the people supporting the Jack Surfboards Pro for the seventh year, appreciate them all. Yeah, it's glassy, fun little wind swell that couple feet at eight seconds little underlying one foot at 12 south so we're gonna have waves all through the end Slu- we even we even got a haircutter down here at the lay right deluxe lay- booth so dude, if you want a haircut get in line i know alex lima yesterday like you might he, need one I, dude i need a haircut <laughs> but I'm, I'm kind of into the long hair deal right now yeah. <laughs> i don't know it's all right saving it for summer keep my neck nice and uh so it doesn't get sunburnt yeah, I could use one, <laughs> but yeah, I saw Alex Lima after his heat get a nice little trim up. They, they can the, they can trim your beard. And I everything. know they had the razor. Just yeah, like you, they'll go dial you in. You know, <laughs> they can get like, the little little Fu Manchu I, I, going. I went to a barber yes the other day, like and and I you know this show Mad Men. Yeah, I look like a Mad <laughs> Man guy. Like he did my hair, like all dialed and he did in. my he did the I beard, had that the shave. Shaver, yeah. <laughs> Those things scare me. Yeah. You don't want to move. Like hit your jugular. Like, ah. Oh. I know. <laughs> well, here's a replay, a recap of the heat. This is the best wave. The last wave uh, for Kylie Pulcini was only a 3.4. So I will say that first section had the opportunity and she, she went a little horizontal for the judge's liking. And uh, this is the best wave so far. 5.33 for Kira. 
she backs that up with 3.77. You know, I got to say, I think Kira right now, it's just my opinion. Yeah. But looking at her serve, she's just getting the job done. I think there's more, you oh. know, like she's going to keep surprising us. For at, sure. You know, in the semi. Yeah, well, she knows she's one of those surfers that is, uh, she knows that her, you know, normal big surfing is is good enough. Right. But it comes to a point where, yeah, you have to, it might be set, it could be in the semis if she gets through this one, but she's going to have to lift it a little bit. And you know what it is, Scott? A lot of times it just comes down to the the waves, though, too. Like the waves you're selecting and that rhythm. Mm-hmm. And like you said, she hasn't had that crazy heat moment for her, but Kylie up and riding, oh, goes for the little 360. Classic. They're getting huh? innovative. Trying to mix it up. Her low score is a five, uh, three point five seven, so yeah. she's trying to build upon that. And that's that. In, uh, that's that uh, East Coast kind of flare up right there. But she had know, something to say about the, it too. Yeah, the maneuver just was. Uh, I'm not sure if she's been watching the conditions and and you know having the speed is important. And she kind of just dropped in and yeah. um, waited on the front and just spun around. So not really that performance friendly and and by looks too because you know part of the it's like functional maneuver right yeah like that wasn't very functional because she didn't come out of it and continue on she just kind of whipped it around it could have felt like a slater one but i mean that needs to be on like a big section to go up there so i think she'll be surprised when she hears a score because um well i mean what what would you give that? I mean, I mean, it's a two something. Yeah, she's yeah. disappointed. She gets a two point yeah. oh seven, but yeah. there was no speed there. It was uh, as a coach, you want to go look, you know. What What was your? Let's thinking? drive down the line, you know, like yeah. yeah. It's just a, a, the wave was a bad wave, right? You know, so she tried to get innovative, which is cool, but it really. It, it comes down to riding those waves in, in big sections. She had the wave. Her previous wave had the had the section. Right. She just kind of let off the gas a little bit. Right. And she's going to roll it here. So that's better. Yes, Like, it this is. is better surfing. So, you know, it's just, it's still, it's still wave going gonna to hamper the score. And she might be a little disappointed. But, you know, you like at the, you know, she's younger. She's going to watch this heat back with 40 seconds, Kira. No dice there, but she'll have to watch this over again and kind of realize, okay, what major scores, there are obviously no major scores in this heat right. average. Kira has the 5-3-3, but. I think a wave like that, if it's a dying seconds and you need like a one, right? You stand up, you, you do something it. tricky and you yeah. get a two. Yeah. You did it. You you pulled it <laughs> off. You pulled it off. I got to tell you, oh, are we going to go to break? We're, we're, we're we pretty soon. 10 seconds left, so. Looking like Kira Pinkerton going to join Sonoa Olin, uh, Sonoa Dempful Olin in that semifinal number two. So I got to tell you a quick story. Dean Randazzo, Randazzo. Cardiff Reef, you know the left that's way yeah. out there? Oh, yeah. He needed like a one, and he was on the outside, and he started paddling all the way from the outside, and the timer was, you know, counting down, counting down, and he hit the shore break, counting down, counting down. There wasn't a ripple. He went onto the beach and lost. Like, all he all he had to do was stand up, like, it, literally. Just try to get to And the there team. wasn't a swell from the outside to the beach. Talk about frustrating. <laughs> wow. That was radical. That's, that's surfing. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back after this. surfing lifestyle that's developed it's really the yoga lifestyle you know the purpose of yoga is obviously to one gain control of your mind that's that meditative state of mind that the whole practice of yoga is trying to instill in you
All right, so we're back. Beautiful Huntington Beach, Jacks Pro. We are on finals day. Here we are, quarterfinals. Heat number one, Luca Messinas, just coming off a of Barbados victory, qualifying for the Challenger Series, along with Nat Young, past champion out here, I think two years ago. So mm -hmm. both have had a lot of heat experience here in Huntington Beach, Scotty, and I'm sure they're... I mean, they're so close. It's finals day, quarterfinals. Yeah, yeah they're, this can be very exciting. If you're down here, you can cruise over on over to the Jack Surfboards booth here on the beach or to, to win a surfboard or at the store itself. So come on down, cruise over to the Jack Surfboards booth here and win a surfboard. We'll be down here until what? About 3? About 3 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so they got time. If you guys are watching and you're local or you're in the vicinity, Get down here, watch the finals, win some free swag. Get a taco from Taco Sir. Oh, I've had a few of those this week. <laughs> uh, we are going to throw it down to the la quarterfinals Heat 4 winner onto the semifinals, Kira Pinkerton. How you doing? Happy after I made that heat, that's I'm, for sure. <laughs> I'm sure. It was, uh, I mean, the conditions have dropped a little bit. And, you know, when you were paddling out, kind of what, uh, what was on your mind? Um, I was just kind of looking for waves that had a face. Some of them were just dying. Actually, most of them are. And so I noticed some of the smaller ones had a bit of face, but I couldn't even find that most of the heat. I was just kind of finding anything I could that'll get me over a four. Well, we're watching your 5-3-3 right now. Nice rhythm, nice pace, second turn, big carve. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously the t there's more work to be done, more waves to be surfed, I think. It, you know, the conditions, hopefully with the tide as it starts to go out, it opens up for you ladies and uh, you can put those big turns on, on display. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the same exact conditions of last year. It is, huh? It, it is pretty similar. The sandbar is kind of similar. And uh, yeah, well, you know, you're on your way into a semifinals. You know, this result will be counting, obviously, for the following season. You're in the Challenger Series heading over to Snapper Rock soon. Uh, what would what would a win mean? Um, a win would mean a lot. I haven't won a QS in a really long time, and um, last year I made semis, so if I could make it one more heat, it would be awesome. And to get a little warm up for snapper, I would be pretty stoked. All right, well we're cheering for you. Go get warm, and we'll see you back out there soon. Grab Thank oh, you. and enjoy your automotive excellence extra box. Yay. Don't go and spend More parking it. Money. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't get a ticket. Yeah, I'll try not to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you soon. So Kira Pinkerton, heat winner, quarterfinal number four, on to the semis, which she said she got a semifinal last year, so she's looking to go a little bit better. So Nat did get away of a 3.5. So Natty's going to get second wave up oh, and down. Yeah, no. and uh, Maybe we'll get a replay of the Nat's first wave from Mauricio. Yeah, look like a little left little left-hander. Yeah. Um, I think... You know, when I was watching, kind of, if I had to say, gets a little bit stuck on the first one. So finds himself in good position here. Draws off the bottom right there. Gets a little stuck. Has to come around the corner. Climbs it. Gets a little fin ditch. Pretty decent wave to start. Yeah. You know? I mean, you got to start somewhere. Yeah. Could it have? Could he have surfed it a little bit better? Maybe on a you know a second go, possibly. But yeah, he's he's going now and. 3.5. Don't you think when it's small like this, you just go on everything? Yeah. I, I mean... I, not everything, but I, even the last wave he dropped into, I thought he could have just kind of dropped in. And his backhand's so yeah, good. Just, just one, one big, big power hit, hit, right? You know? Or big, you know... Because they're going to enjoy that more than yeah. two little Tic Tacs. Yeah. And, um, but now he leaves Luke out there with right. priority. He's been... You gotta say he's been one of the most informed competitors the last month, especially on the North American region. In his homeland, does he surf a lot of waves like this? Do you know, like, what type of? Well, I don't even you know. know he doesn't. I'm not sure how much time he even spends there anymore. But he's found something right here, and Ooh. it looks, it looks pretty nice. Beautiful. So nice slash, and again. So this is, uh, you know, kind of the wave of the morning so far. Two big turns to start that one off, Scotty. And you know the judges are waiting. You know they're they've been in that little tight scale right now. So when they see something like this, even though it's small, you got to have separation. So well, they're going to separate this score quite a lot. Pretty good 
it was good to excellent surfing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't think... ha- didn't have the. F- we always talk about the finish, so we've been talking about that a lot here. But those first two were pretty blitzing right yeah. here. Wing, yeah, so one, nice. This turn even better two. with speed. Yep, catches a little a bit, bit there, around. but he he's looks like he's gone into a EPS carbon. Uh, I'm assuming you know he's changed his board. He's been riding a white board like the last heats and an event over in Barbados. So this board, and he's obviously brought it out of the yeah. uh, ice chest. And the scores are coming in, and it's going to reflect that using the scale now. That you know that's going to set the scale for the men's yep. right now. Well, here we Everything's go. Everything's got to be Jim, Jimmy Hogan, either bigger or under that. But that's going to be the target market there right there, seven point five. You like that, right? Seven five. That, yeah, Fair. I was thinking seven three or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. So seven five. Jimmy Hogan down there with Sam Reedy in the next seat. He's got Owen Moss. So that's a battle of the youngsters. You know. Uh, probably in that 20 years old range nice wave here maybe now it might see what's about it looks like it's building to be something good but who knows is this a lot of wind swell yeah mostly wind swell we do have an underlying like 12 second little south swell at one foot okay but those ones you haven't seen a lot of them yeah yeah but it is and then luca he, he's a little bit away this guy's backhand is is lethal he's from the land of lefts that's a humongous turn and another. So he's going to put Nat in a little uh, predicament right now. But Nat's always, he's plenty of time. He knows how to crawl out of a, a deficit mm-hmm. and has a lethal backhand. So if he finds one of those rights, you know, he can put a big score. But what Luca did there is surfed a right, got away from Nat, got a big score, 7-5, yeah. then found a nice left. Yeah, he's sitting pretty right now. He's, as soon as... Nat gets a wave, then he can get priority. Re- reestablish. Yeah. So, you know, and that, that I will, I'm going to have to say that first turn or the second turn was maybe the biggest it's turn. It's got to be in morning. the five, five, yeah. rank, five, five, two, five, three. Yeah, they might go even into the Because you're looking at Nat's first wave and it more dynamic. You, you think? Know, like, you yeah, got a little stuck. So. Look at that. Seven, oh, eight, three. Wow. Yeah, the turn was big. Yeah, yeah. And we were zoomed in really tight. Yeah. So, now he's in a world of hurt, but a lot of time. Nat. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, he's obviously, he's had multiple heats like in this realm. But look at this wave here. Big turn, kicks the fins, wraps it in the pocket. So they really like that, you know, dynamic maneuver. You know, a couple eights, a couple seven, seven five. And, uh,. Yeah, so 15, he's on a 15.33 total. You'd be hard-pressed to lose those ones, but out there in a man-on-man heat with Nat Young, he's the Iceman can put up 15s in his sleep. So just needs the waves, 15 minutes, 50 seconds. But uh, Luca, you couldn't start a heat any better, Scotty. Yeah. So, Nat having a sniff around. I'm going to be jumped in here. I'm going to get a little quick break, sending it over to Chad Wells. All right. Ready? Get some breakfast in you. You know, we don't get a lot of breaks down here in the Bat Cave. But, wow, Luca Messinas. Holy smokes. 15 3 3 already. A pair of uh, sevens in the score line. My goodness, what have I missed sitting under here? Yeah, Scott. What's up, boy? Have wow. you seen these two waves? Yeah, no, I mean, I haven't. I kind of saw the tail end when I was walking over here and uh, I saw the left. And I'm like, wow. Luca's yeah, his on, right was sick, too. He's on a heater. I mean, he's coming off a big win in Barbados, he's had a lot of success. In these like uh, ISA Olympic qualifiers, Pan Am stuff. I mean, Luca is an absolute hammer, and um, I mean, he's a former World Championship Tour surfer. He is no stranger from Peru, correct? It's a competition, yeah. And um, I mean, he knows what it takes to get the job done. Peru's got a lot of good waves, huh? <laughs> yes, and a lot of good surfers. I can tell you that. Um, Fourteen uh, remaining. And Nat really just trying to get the, the heat 
kind of underway still searching for a decent score he's got priority um which means if you're just logging on with us he has the right away of the lineup he's the priority surfer means red can't paddle for a wave that he looks at right <clears throat> so brett or uh, nat waiting patiently coming up next um let's see we've got uh Heat two. sam reedy owen moss quarter three al cleland Wheeler Hasbro, Blair Barton, and Chloe Andino in number four. That rounds out our quarterfinals tied on the way down. If you guys are in spitting distance, it's almost activation o'clock. 10 o'clock, all the brands usually kick it off. Scott, look at this one. Yeah, setting up. Oh, he's in and out. Yeah, this is brought to you by Jack Surfboards, the Jack Surfboards Pro. It's been providing surfers with top quality gear since 1957. Check out their stores in Huntington Beach, Newport, uh, South Bay. They have everything you need to catch some waves. Yeah, Corona Del Mar, Hermosa. Um, they have an outlet here in Huntington up up on uh, Gothard. Yeah, I do believe Dana Point. Yeah. So we want to thank Bobby and Ron and Jamal for all their support in the future of our sport. They've been doing this now for seven years with us, or us with them, and uh, we greatly appreciate it. Well, and I just feel like every year just gets better and better. And they've uh, turned the screws up on points, 3000 and prize money, 9500 for a win, but... I mean, more importantly, domestically for our U.S. surfers or North American surfers uh, as a whole, this is the launch pad for the QS 24-25 season. And I got to bring it up, <clears throat> but they, Jamal and the Jacks crew, they bring over Mauricio and his crew all the way from Brazil to, to do the webcasting. And I think the show they're producing right now is fantastic. So a big shout out to Mauricio and his crew. Yeah, boys. They've been here for seven years now and it's always super fun to see them when they arrive and um they're doing a fantastic job all right so here's the replay i mean look at this just speed jam another big jam rap i mean judges loved it carried speed and uh five yeah i think he was on his way to a little bit higher score than even a seven five but he does catch an edge i mean they're watching everything right now because they got to fit it in right there. He caught a little edge and another one right there. He pulled out of it. So he ends up with a 7.5, which is a fantastic score. And then his backside Bang. just smash super fast that we're so tight in here. It's hard to tell, you know, I, I way underscored that thing. <laughs> Glad I won judging that way, but he ended up with a 7.83. Whoa, fantastic. whoa, whoa, whoa. Manera's Austin Banky's here. Oh, he's got Christmas gifts. <laughs> Ooh, natural rubber. Yeah, we'd like to thank all of our. All right, dynamite. All of our vendors. Thank they are brother. bringing down the their new spring lines and activating and giving out all kinds of stuff after winning some games and everything. So all those vendors that have been supporting the Jack Surfboards Pro, thank you. We're stoked. Well, and get down here. I mean, I've, I've said this enough times, but I'm going to keep honking the horn, Scott. Um, we have basically in the home of Jack's just about every, <clears throat> excuse me, every top tier brand that resides inside the walls of Jack's surfboards. So if you're walking down, you're going to be greeted with the uh the hb info tent visit hb and then you're gonna see the u.s air force tent and then you're walking straight into like taco surf java jaws um automotive excellence seven spy optics nixon Layright deluxe they've got free haircuts they're gonna fire up um and they're handling the 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 men's prize pool for the heat winners super 73 hydro flask doing custom stuff, Dickies, 805's got koozies and stuff. I mean, it's all happening. Just That is just walking in. Then you make your way out to, to the end of the runway, and it opens up to the right and left, just this small <laughs> Vendor Village amphitheater, and you've got O'Neill Rourke Mellon, Stance Rusty, Olakai, Rhythm, Sun Bum, Slow Tide, Rain, Ava, Dragon, Billabong, Loose, Ruka, Captain Finn, Volcom, Vans, Fuax, Dakine, Caton. 
and a Jack's tent in one of the Jack's um, uh, merch tent. And I mean, every one of these tents is running game. And they're giving stuff away. Kids, kids are walking away with handfuls of gear. Oh, Ronnie Nelson said his Grom had 300 bucks. He's like, if I was a kid, <laughs> I'd just be sleeping down there. Exactly. Um, and then if you hang a right, then you're going to see Salty Crew, FCS, Hayden Shapes, Lost, Cobian, Pizel, XL, Hurley, Almeric, Monera, Costa, Reef, Carve Skateboards, Catch Surf, Firewire, Rip Curl, Sharp Eye Futures Quicksilver. So I mean, then you've got all those amazing brands running game. So get Are down. Are your moms coming down? Uh, my yeah, the wife is going to bring the kids down. They had an absolute field day last year. Yeah, yeah. And they're still wearing their uh, their Vans Jacks collab shirt. Hey, as a parent, you're stoked because they can come down to get some gear that'll last them. Oh yeah, I mean, there's coffee, there's acai, there's tacos. It's all happening down here. Come on down. Sunbum's got you covered. Slip, slop, slap, get it on you. Cover, protect yourself from the fireball in the sky. And, uh, I mean, also, Sunbum, if you buy a bottle at Jack's, you'll get a free one. Nice. Kidding? That stuff's costly, too. You know how much sunscreen I run through with my kids now that they're surfing? It is ridiculous. I also got to bring up the Marine Mammal Care Center. They are rescuing sea lions and seals and... And uh, they're our nonprofit this year, and thank you to them, and uh, we're stoked to have them here. Thank you very much. Ooh, a little uh, trio of backside jams right there from Luca Messinas. Is he going to up the ante on the 7-5? Natty Young in Combo Town, 15.33 uh, required, but, I mean, as soon as Nat stands up and puts a wave together, it'll kind of decrease that whole thing he's looking for that wave that he 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 needs to get a wave that he he figures he can get at least a seven or i don't know maybe it's a well yeah he's got he's comboed so he's really got to look for the right wave to come in well and, and that's a former event champion uh here what was it 2021 2021 22 yeah he's won here before he knows what it takes to put himself on the podium and right now he's just trying to sniff anything out of the lineup. It's, you know, when I was down on the beach, I was talking with Guy from Fuwax. We were just talking about the air show and um, just kind of some added prizing for the winners. And there was just this great set. And I'm like, you know, it's funny. Brett and I talked about it. You just see the condensed version on the screen. Right. Then you walk out there and it's just the playing field's much greater. Right. But to put yourself on one is kind of hard because it's, the the wind swell just makes it very random. Yeah. So it could pop on the south end, pop on the north end. I'm just really trying to just put yourself in the prime spot in the lineup. Mm-hmm. I mean, Luca's just kind of uh, they're they're just they just keep coming to him. Yeah. Six three three was his last. Not going to improve. Well, you know how how that is. You go surfing one day and you're like, God, I'm getting every wave. Like they're just coming to me. And then some days you're like. The peak's over there. You go over there, and it's over there. You just you can't even find a way. Oh, I've, I've huh. lived a few of those at the <laughs> Huntington Cliffs. Yeah. Like midday, not a lot of people out, and just seeing waves. And then, like, you know, because you're up on the bluff, so you see a mile, yeah, yeah. you know, in each way. You're like, oh, it's on today. I'm going to go have fun and paddle out and just come up with goose eggs. Yeah. Happens. All right, 530 remaining. Nat Young on the ropes chasing a couple uh, big scores here. And coming up next, let's see. I think I rattled this off already. Sam Reedy, Owen Moss. Uh, that's going to be a battle. Al Cleland, Wheeler Hasbro. Wheeler's just been on an absolute tear. So Nat is finding Al, a left. Al has been on an absolute he, heater. Nice bottom turn there, a little snap. Is he going to go? Nope. He's oh boy. tough heat for Nat right now. Down under uh, five minutes, Scott. Comboed 15.33. So for one surfer, he's having the heat of a lifetime. The other one's having the bummer. Not of a lifetime, but you know what I mean. He's having a good heat, and the other one's struggling. So and Here we go. I mean, this is the Jack's tent. Looks to be on the walkway in. I mean, are you kidding me? What do you need? So right there, you could scan that QR code with your phone, and it'll work. Trust me. I've done it. Yeah, I mean, this event happens once a year. Grab an event t shirt. So. It was so classic. I was having a meeting the other day about something, and we were sitting there, the Jack's Pro this, Jack's Pro that, and all of a sudden the guy, 
walked in with a Jax Pro from that last year, like a T-shirt on. I'm Love like, it. good timing, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> like it was meant to be. All right. Well, all smiles down there in the Jax tent. Um, I mean, get down here. 10 o'clock kind of kicks everything off. We will see. Let's see. Uh, Volcom is doing a beach cleanup at noon, so you can get yourself in the mix for a prize. Ruka. They've got a limbo challenge that's kicking off at one, and uh, let's see how low you can go. <laughs> Billabong. That's funny. Uh, ten, twelve, and two. They have a scavenger hunt to find some free stuff. Sunbum again. You go to Jack's. You buy one bottle of SPF thirty. You'll get another one free. Uh, rhythm. Buy any rhythm item up at Jack's. Bring the receipt down. Bango! You're in the mix for a 6-0 vessel. Here we go. Nat Young. Can he get the wheels on? Driving down the line. And throws the reverse. Uh, Come on, Natty. Three minutes. He's not giving up. He's trying. But Lucas started strong and has held on to quite a lead. With a combo situation. Yep. Down to 240. And this looks like the Visit HB tent. Yes, it is. They got a little merch happening, too. All right. Nothing but smiles down here. It's finals day here at the Jax Pro. And I'll tell you what, if uh, Nat Young doesn't get through this heat, we are looking at crowning a new men's champion this year. There you go. Yeah. Is he the last of the Mohicans? Yep. And also, without Sawyer Lindblad's attendance, because she went back to back, we will be crowning a new women's champ. Nice. We have some beautiful trophies down there. The big perpetual trophy with all the names on there. And uh, it's kind of like the, be you know, just something we wanted to put together and just... You know, like the Bells thing, you know, sure. you got all those names, so it's kind of cool. I love We've it. We've got Katie Simmers, who's now number one in the world on the CT. Soya Limblad, Limblad is on the CT right now. You got Crosby Colapinto. Who else? Nat Young was on there. So yeah, I mean, Keanu's been a, a, yeah. a, a world championship tour surfer, Nat. Oh, there's the U.S. Air Force Special War Warfare. They are sponsoring the air show along with foo wax that'll be coming up later today winner takes fifteen hundred dollars and uh we're very close to finding out if we're gonna get a little bit of something special but hasn't been confirmed yet howdy boys All they right. got a thing where you hang like they have a pull-up bar oh yeah yeah and I went by there, and this guy was Maybe this one dude to... was like, he was like on his twentieth pull up, just a stud, man. Oh, I'm just gonna hang, get my <laughs> yeah. get my spine aligned. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, under a minute, and I don't think Nat's gonna find any magic in the lineup. And what a bummer. You want to see a good... A yeah, good, uh, it's fun to, when they're close. A good right? battle. Yeah, just the runaway freight trains are... Uh, I mean, it's good if you, you know, if you are the runaway freight train. But for us spectators, we want to see them duke it out. Here we go. Messina's current heat leader. A little bit of a victory gouge right there. And uh, bang, another one. Board looks magic. Thing looks lively. Yeah. Have to ask him what's, uh, what's under his feet. Maybe we can just see Nat just hammer one home... Uh, just to show us how good he is. Bang. Look at there we right go. After, right after. Or no, they're nine seconds. So this does score, but he's comboed. So, but he got a little going on that one. Nice. You can tell the talent that he has. He just ran out of time and waves. Yeah, world-class talent. It was yeah, Lucas's uh, moment. You know, the waves all came to him and he lit it up. Yeah. All right. So uh, don't go anywhere. We'll bring you more quarterfinal men's action after this commercial break.
So today we're here with this morning, we we're checking out the glass shop for Paisel in California, seeing where all the boards are shaved. I've been working with uh, John pretty much my whole life, my whole surfing career. We've created a pretty cool relationship in uh, building these boards. Um, I can kind of give my feedback and my feel of what I like in the board and he's really good at articulating that and, and creating the shape from that. But it's pretty fun because we can just be open, you know, and I, I like it because it's, it's hard when you're creating product if you can't be open and truthful to the people that you're working with. So for me working at Paisel, I can very clearly tell them, hey, this board does not turn very well at all. It's heavy. It's or this board was really good, this is the one. And be really excited about it and like, let's, let's do this again. And being able to give those emotions, positive or negative, it's always very useful. Introducing Do Your Thing. All right, welcome back. Jack's Pro men's 3,000 quarterfinal number two in the water. Sam Reedy in red, Owen Moss in blue, and uh, Brett Simpson joining me. We are, I mean, we're, we're working our way to the pointy end of the event, and we are going to crown a new champion this year, Brett. With Nat Young uh, not making it through he was the last of the mohicans yeah well that was um a tough heat for nat the waves just weren't on his side and luca just came flying out of the gates and then right here owen moss he also looks like he's on a different look, sled but yeah. on fire 6.33 on this one this is the replay so twisting and shouting it looks like he's down to the south more so had the big fin ditch at the start, reforms it through, and just some busy work. Likes it. Here we go. Up and over. Kicks the fin. Stays over wow. it. So quality maneuver. And then, you know, hopping through this little flat transition, little climb. Hits it there. Looks like he's on a Xanadu, something a little smaller and shorter, possibly even in the EPS. Uh region of foam it does look pretty white and spicy wow so they want 633 on this yeah what do you think i i low like, ball? yeah like a i'm like oh like. major risk out the back he's back up and riding though and kind of bookended it too i figured you know it would go up into the really good range yeah well i think the maneuver was good it was a little he kind of created it all. Like it wasn't the the wave wasn't that great. Sure, but sure. But he surfed it really well. I mean, there's then, a lot of risk there, though. You know, when you uh, see like Luca's waves, he just kind of speed zapped them. Well, they're gonna like this. The last one. Well, we got a lot of action. The waves are turning on, so that turn a bit bigger vertical cuts it. So now he's gonna have to kind of piecemeal this one together bang cracks it again so what do you go there red got a nice wave owen gets his second yeah i'm not gonna get stuck and get weird on uh, the one but let's throw it down to luca messinas luca wow runaway freight train on that heat hey guys yeah thank you thank you so much it's yeah tricky conditions but it's fun every uh, good wave just came right to you <laughs> i know i was a little lucky with that but yeah i felt like my board was working pretty good uh i was pretty fast and and everything worked out good it looked insane. So what are you riding today? Well, this is a carbon fiber, a char pie. It's a Inferno 72 model. Uh, just a perfect board for small waves. Uh, it's glassy, it's small, so the board was working really good, uh, pretty fast. It's a different board than yesterday, but 
this board is working amazing too. Yeah, it looks fast, looks responsive, and uh, you look sharp as always. So thank you. Congratulations. We'll see you in the semis. Thank you. Thank you so much. Any Bye. shout outs before we sign off? Uh, sí, saludar a mi familia que siempre está viendo, a mis amigos uh, y a toda la gente de Perú. Seguimos right. con todo. Hey, don't, and don't forget more deluxe bucks for you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Thanks. Appreciate right. it. He could even get a haircut in between. He. Yeah. Right. But he's at, I actually didn't have any shag like I, we got hanging out the back. So, so he might be all done up. Yeah. Comp. And there it is. The first of your semifinalists, Mr. Luca Messina, taking the win in heat number one of the quarterfinals. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. So scores come in. Red. Reedy. Five six seven second of blue five one seven. Uh, yeah, we got a little we got a little battle there. Yeah, yeah. deluxe bucks. Cash. He's uh raking it in. He's yeah he's been on a good one huh he's got pulled down a few quite a few couple uh, of heat wins you're in, quite a few pieces of paper. That's nice. It's all about the paper. At least a couple solid dinners pay for some parking some gas. Yeah. Maybe even Let's go. A, well, Blue out in the lead. Looking the goods. Having another look right here. Owen Moss, your Ch North America Challenger Series surfer. Nice first turn. And another pushes a little bit harder. Maybe a little catch, but solid commitment there for Owen Moss. So hasn't put a foot wrong, really. And uh, 18 minutes to go. So this heat, you know, much more active in between both surfers. Nat Young in the last one kind of got left on the wrong side of the uh, exchanges. And Luca just went 7-5, seven, 7-8, seven, 3. So this one, a little tighter so far. 5-6-7 for red. Blue has the 5-1 with that last score coming in. There we are, Spy Optics. Get down here. It is sunny. Oh, look at Mauricio looking Mar at a new Mar pair of goggles right Mar there. Mauricio <laughs> get <laughs> dialed in. Get uh get hooked up. Cover cover the windows to your head. It's uh vital. You gotta take care of these things. Well here's a six two three or six two seven. So bigger there, kind of a little cop, it drives through the turn, and that's where that thing goes into the good range. And we had a mix between anywhere from a seven to five eight with a few Five seven, a couple six five sprinkled in, so a little mixed views on it. But Reedy says, I can't wait any longer. Hits it there, caught the nose just a hair. And this one looks a little soft, so he's gonna get out of there. But uh, looks like Owen Moss hasn't really, you know, catching good waves. He's already on 12.6 total, it's gotta feel nice. Yeah, I mean uh, the the good thing for Sam, at at least he's got this five six seven in his score line, so it's not like uh, it's, and Jimmy Hogan in his corner. Well, it's, he's just not. At least he's got a chance in this heat. Yeah, six point nine three. Nat for most of that last one needed a combo because Luca came out with a fifteen. What do you have? A fifteen three three. So. That uh, it makes it hard, and especially it went just a really slow heat. Wave wise, and the ones that did come, Luca got them. And the first exchange, Nat went on a wave. Luca went right, got a 7 3. Then he scampered down the beach and found a left and got a 7 8 3. So, yeah, made it tough for him to fight back. But it looks like Mossy yeah. might be hunting again. Looks like a little freshening breeze, too. It, I can see the texture on it, the water. It's hunting season. He is from North Kakalaka. North Kakalaka? <laughs> in Florida. <laughs> Yo, coming off big wins, too, you know. Good result in Barbados and back to back victories at the Ron John Pro. Yeah. Junior, Junior and, and the men's. men's. Yeah, he's on he's on a tear. He does have first priority. It looks as though they're not really near each other with 15 minutes, 20 seconds remaining. They're kind of doing their own own deal. He's looking over there now, which, as we talked about earlier, it kind of, I feel it's pretty risky to uh, just leave leave someone by themselves on a peak. Well, especially so, it's in tacos. Yeah, I mean, you can also buy some tacos and get yourself in the running 
for them to cater your next party. Mm, that would be nice. Taco that would tra- be cool. Are you kidding me? Taco cart? Uh, they'd be hating me and the boys. They'd be like, we don't even have enough food to feed you. You're, food. You guys are maxed out. We're like, just keep shoveling them in. Well... Beautiful sailboat making its way back. Maybe Long Beach Harbor. Hopefully they get there before the wind just blows a gale. Well, so uh, the the late, great Sean Collins, uh, I even think it's in his book. When I was a Grom, he had told me, hey, the tankers two hours before will be pointing in the direction the wind's going to blow later. So if you see them starting to make their turns they're preparing for the, the gust for the wind yeah they those guys just rely on weather but they know so they know and usually it's like a i mean he said two hours but and you'll you can expect the wind to come up within the, whoa was that, that a time. paddle maybe just a look no one around so they let you get away with a little bit more on the paddle situation of priority if no one's around you but if you're with someone underneath you that uh, you have priority, if you take it, you look at it, they could take it from you. So right. these well, guys are on different parts of the bank. Reedy, which way is he going to go? He's going to go left on the backhand. Slash right there. Right. Better. And another. So this one's kind of forming up for him. Can he get the finish? Little tap. Comes back right. So good rhythm there. Hey, better, right? It, that wave didn't completely flatten out, you know, that uh, that second turn. I, I almost feel like... I've, it's going to do better. Yeah. You think he's going to shorten, you know, I think the 5.6 was a pretty decent wave. I will say, you know, he, I, if I remember wrong, he kind of pivot turned it on one and pivot turned and lost speed. Where this one, he, he drove through this turn being the best. Nice timing clacks it again so good rhythm Has... well and that one didn't taper off and leave him just kind of doing cutties yeah he finished he finished kind of bouncing off some white washers so we'll see where that if that helps his cause i don't think it's going to go towards that near seven just comparative to owens waves and that's what they're basing off right now if you're watching the home the judges are they you know it's heat to heat wave to wave they really compare and contrast and sometimes feelings are a little bit different on waves, but that's why you have an opinion if mm. you're on the panel. That's it. I mean, and and the opinion is like last wave of blue. There's, I don't know if people at home are seeing this, but anywhere from a five eight or a five seven to a seven zero. So that's a point one point three. Yeah, I don't think they get to see uh, the oh right here like the some, drop in. Yeah. So you had a 5.8 to a 5.0, so 0.8 difference. And he doesn't better his situation. I mean, overall he does, but he still needs the 6.93. So he was hoping to go up in that 6 range to shorten that. Just needs a cracker of a wave. Yeah, he's linking his maneuvers nice, but it's just busy work. And right now, that's kind of what you're going to get is just in that Busy work stuff is a little more in that average range score. Yeah, you know, it's funny, Brad. I had a picture of one of the days I was down here before the event, and uh, I had rattled off a sequence, and I didn't know who Sam Reedy was, and I've got this sequence of him. Now you ha- you're still like, on I, know, the, I yeah, know who this kid is now. Yeah, it's still on the card, and I'm like, oh, I don't really know the kid, so I'm not really sweating it, giving it to him, but I'm like... That's who that is. All right, we'll, this, we'll send it to him. Get this, him psyched. This kid's Narnar. Yeah, he's legit. He's kind of come on really strong the last six months. I feel like his surfing's evolved. His competition game's evolving. And just super, uh, I mean, consistent. I mean, he's already into 11 points. He needs a bit more. He's up against an inform Owen Moss. Well, and these guys are coming off of this leg. And like I've said before in the event, like guys are there. Everybody's just seemed very tuned up. Yeah. And you can see it when they stand up, just how much intent they have. 
urgency. Yeah, like this event being the start of actually a new season. But like you said, they've come off, you know, whether they were in Cocoa Beach, there was a few before that. Uh, the, uh, the Dominican. DR to Coco, Coco back to, to Barbados. Barbados. So their, their rhythm, their rhythm's there right now, whether... They had results or not. They've made some heats. I know Sam definitely made a few heats. Owen was, I want to say, in quarters, I think, in Barbados, somewhere around there. So, and that solidified his spot to the Challenger Series with the, you know, being him, I think Ryan Huckabee from the East Coast qualifying from Florida, Owen being from North Carolina. So nice to see. I think last year it was mostly West Coasters. Mm-hmm. So a new little crop of, you know, East Coast blood is good to see pushing yeah. pushing the West Coasters as well. And then Al Cleland's in there. Cleland. Give us a list if you if you find it. There, I think. I... Did you screen grab it? No, Kay and I were kind of, Kay was having this like throughout the event doing like running live updates of who was in and who was out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it was gnarly. Yeah, and then he sent sent me the final guys of who made it off the face of the earth. Well, yeah, it was tough for like a guy like Taro. I think he was second. Oh, and, even Taj and, Limblad, right? They were super. Oh, John, what was John Mel? He was and up there. John. I mean, man, yeah, Taj was fifth, and Taj wasn't bettering a lot. So I was think, oh, he's gonna garner a bunch of points, but lost in his second heat, and. Um, yeah, the the guys that needed results ended up just capturing them. So let's see, locked in, leave. Uh, oh, is this? It? Let's see. Okay, Al Cleland, Levi. Yeah, Sloss make it. He, he did. I think he was the last one in. Uh, Dunny. Yep, Dunny won the tour. Ryan. Huckabee, yes. Berkey. Josh. Berkey's in. Barbados Berkey. Luca's in. Luca. Owen's in. Owen Moss. Dimitri on the wild card. Yeah. John Taro and uh, Taj did not make it. Yeah. So, like, pretty much your second, third, and fifth fell out, which is similar last year happened too though i remember i mean it's and it's crazy i think taj was sitting on like a 66 it was a zero he had a zero and didn't go to the dr and uh you know maybe at the end of the day does that result bite you in the ass you know a winner a second is definitely a keeper uh, i mean i personally feel like i wish that there were a, was a west coast 5000 i agree right maybe we get lowers yeah, I mean, that would be a great venue. Right? It's just the support to get it together is the yeah. thing that's kind of missing. All right, here we go. Having a paddle. Reedy, he's got to answer back. Six nine three. three. something big right here. Ooh, okay. Oh. So only that one section. He's going to go up and over. Might have to throw the reverse. Wraps it. Just not much pushback there. Nice first turn. Just you could see why Owen with priority let him go. Yeah, that one tapered fast, but he did good to to jump the crease and get into that next section. Six nine three. I don't know. Let the judges sort that one out. But um, you know, he's he's chasing a basically a seven. Cool little turn, fin release, solid technique. But as soon as you start having to do a lot of that hopping and just takes away from the flow. And we want flow. We want the package to be nice and connected. So there you go. This is our contest venue. Brett and I are tucked under the corner on the, to the right. right. <laughs> yeah, we're back underneath there in the sandbar. But you got the 805 Lounge, Jax Pro, WSL, QS3000. If you're just tuning in, these points will start into this following season. We already have our Challenger Series Primed and ready to go. North America heading over to Snapper Rocks, Gold Coast, Australia, starting in a few weeks' time. And uh, up next, Al Cleland and Wheeler Hasbro, who's both these guys have been in form. Could be whoever wins that heat wins the contest type of uh, type of form. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think, you know, that heat for Blair Barton, I think Kaloa and Dino will have something to say about that. 
Luca Messinas is, you know, coming off his Barbados win into the semi, so he's looking in prime form. And now, uh, you know, five minutes to go. Owen Moss playing the game. Uh, he let Sam kind of roam around for a little bit with, pri- you know, under priority. But now it's, you know, that under that 10, 10 minute mark, you, you really have to be strategically savvy and and not let someone just go roam around. So he's going to try to pick the next best wave off of Sam if it looks like he can better a score or Sam could get that near seven point ride. And I think that's, you know, up and coming surfers maybe watching or people at home. That's a huge part of competition surfing. Everyone just thinks performance, but it's the performance is, is, n- is not the biggest part at times. Yeah. I mean, there's strategy. Yeah. Got to have some strategy and play the game. I mean, there is a, you know, there is this cat and mouse with priority, um, that does come into play and you would be a fool not to, to flex. Yeah. Right. Well, that's, that's your, uh, unconditional right away is what priority is. So he, you know, look at their bumping right now, but they could sit, you know, blue can go wherever he wants. If he obviously makes a concerted effort for a wave, he's going to lose it or he has to catch it. And red is just trying to bait him or, you know, find something, but and just uh, break away. Yeah. There's a, there is a little, no, it's not. The drone view could sometimes skew it. Looks like there was a little piggyback left, but they've come over towards the pier a little bit more. Uh, this might be an opportunity right here, perhaps. So the goal would be is to, to try to get Owen to get out of the way. Owen's going to look at this, say, eh, it doesn't really, doesn't really like what he sees. And the reason being. There you go. Knew better. Still three minutes on the clock. Reedy chasing the near seven-point ride here in quarterfinal number two. Jack's Pro men's action. This is the 3,000 conditions. You can see it on your screen. Pretty smooth still. One to three foot surf. It's sunny. It's warm. Get down here. Yeah, Every we'll day. be finishing up. What do they say around three o'clock? What it's 10:30 right now. Yeah. So we have plenty of time if you're in the vicinity. We got a couple more quarterfinals, one more after this, or two more, two more after this. We'll be heading into the women's semis, men's semis, women's air show, Air Force air show, men's Air Force air show, women's final, men's final, finishing up right around, you know, the finals will be paddling out right around two o'clock. So get down here. It's, uh, Two surfer priority rules. We got a water start, three minute Ooh, paddle out. Look at this, Brad. Maybe something's going to hit the lineup. Two minutes on the clock. Reedy on the hunt. Moss with priority. Is this thing going to stand up on the bank? Reedy's trying to sell him. Moss is. He doesn't. Never really even stayed with him. Never really even had a look. And reason being, again. Yeah, you know it's gnarly. Like from the drone view, it almost looks bigger. And then they pull back and show you the front on view. You're like, well, that wave was one foot. I know. And <laughs> Reedy's in this situation. And trust me, I've been there. Most competitors have where you're where you're antsy and you're kind of panicking. You can't really do that. You know, needing a seven, the wave's gonna have to come. The goal is to to really have to get Owen out of the way. And this might be the wave he he's going to utilize it. So, and if he betters the score, oh, oh boy. So it goes for the rotisserie and we got a wave behind it. I don't know. You know, it, it is an opportunity. He's going to have to seize it. Drops in right here off the bottom, slams it in the pocket. Can he get one more? He does. Wraps it again, digs the rail. Oh, wow. I felt like he was kind of working his way towards the score. I don't know if there was a lot left there, but that's just a, it kind of leaves a weird taste in your mouth. Yeah, you can't have that type of bookend. It's like that grapefruit I had in my mouth yesterday. It just sat there <laughs> and it kind of was like, mm, 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 <laughs> you know? Oh, no. But the first two combos were click clack. Yeah, no, he got a hold of the first one. Let's see. Right? Bang. Is it the best wave of the heat? It's going to have to be the best wave by point. 
uh, 0.6 pretty much because, you know, Owen has the 6-3, 6-2, and they say 5-1-3, so it wasn't even one of the best waves of his his score line. Oh, and there you go. Stinger. The Java Jaws has me just grasping right now. Oh, I need to get on a chirp. Get Careful. ready for tomorrow today. Let's go. All right, well. Victory lap. Yeah, this one's done and dusted. Don't go anywhere. We will be back with more quarterfinal action after this break. just wanted us to surf longer and that's exactly what these board shorts were designed for tough and timeless the traveler enduro board short Okay, welcome back. Quarter three, taking to the lineup. Al Cleland in red from Mexico. Wheeler Hasberg from Canada. I had Gurr blowing me up uh, when I woke up this morning. Gurr on the chirp in Mal. I think he's still in the Mal. Yeah, yeah, he's at Niyama Island. It looks so fun. I uh, see the clips. I'm like, oh, I did my honeymoon there. Did you? That was phenomenal. Beautiful. It's funny. Me and the wife were looking, and she's it's a like, long haul. Well, she was like. Why, why don't we go to the, uh, the the island in the Maldives that uh, Taj Bro is at? Wait. <laughs> I'm, all, wait. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all right. So um, I think we have Owen Moss on the glass. Do we? Is that what you said, boys? Owen. Mossy, you there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm right here. Mossy's locked in, baby. Semifinals. Uh, yeah. Hey, uh -huh. new sled today. What's going on with this one? Huh? New board? Oh, yeah, yeah. Switched to an epoxy today. Um, Just being a little smaller and it's clean, so just go a little faster. Yeah, it looks good. It looks spicy. Uh, Thank you. What's, uh, what's on the cards? We still... Um, what do you mean? Are you getting ready for this semi? Who are you going to yeah. have? I don't even know. You get Mike know. Blair. It might be your buddy Blair. Or no, it I, be I, I think it's Luca. Oh, you're right. You're in heat one. I'm yeah, way yeah. ahead of myself. <laughs> well, uh, Luca, okay, you boys both in form, both just qualified for the Challenger Series. Yep. going to be a banger. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one. All right. Well, go get some rest. You're coming up. Not, you know, any shout outs, actually? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to. Uh, Shout out to Daryl Goodrum. He's been helping me out all week, getting me dialed in, and uh, yeah, that's it. Awesome. Well, congrats. All right. Good luck. We'll see you back out there soon. Thank yeah. You. Sounds good. Enjoy those. Uh, you got it some extra dollars too. Layright yeah. Deluxe. Psyching. Make yeah. it rain. <laughs> yeah, Layright Deluxe. Keeping the bucks flowing all the way through the event. There you go. Owen Moss, winner of quarter number two. 
will match up against Luca Messinas in the semis. Here we go. Opening his account. Bang, Al Cleland. And bang again. Like so that. judges will like this. Uh, but what I was going to say is uh, Gurr was blowing me up. He's been working with um, Wheeler. And he was kind of just like, hey, kid's still Grom just trying to, you know, he's finding his feet. Just wait. For sure. I'm like, oh, he's come on so strong this last season. I mean, how, do we have an age on Wheeler? 18, 17? Mm, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm just guessing. I know he's right around there. But uh, Cleland, right here. Boom. Nice turn. Comes around the corner. This one clicks it. Gets the fin drift. So they're going to eat that one up. 6.17. So 6.17. Yeah, we're going to get Gurr in the lineup here pretty quick because after his uh, stay in the Maldives, he's going to post up an HB for a couple months. I know. I saw him a few, like a month or two ago, and he was telling me that. I was so stoked. Big backside rotator. So a smaller way, but Cleland has those things on lock. Over the shoulder, spins, backside. And we'll get a replay on that. But that was nice. Little backup score. Wheeler up and riding. Down the line. Boom. Connecting the dots right here. Nice wrap. So working on that forehand swoop. Board speed over the flats. Hits it again. So nice wave there for Wheeler. I call him Wheelhouse. Wheeler. Because he is just rolling down the line. Yeah, I mean, um, that one was a bit of a speedy one. Yeah. Al's was a little bit more bang, bang, up and down. Right here. Nice click. Kind of, you know, wait on, wait off. Then he opens it up. Nice swoop. Full wrap maneuver. Then has to work through the flats again. So if there's any downfall and flaw, or not flaw of his surfing, but of the wave, it's that that's going to keep the score a little bit down. Yeah, I mean, that looks like a, a Xanadu as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Xanadu making some fire sticks in the small stuff. That just consistent rocker. But here's a Al's score coming in something similar to his, to his first. Maybe a little better, it's looking like. So... Nice backside air rotation. And there's a couple of the boys with Whoa, the hair. It's the hair affair. Hair affair. <laughs> yeah. Wes and uh, Carlos. Cali. Yeah. Hitting some acai. Fired up. Enjoying the sunshine here. So, uh, maybe a little too early for a cold pop, huh? Uh, you never know with them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 6.5. Cleland to the lead. So he just goes six one seven six five. This has kind of been his uh, mo through this event. I mean, I said it yesterday, and I'll say it again. So impressed with Al because we know he's gnarly when the waves get critical. Yep. But how good his small grovel game is. Wait on, wait off. You yeah. can see it. He goes like fluffy little pillow feet. You know, yeah. just kind of skates across, knows when to. Wait on, wait off. Yeah, it's, uh, it's impressive. And, he, you know, he spent, you know, his dad being a professional and then, you know, they move, you know, living down in Mexico, gets to surf some of the heavy stuff. But he spends a ton of time in this region, you know, surfing smaller, kind of softer waves. All right, Ruby, bringing us the updated draw for the ladies. That's like the a, matchup. Is that common? Um <clears throat> With priority, Cleland having a sniff, no dice. We got the drone view. It looks like Wheeler's a little bit more to the south peak. So getting away with that second priority, kind of coming back. They're coming. They're kind of coming back to each other. I'm sure Cleland's like, well, I don't want to leave him there all by himself, but this is where I want to sit with priority. So first of Wheeler, 383. And that was, you know, the fact of that flatter-faced wave. Yeah, I didn't really get the uh, the bang. Didn't get the bang for the buck on that one. Cleland doing the job, 6.50 and a 6.17. And we have 17 minutes remaining. I mean, Al pretty much got, got a lot done in a very short span of time. He does have priority. Wheeler on the hunt. Needs an 8.34. Really just needs a combination of scores. But, uh... If he's gonna do gonna do that, he needs to better a six five and a six one seven. 
of Al Cleland. Here we go. Wheeler, look at this, Breddy. Well, is he going to sell him? Oh, Al just steamrolled over there. Al's saying I'm going right. So, Rap Cuddy, climb, click. Ooh, maybe his first little mistake of the event, if any. Maybe. Uh, but here, here's a wave right here. This looks like a nice one for Wheeler. Nice turn in the pocket. And another. And a third. So, he, he's connecting the dots here. Oh, oh a little slip up. Oh, oh. that kind of, you know, threw him a little, a, a little off pace and off kilter. But still, work was done. Yeah, he nailed that wave. I mean, Al, I think the the semi bobble was just to the sheer fact he was just keeping Wheeler off that one. Mm -hmm. And then, almost uh, like crumbled the wave a little bit. But yeah, Al, well, he was kind of backdooring it big time. Yeah, he wanted the right. Um, and see, so you had to kind of hop around it, but the nice little speed slash climbs it, does the kicker, and then board gets a little bit cavitated in the wash. And then this one cuts it a literally nice snap again and a third. So rapid fire there for Wheeler and then a nice cutty and then something with the feet happen a little bit right there. Looks like a back foot slip and then pokes the nose. Yeah, yeah. Weird uh, little bobble right there. Something on the pad, maybe. And that just shows, like, the you know the amount of footwork you have to have. Your feet just in small waves just can't sit there. You really have to forward and back, and there's just these little subtleties that make a good surfer a great surfer, in, in especially in small waves. But, you know, the judges didn't seem to really like that wave that much. They went 4.67, and it could have been... You know, for the fact, I don't think it was necessarily the finish. It was more the maneuvers were kind of similar, and uh, nothing was of of super substance. Sure, sure. Um, and again, I mean, he comboed the daylights out of that I know. thing and, and ripped it for what it was. I mean, not even a five, which that's and, critical. They're being tough up there. Yeah, and I mean, they're they're obviously stacking it stacking it against Al's six one pair of sixes right yeah. like going okay these kind of Seven you know it was two slams on the right the air rev on the left like okay how is this thing gonna you know compare and uh maybe a little flicky on a yeah. third turn like really jammed it. I thought it was great the fact he was able to con uh, do so many maneuvers in such a short span. But, you know, the, the wise men, are, uh, they know what they're looking for. So 1350, it looks like Cleland playing the game right next to Wheeler, letting him, you know, ride. Not going to let him on anything super special is the goal. Tell you what, though, Brad, I trip out the kids at this level, um, even like, oh, Moss, like, where's the sponsorship for these guys? Yeah, I know it is. I mean, they're so good. And uh, anybody that says nobody's marketable, that just means you have bad marketing people. You can yeah. market anybody. Exactly. Yeah, it's they're they are great little surfers, up and comers too. So here we go, having a look. Looks like he's sold. It could be a good one. He's going right, going left. Doesn't let him go either way. <laughs> and so Al just kind of playing the game. It's a lot of time left. Still, thirteen remaining. Well. I guess, you know, in that job done by Wheeler, sold him, didn't, you know, Al's not going to better a score. I don't know if he overthought it, you know, which way to go. And it's happened to him a couple of times, like even on the last right, backdooring it. I almost thought he was going to go left, but he just didn't want to let Wheeler go the other way. So, I mean, job done in that sense. Yeah. Where right. if you're going to use your priority, you're making sure that you're going and they're not going because sometimes he could split the peak. Sure. You know, and it's that's it's a scary s situation. Well, he's not giving Grom an inch. Yeah. He's kind of on him. He's making him think, feel his presence. All right, 12:20 remaining and Al Cleland hailing from Mexico doing uh doing the work right now, the 65 and a 617. Let's see, we've pushed past the 10 o'clock hour. It's almost 11. And that means activations are pumping. They're on the pump down here. You can get waffles from vans, and uh, all these tents have it going on. I mean, gosh, which one did I read? You could just basically get walk away with everything. The kind, 
So at 2.30, you can get yourself into the raffle before then. You can win a leash, pad, tumbler, dry bag, towel, and a hat. Shut the front door. Whoa, I thought you were going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Scared me for a second. <laughs> no, come on. I don't want to lose you. I'm a wily veteran. I'm not getting punted <laughs> off the webcast just yet. I made it this far. I made it this far without a bad word. Oh, um, good stuff. Yeah, I mean, which is a miracle because if anybody knows me, I'm a potty mouth. Uh, Surf Tech, they have got a demo going on, and if you get excited after you ride one, you can go get 75 bucks off at Jack's uh, right up at their flagship store, Spy. They've got the Happy Boost Challenge. Just go to the Spy booth, which is on the walkway in, and you can put a, get your name in the raffle and win. Cleveland, air section. Bang. Rotator. So, uh, I almost like that one better than a 6.5. We'll have to get a little replay here, but he got the loft. Almost a little more, a little more rotation and got the pop off that one. Landed it smooth too, which they always love. Here we go. What do you think? Pretty close. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I didn't get that excited on this one. It was a great maneuver. Is it going to be better than the 6-1? I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, there's the sun bomb. Might have another one. Well, Z backhand slash. So that's what's been garnering the huge nines and eights the last few days. Bigger, The bigger day. Wheeler's found something. Looks like a good wave. He's up and riding. Going to take to the sky. Spins it. What? Oh, so oh he, my goodness. He better get some foo wax on that pad ASAP. <laughs> oh, no. He did all the work. He, that one he had, had it. That one had a lot more projection, too. Maybe not the height, but out to the flats. Boof. So there, it's done. He And he, he went to adjust his foot, and it slipped off the side of the board. So it wasn't... It wasn't um, pad malfunction it was just kind of how his body was rotating at the end there it's just the momentum yeah yeah that was tough because that would have been a score that would have been the uh, a it, score yeah for sure well he needs an eight so it would have cut you know it would have been similar in that owl range i would say they might even go they would have maybe went a little more just with the the speed and the impact. Yeah, I like the ground he covered too. Like it wasn't like kind of a, a slow mo one. Like he went into it with some speed. Speed, yeah. Really like hucked the tail. You get a new pair of glasses, Mauricio? You get some new glasses? <laughs> saw, saw you making an appearance on the web. <laughs> That's our producer. Those are beauties. <laughs> well, he's in again. He's sold. He looks right, goes left. And snaps it right there. So float, pop. Oh. So good rhythm, pace. Uh-oh. Mr. Cleland. Trying to replace a 617, turn the screws. I mean, he does have another 617. That was so his last air. Yeah, that's the throwaway. Even Steven. They didn't like it as much as the other one that you guys liked. But what do I know? I've been wrong a lot. No, we don't get paid to. To be right? Yeah. We're like weathermen. We get paid no matter what. We what be right, is, wrong. Spread some myths, truths, you uh, know. There's a 20% chance that's a 6.17. Yeah, we'll just embellish a few things, you know. It's We still get paid. Paid to be wrong all the time. 60% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> 740 well, they, they didn't like that lot you know the last one what happened was is the start you know he he faded right to hold wheeler off and then had to go back left and that kind of cost him his rhythm at the start and then after that i felt like he was just he he surfed the wave well but it was just not that engaged in it mm. uh oh it could be the southern hemi it could be the Southern Hemi Pulse, except for it's coming from right to left. Oh, look so at this one. As well. Kind of a bomb out the back here. Wheeler. Which way? Is Which... he going to get to it on time? He might have to ditch his board. Oh, no. Oh, he couldn't make the decision left, right. Oh, that was a pocket jam right yeah. there. Carve, and then it goes goes into the old plumpness. Tapertown. 
Well, I'll tell you what, I did re-chirp up, got another uh, job, cup, jaws? Cup, of, cup of percolated bean juice. I might go out there in a little bit, see how the Jaws is doing. We always get ourselves in a little bit of a headlock. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, you know, you ride off the caffeine for a little bit. There's the brother. So, just kind of starting his new ventures with the old 2% union. Digging these weddies. Be wet. Yeah, I love the weddies he's been wearing. Going green. Little retro uh, day glow. All right, six minutes uh, roughly remaining, and it is Al Cleland holding the lead, but Wheeler has priority on the hunt for an eight. Very capable of dropping an eight. It's I don't we've seen late. an eight yet today, though, right? Uh, do we have an eight this morning? I don't think no, we did. No, seven, eight, three. Yeah, so we haven't gone into the eights yet this morning. I think, uh, you know, Luca got pretty close with his pair of sevens. Who else? Who else had the... Luca had a seven eight three seven five. Okay. Um, the ladies' division there was mostly in the six range. Uh, who else did we have? First he was Luca Nat. Last heat, oh, and Moss couple sixes, and then this one, you know, we're in the pocket sixes as well with Cleland. So an eight's going to be a real standout wave, yeah. and that is exactly what Wheeler is on the hunt for. So either something uh, very big and speedy and dynamic or a methodically decimated wave of something who knows i don't know but uh we have let's see quarter um where's our men's draw we have quarter was it four coming up with kolohe that's the girls all over the court where's our paperwork what have you done to me Breddy? make it hard on you so i just keep seeing ladies stuff ladies stuff ladies stuff ladies where's the guys who do we got all right who do we, who do we got Chloe, hey, blair barton blair barton all right blair coming off uh the junior victory in barbados we might get michael dunphy in here too Let's, yeah, where yeah. Is he? he's just getting changed up but cleland's rotating it is like a four-hour threat i thought he'd messaged us like two <laughs> hours ago hey, i'm coming well, in he's pulling a dunny on us Endless money, Mike Dunny. We'll get North America ratings leader. We'll get him in here to call, you know, good friend, Chloe Andino's heat out there versus Blair Barton, who is kind of, you know, Clo or Dunny would be Blair's kind of protege because they're both from Virginia Beach. Yeah. Dunny's kind of path the way. Mm -hmm. So we'll get him in in a little bit. He just went out for a little, little flare up. He's walking down right now. Oh, lovely. 350 remaining. And uh yeah, I mean that's it's a, we're doing it, Brett. Come on down. Vendor Village just really kind of kicks off at 10 and now it's 11. So if you're showing up now, I mean you've missed out of an hour of free swag. You got to get here before they give it all away. It is finals day. And uh Cleland's looking his way, at, you know, look at look at this this uh gamesmanship. Like, hey, Tom, oh. I'm going to come sit right on your lap. <laughs> Wheeler smiled. <laughs> You're like, wow, I didn't they... know we were so tight. Was that your nose or your board that just hit my tail? Yeah. <laughs> you get a good night of sleep last night? What was uh, for dinner? How's my, how's my beard smell? <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple of cervezas. Yeah, well, he's still got a chance. He needs the eight. As you said, high, it would be the highest wave of the day, so it will be that standout wave and or maneuver. It, it, it would be less if he, he completed that last air. It would have helped his cause. Oh, for sure. He for would, sure. Right now, he'd be needing probably something in that six range. High five, six range, yeah. perhaps. Yeah. So... And it was like the work was done on that thing. It just, if you watch the replay slow-mo, he's like, his it's, foot yeah. just goes off the side well, of the like, board. Well, like, yeah, when he buried the tail and he got the whip, as he was coming out of the whip, like, to kind of move his foot back into the, I don't know, whatever, more Tranny. more towards the middle of the board, it just completely banana peeled. Just all happened in that little transition from the spin to... His foot and the momentum just kept, it just flung it off a little bit. So two minutes, there is time on the clock. You could see a little onshore breeze starting to 
make its way back. You know, the next few days, we're not missing anything. It's going to be smaller, cleaner, so... Oh, it's a good week to pick up the golf club. <laughs> <laughs> Get All right, that foot wedge out. Yeah, exactly. Texas wedge. <laughs> <laughs> Mulligans for days, people. All right, 130 remaining. We're down to 90 seconds. And, well, the Gromit is on the hunt. He needs an eight. Coming up next, uh, elite former world championship tour surfer, Kolohe Andino, doing battle against... Uh, an up-and-comer, Blair Barton. Yeah, so big result for Blair already in a way, but I'm sure he's going to, you know, really just soak in this this heat right here versus brother, Kolohe Andino, who some of we know very well. So under a minute, Blue needs the eight. Cleland just trying to make him feel uncomfortable. The young stud from... Encinitas. I think he surfs. I think he surfs under the Canadian flag in the ISA World Juniors. I do Wheeler believe does. So yeah, the Canadian team. So and he'd have to be one of the standouts on that team. Oh, for sure. Yeah, he's had some. He's had some solid results. I'm sure he'll be competing, uh, most likely in El Salvador coming up soonish. Yeah. Well, you've got the young brothers from Maui. You've got Aaron Brooks for Canada. Kind of a solid team. I just broke our pen because I'm oh, like no. a fidget spinner. Oh, no. Just Too... fidgeting. Well, you got to go get another cup of chirp in you. Well, a little handshake right there. We're going to call this one in. Dunny. It's looking like Al Cleland advancing on. We're going to bring in Michael Dunphy after this commercial break. Here we are, Jack's Pro, banger of a heat right here. I'm joined by Michael Dunphy. We have a battle ahead. Hello, Brett. You, Good morning. You, Thanks for having me. You know these guys pretty well. I do. Right? A couple of shredders, one from back east and Kolohe, obviously, from out here. This will be a good good matchup. They probably have never surfed head-on-head -head against each other. That's kind of what I was thinking. I'm like, hey, what an opportunity for Blair. Big result already in the quarterfinals, but 
surfing against someone like Kolohe. He looks like Kolohe might have changed his board uh, up today. And a uh, little pink bottom, black top, could be carbon fiber, and it's looking pretty darn lively. It's looking Spice Island. Look at that wow. thing. Wow. Oh, so yeah. gets the twist. What do you think? He's got the new, new, whole new game right here. He's got the 2% <laughs> union behind him. He's got the new Be Wet wetsuit. He's got the long hair. He's got color on the suit, color on the board. He's really throwing everything at us. Are we back in the 70s? We might 80s. be in the Dino's era. Yeah. 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 He's well, throwing it back kind of 80s style. I like it. Well, there he is. 30 years old. Just turned 30. Weight, 79 kgs. That's about, what, one set? What is he right now? 170? Yeah, I think that's like maybe 175. About, he's about 5'11", like 6 foot, would you say? Regular foot. He's probably riding, if I had to guess, that board's probably a 5'8 or a 5'9", which is very sm smaller for him. Yeah. But... Uh, maybe a rad ripper. Yeah, I think it's a rad ripper. They have those wide tails and they fly when the surf's small like but, this. And you can look how spicy it gets. It comes out of these turns with more speed and he's able to bust a little tail out right here. And then he flicks it around again. Boom. Gives him a lot of release and it keeps the speed. I mean, that's what really what you're looking for on a day like this. That was a waist high wave. Yeah. And maybe even smaller. And the way he was able to go up and down. And he looked kind of stoked right there, but first wave comes in 617, and then we got a replay. Nice little left hander. What's he got? We're staying busy. Wow, nice speed snap. And he's going to, yep. Oh, goes for the spin doctor footwork. And he's always, Dino's always been one of the footwork and brothers. Always good at, he, he's very, he moves a bit on his board, which, you know, that's what, in especially the small stuff makes a good surfer to a to an excellent surfer and yeah when you're moving around on the board when you're when you're blowing tail and getting all frisky you're able to keep your feet shuffling around it keeps you keeps you sharp you kind of have to because mm -hmm. that's the momentum you know and then Blair needs a score he's behind the gun right now and uh, flies around this corner mm. and it was a little bit you know, uh, whether it was turn selection, just a little bit in between right there. He seemed a little rushed, even like looking at it that way, maybe feeling a little bit of the heat with brother already put in two, looks like a six, one, seven and another uh, five, six, seven. So yeah. brother with a quick start, you know, it's hard when you, um, when you're sitting there and you see your competitor already get a couple good scores under their belt and you want it, you want to get going, you know, you get a little bit antsy. It looked like Blair had a little bit of that, that. going on. And, and he got a little stuck at the start, like, yeah. He got up and the board like just kind of wouldn't let him get going. And then he got there and it was kind of a in-between pocket jam and carve. And then that, that inside rail jammed down. So he's going to have to jump back on it. In these conditions, you know how it is. Like it is so much about the entry into the wave, you know, having that good paddle, that fast, um, like angled entry to where you're standing up with momentum. Well, and that's it. Like brother's first wave, it was a smaller wave, but he really had to kind of you know, he just went up and down, up and down, and that was, uh, you know, the difference in those scores. Yeah, and Blair is gonna, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna be in second prio, so he's probably gonna want to sneak down the beach a little bit and try to get away from brother to get, get something going. But he, Blair's a VB boy, so he knows he's how to used. work. He knows how to work these conditions. You know, he's, sure. he's been surfing really well the last couple of events. I know he had a pretty tough injury last year, and it looks like he's. He's kind of uh, gotten past that and found a little bit of confidence, momentum, and he's running with it really well. Well, that's great. Yeah, I just got word, Jamal from Jack, saying Super 73, the winners of each division get a custom Super 73 and a customized watch from Nixon. What? So Throwing the, the bag down Extra here. bags are all over the place. A lot. I think you win this event, you walk away with eight grand or wait. I think I'm seeing 9,500. They're bumping the prize money. Here wow, goes Blair. He got away from him. A nice big. poke, and he gets it up there again. Little tail release. So he's, gotta, he's in the heat. He's got to stay on. Cause look, I mean, brothers on 11, 11, 8, 4. You get a four or something. You're still gonna need, you know, upwards to the seven range. But gotta start somewhere. Gotta finish a wave. If you start falling a couple times, it gets in your head. Yeah. So he got vertical right there. And then he gets it onto this thing, blows a little tail out, and he's able to come out of it. So, you know, that's a momentum wave for Blair for this heat. He, he gets a couple turns in. He's in the heat. It might not match Brothers' first wave, but I think he's... It's a big turn. Yeah. Kind of like you said, a little, you know, didn't, ha you know, rotate around the hips as much. Kind of more of a, 
uh, you know, a jam little windshield, but that thing threw a ton of spray. Yeah. And it's going to be his keeper. There it is, four, six, seven. So the kind of what we thought puts him in a situation where he's still going to need a seven, one, seven. But at least his feet are, you know, his legs are under him. He's in the wax. He's like, he's making momentum. And if you sit there too long and, you, and you're just fighting and you're not getting anything going, then you just start crumbling. Well, for the in, most in, of us. In, in, in between the ears, the brain starts, you start asking yourself questions, you know, is that wave going to come? If you fall there, it's like the wheels could really fall off. But there is 17 minutes remaining, so tons of time. We're only eight minutes into this thing. Yeah, so brother's gonna gonna hold Pryo, but he's gonna give Blair some space. I know. I've been. We've noticed that a couple times this morning. I mean, they're about 20. I mean, from this view, it looks maybe 25, 30 yards apart. Fans are claiming 89%. Must be all Cali guys. I know, huh? <laughs> Start clicking, dude. Get like eight phones going. <laughs> Ricky just texted me. He's in VV supporting the boys, so there everyone back home is probably watching. They're watching. Yeah. There. Well, that could be the 11%. Yeah, the boys are holding it down. So. It's hard. You get events out here. It's uh, not as many people back home maybe watching, but. Yeah, I mean, it. This event has had a little roller coaster of waves. It's you, we've got <laughs> semifinals. You, you look at we, we're looking at you know the first ones uh, Luca Messina, Luca Messinas versus Owen Moss, and then it looks like we just had um, I'm brain fart. Yeah, Cleland. Cleland, Cleland on a roll, and he's going to be up against whoever wins this one. So Cleland, Mossy, and Messina has been in their bag lately. Yeah, just they're running a, with it. They're on a they're, they're on a heater. Yeah. There oh, catches the rail. He was gonna go for one of those big, I think, rotator spins. He yeah. wanted to go crano on that thing, stalefish. Oh, that would have been nutty. <laughs> or was he gonna just do the cartwheel, Brett style? I think it was the cartwheel. Yeah. I think it was a cartwheel section, but he, uh, you know, caught the inside edge. He was gonna have to make that thing a big score. And we got Dave Porch tuning in too from VB. So the VB crew is is. Locked in, you well, know. There's a huge. If you're a surf fan and you're not locked in, you're kind yeah, of yeah. What else are you doing on a like, Sunday? We have the freaking nation's best. You also have, you know, the North North Americans best. So, big event starts the year off. You're gonna be heading over to Snapper. When do you head that way? I'm gonna go over um in about ten days. Okay. So gonna go back home for like another week and then come back out and and head over there. Perfect. Well, brother. Uh oh. Trouble uh -oh. on the streets. Uh-oh. He's winding up. He's getting loose. He's looking like he is fired up today. And this little board's going to fly over all this stuff. Look at this thing. Where's he going? I don't know. He's, but he's flying. He's going fast and he's getting vertical, but there wasn't much steepness there. So I don't think that's going to better. He's just trying he's to got. show off his small wave skills. Yeah, huh? he's got skills to pay bills yeah. and um, So he's going to... You know, I feel like Brother's pretty dangerous when he starts getting fast and getting busy. Like, he'll create scores out of out of nothing. So if you get this guy going, it's it's full steam ahead. I mean, it, and, and it's a type of day where, I mean, it happened in that, which was a bummer. But, you know, he went on the first wave. Luca gets a nice right. Mm -hmm. And then kind of he's like, oh, I'm just going to stay away. Down, you know, down south a little. Then, boom, a perfect left comes to him. So priority is... It's it's an integral part, but when it's smaller like this and there's a few little sections on the bank. Yeah, you got to create your rhythm, priority or not. You know, there's so much about that with with um, competing and surfing and in, in uh, small waves. You know, you're you're creating opportunities all over the bank for yourself. When when there's not a predominant peak, you can you can mm -hmm. move around and get away from your competitor. And it looks like Kolohe is going to do that now that Blair has Pryo. And it kind of makes the person with priority feel a little bit vulnerable mm -hmm. in yeah. a sense of like, I, you, you know, before you paddle out, you have a little area like, hey, when I'm with, when I have priority, I want to sit here. But when your competitor is is also beating you, but just trying to better scores, it kind of makes you think like, am I in the right zone? You just have to really trust it. Yeah, you can you can start to kind of feel a little pressed, a little anxious, kind of like worrying about them and not worrying about just getting on the next good one that comes and make you, you can make you make a bad decision, you know. For sure. We, yeah. We've all been victims of that. Well, and then it, it, you know, in in hindsight too, it could be like, well, Kaloe comes over there, different strategy, but Kaloe comes and just sits right on you. Yeah. And tries to press you a little bit and make you feel uncomfortable. And we saw that with Cleland the last heat he had. Wheeler kind of was he backpacking Wheeler? Yeah, like at the end, you know, he had a six-five. Wheeler had an error on a right that his foot just slipped off, like 
pulled the maneuver, but foot slipped off, so it didn't count, which would have helped. But then mm. Wheeler needs an eight, and Cleland's just kind of bumping him, you know, yeah, and just making him, him feel a little, you know, make it ask ask some questions. Ask him for wax. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how much time's left? <laughs> hey, do you have any foo? Oh, there's only two minutes. You're screwed. Uh-oh. Here's Blair. He's looking at something. Maybe he's going to flare up this left. You think he takes to the sky right here? A little combination. I think a ting snap, then a, a air. Oh, no. This thing's running away. Oh, uh, that thing was dog. Oh, it's a dog days. He just... It's funny because those ones, that's kind of like the one Nat got in his heat. It looks good. It's coming in. It's wedging at you. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it just folds over. Yeah. All right. We're going to send it down to Big Cleland. Are you there, brother? Yeah, I'm here, boys. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, same thing. We're rolling through a couple sixes, wave by wave. How's it feeling? Yeah, I know. It's stoked. Uh, the waves are a little smaller, but it seems like it's peakier, a little combo swell. And uh, yeah, it's a good day. Sunny out. Finals day. Nothing to complain, you know. All right. What's the plan going into the semis? You might have uh, Blair or Kolohe. Would you prefer or are you just focused on yourself? I don't really care. Whoever it is, I'm going to bump my head into them. And, uh, yeah, you know, just go all out. I'm here not to play. You know, I'm here for everything. And uh, I know we care. saw that. I like that in that last tee. You made Wheeler kind of think about life and, you know, gave it to him. The young kid kind of put, put it in his head a little bit. But, uh into the semifinals, starting this year off well. And any shout-outs? Yeah, no, for sure. Like, it comes down to, like, these are the most important rounds, you know. You can't let anybody have any space. Uh, I've learned a lot. I've always lost in these rounds. So just can't let anybody get away from you. You got to just bump into them and just show them who's boss, you know, because we're not here to just surf. We're here to actually just go all the way. And all right, big have I love have a good one. I love you. this, baby. Viva Mexico, cabrones. Una por una, vamos con todo. He's fired up. Wow, he brought the gloves and that's, today. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. Yesterday he was giving me this, oh, I mean, you know, wave by wave. And I'm like, am I listening to Al Cleland? Like, give me something. Yeah, he you wants know? some juice. He's here to knock some guys out. Give me something. I mean, I don't know if he's trying to knock <laughs> anyone. <laughs> <laughs> knock him out of the event. Yeah, he's headbutting. You know? yeah, yeah, he's knocking him out of the event. He's fired up. So He's, he's been on fire the last couple weeks. He's on a roll. Board looks good. You could tell he's mentally... He, he, you know, he's sharp. Yeah. And, yeah, the boys, Wesley, there to greet him with some, you know, did he get some more cold, hard cash? Layright Deluxe Bucks. Layright's laying it down this week. Layright, you know, he's got, his, he's got everything going. We'll see. Nice. No, he's on a little Timmy Patterson. That's his go-to. It's the same board he rode. It sounded like on the bigger day. So he's just got a little magic blade that's working. Yeah, if it could work the other day and work in this stuff, it, it's got to be a magic. So Blair laid down a 5-2-3 when we were at uh, the interview. I'd like to see a replay of that. But so he's in the heat now. He's only looking for a 6-6-1. Six, six, so he's crawling his way back. He's creeping back. Brother's kind of giving him a little more attention now with the prio. And he's going to go on this left. So he's going up and over the woods. He's going to go and... Oh, oh, Nelly, ooh, that was a, kind of a crazy looking uh, fall there, but he's pretty, you know, yeah. has some dexterity. Here's Blair on a good looking one, blows a tail and he comes undone. So goes for it there. I'm going to tap in uh, Wellsy. I'm going to go Wells. say hi to the family real quick. They're here for a hot second trying to swarp up all the juice. So. Yeah, tell them what's up for us. We love you, Donnie. We love you too, Brett. All right, here's Wellsy. To cover the windows to your head. So Blair's going to try and scrap back out and get Pryo, but it, oh yeah, it looks like he got it over uh, Kolohe. And we have Mr. Chad Wells in the booth, the oh, legend Seal Beach himself. Well, thanks for inviting me, Donnie. Thanks Seriously. for inviting me it's for this wonderful <laughs> heat. Well, I mean, we had you in the box uh, what, a couple of years ago, and then you've abandoned us. Yeah. I mean, I, you don't uh, like us anymore. No, I love you guys. It's good to be back here and... and uh, See everyone. It looks like uh, Blair's got Pryo and is eight minutes left, needing a mid six. I mean, he's right in this thing. Kolohe came out out of the gates hot uh, with the first two scores, and then Blair's crawled back. And um, let's see if he can get something done. Yeah. Hey, congratulations on winning uh, the North American rankings. Thank you, sir. Find yourself in the Challies. Yeah, it'll be fun uh, going over to Australia. Here goes Blair. He's gonna pop this thing, and he gets up there again. He was a little bit later than he would have liked to be. 
I don't think that's going to be the score, but um, he's surfing well. Let's see if he can get back out there and get something else. What do you think? Is that going to better his 5-2-3? Mm, hard to say. I'm no judge, fortunately. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've been wrong the whole event, so I'm not even going to try. Oh, yeah, you're not even going there, huh? Not even going to go there. But here, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Get down here. Throw the th throwing games. Uh all kinds of games, Brett's beer goggle games. There's oh all, wow! There's fun games happening. It's all, it's uh this is just freeswag.com down here. So they got to get one over these shoe to get some free hats and stuff. <laughs> Whatever you got to do, huh? Yeah, no, I mean this is the van's tent, and they were banging out waffles on a stick. Oh, <laughs> were breakfast. they? Breakfast, yeah, it was great. Wow. But um, yeah. So I mean, let's talk about uh, you. You got snapper coming up. Yeah, that's coming up in like uh, two weeks' time, three weeks' time. We're going to go over there, and uh, we have Snapper and Sydney event. And then the Challenger Series is pretty much like a proper tour. Where do you guys go after that? So it goes two in Australia, one in uh, Belido, South Africa. Oh, wow. That's a jaunt. And then uh, U.S. Open. But first, look at Kolohe on this left. He's going to get up in the lip, pop it nicely, and he's going to go to the sky, and he rotates and lands. That's a big score, and he likes it. That was solid. It was all connected, you know, two majors, no downtime really, and he just launched on that Rad Ripper, and that thing's looking like it is the board for today. Yeah, I was going to say, I saw him walk across the beach with that, and I was yeah. going to ask you if you knew what it was, and there you go, Rad Ripper. Yeah, so it's a 5'8", I believe, Rad Ripper, and when he busts those things out, you can tell he, like, gains this bit of confidence, and he just doesn't fall. He goes faster than everyone, blows tail everywhere, and he, um, it's just a magic craft for him. And he, he, you know, he he ride he rides that board a lot around San Clemente when it's small, and he seems to know it really well to where he um oh look at that turn through the lip and then just straight into that that's that's major surfing so right there. So Rad Ripper is not to be confused with the Retro Ripper, right? Correct. The Retro Ripper. I think it's a two plus one. It might be. So the Rad Ripper is a little more high performance. Um, you can do surfing like that on it, and right. uh, they came out with a new model called the ripper as well that's a little step up from the rad ripper and you're on mayhems now too what have you been what's been your go-to in like say conditions like this um i like riding uh like a swallowtail sub driver 2.0 or a, i actually rode a puddle jumper pro those are really fun as well he has so many fun models for the for the little surf you know like yeah. this you know the things just fly well, I mean, California Shaper, you would have to, right? We get so small conditions most of the time. Yeah, the waves don't break out here that hard. <laughs> <laughs> have uh, you messed around with any of the black sheep stuff? Yeah, they, they, all that carbon tech's really good. They have the black sheep and the double dart. Um, I rode one of those last year here, and, and they fly in, in uh, these conditions. And so Kolohe goes 7.6.7 seven on that, and that's going to really put a stamp on this heat um, for the moment. Because I, I loved how connected that wave was. Oh yeah, no, he he banged, like carried speed through from start to finish. Yeah, like the way he snapped through the lip and then he just went straight into that air without any hesitation. You know, it looked like he was just pulling that thing the whole time. Well, I mean, he's an elite surfer, right? Yep. Former world tour surfer. He's no, he's no uh, rookie to competition. He is a, a veteran and knows what it takes. A hundred percent, and he's a. Uh, He's fired up. You know, a lot of people ask uh, brother or ask myself because they know that I know him well. They're like, is he is he is he retired or is he is he just doing the two percent <laughs> thing or what what is he doing? But he's fired up. You know, he's going to Australia more, more motivated in, than ever to make the tour again. And and he's the guy the guy loves surfing and and loves competing and it shows um, pretty much all the time. Yeah, I love it. And lo you know, I love a lot of his video, uh, stuff that he puts out there in the small stuff. You're like, man, he is just laser sharp. Yeah. It's relatable too. Cause everybody's surfing those kind of waves and then you see what he does and you're like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here he goes. Wait, no, this is Blair Barton. Blair, Sorry. a nice looking wave. Oh, he's a little bit behind it. It seems like the whole heat, he's been chasing it a little bit. That's what can happen when you get the, um, like Kolohe starts with those two scores and, and it kind of puts you in that pressure situation where you feel like you're kind of chasing it and behind it the whole time. Sure. And it feels like Blair's kind of been pressing um, since Klohe got those two waves. And here comes something out the back. Maybe Blair could get away and, and snag this left from the drone angle. You never know with these things. Um, Down to three minutes. Is this thing going to go? Here he goes, Blair Barton. Blair could get something here. Come on, pop it. And... Uh, Gets up in the lip twice and a third time, so that looked pretty good. And then Brothers out the back on a 
on a nice looking riot. See if he can fly around. Uh, no. So we'll have to see what Blairs comes in at, but that could hopefully get him back in the heat. Yeah, eight six one for him to just dig himself out of this uh, second place to take the lead. It is Chloe and Dina who has turned the screws on the grommet. Two and a half minutes remaining, and uh, well, we are going into. Let's see. Let's check the schedule. Vertical from Blair and a nice spray turn and another vertical. He did good on that first turn. He blasted it. Yeah. Um, I I would imagine that might be his best. Yeah. I, I so if he can match maybe brother's second wave that would make it more of a heat but um it's gonna come in under oh wow judges did. his first so oh it replaced the four six seven but only just yeah so i think he was a little bit late again to that first turn and it kind of he wasn't able to get another major in so all right Donnie, women hey. semis one and two happening zoe benedetto matea dempful olin uh-huh and uh, then semi two, Sonoa Dempful Olin and Kira Pinkerton. The Olin sisters making a big run here. Wow. So we could have a sister final. <laughs> Conceivably, yeah. Where are they from? Um, Canada. Oh, no way. They live in Tofino? Yeah, or? they work with Matt Myers. They are from Tofino. One of them dates, uh, I think, one of the Raf's son, maybe. Oh, cool. Cousin. Cool. Dates a Brewweiler. So Shout out to the Tofino boys, Pete yeah. Degrees and all them. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, Great that's surfers. a hotbed of uh, talent up there. Yeah, it's a really cool area. I mean, I believe, uh, what, Noah Cone's from there, too, Yeah, right? yeah, I think so. Um, so that'll be cool. And uh, Zoe's been on fire. She seems to be in every final, pretty much. Yeah, she's, I mean, she's the vet, right? She's here for the win. So that's this is not new territory for her. Yeah, she she knows how to handle the pressure and the big stage, for Coming sure. Coming off a big win in Barbados. Yep, she was ripping down there. She's, she's uh... Versatile, you know, she can surf well in the small stuff. She surfs good with there's some juice, so and that'll be fun to watch. And so Blair is still hunting for the eight six one. I mean, this is it, do or die. Blair Barton needs yeah, a huge on. score. Let's see what he can do. Oh, well, he he had a great event and he's uh he's been surfing really well, so just. Carried on to the next one and well, coming off a big win in Barbados, right? He won the junior. Yeah. So I mean, he's still competing in junior events. This is a great result for him. Huge, yeah. So you just got to carry it and learn a few things, and and the next one will be here soon enough. Yeah. Well, this one's in the history books. Kolohe and Dino into the semifinals. Look at this combo. Yeah. Uh, right into the launch. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more after this. See you guys. So today we're here with this morning, we're checking out the glass shop for Paisel in California, seeing where all the boards are shaved. I've been working with uh, John pretty much my whole life, my whole surfing career. We've created a pretty cool relationship in uh, building these boards. Um, I can kind of give my feedback and my feel of what I like in the board, and he's really good at articulating that and, and creating the shape from that. But it's pretty fun because we can just be open, you know, and I, I like it because it's, it's hard when you're creating product if you can't be open and truthful to the people that you're working with. So for me, working at Paisel, I can very clearly tell them, hey, this board does not turn very well at all. It's heavy. It's or this board was really good, this is the one. And be really excited about it and like, let's let's do this again. And being able to give those emotions, positive or negative, it's always very useful.
Introducing Do your thing. We are back, coming at you live from the golden sands of Surf City. This is Huntington Beach, Jack Surfboards Pro, and there you go. That is the final bracket, semi one, taken to the water. Zoe Benedetto versus Matea Dempfel Olin, and with me is former World Championship Tour, no stranger to winning here on the South Side, <laughs> Miss Courtney Conlog. Yeah. Courtney, how are you today? Doug, we are on finals day. The action has been cranking all morning, and now we're in the semis. So it uh, looks like just a low score to get the exchange going, 2.33. And uh, yeah, how happy are we? We're going crown champions today. Yeah, and more importantly, two brand new champions. Uh, Sawyer took out back-to-back -back years. She's not here. So nope. we have a new champion in the women's we will crown. And also with uh, Nat Young losing out in that quarter, opens the door for a brand new champion for the men's. It does, it does. And we also have the air show after the two semis, so... Yeah, so we're going to have a couple uh, couple winners that we will be crowning for the U.S. Air Show or U.S. Air Force Air Show presented by FUWAC. So the winners are going to walk away with uh, 1500 1500 bucks cash and a lot of bars of FUWAC. <laughs> it's pretty epic. And, and that FUWAC is it's super worth it. sticky. It's worth its weight in gold, people. Yeah. I mean, we do have these commercials that we're showing online and it... It really kind of, um, to me, exemplif exemplifies the spirit of Foo Wax. It's, it's artisan wax. It's made by human hands. No, There's no machinery happening. That's uh, awesome. Maybe except for the packaging part. So uh, <laughs> a lot of love and thought goes into every batch of the, of the Foo. So um, crucial. Yeah, Chloe and Dino, you there? Yep, I'm here. Wow, that board looks amazing. Talk to us. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's, a, um, it's one of those Rad Rippers. It's a black sheep model. Um, yeah, I usually want ride like the stock versions of them, but, um, Matt put his magic touch on this one and shaped me, shaped me one, um, about two years ago. So I've been keeping it on ice for when it's, uh, you know, cause when the waves are like this, it can really, uh, be a big difference to have a good groveler. Well, it, it looks like it carries a lot of speed and looks like it's uh, an extension of what your mind is telling your feet to do. So I hope not. My mind could, it's like in a, in a Rubik's cube of a mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're faking it till you make it up here. That's what I see. You, Thanks. You, yeah, it's going fun. where you want it to. <laughs> and, I mean, we're watching a replay. You can't see it, but uh, that quick jam and then the big air verse. Yeah. So great. Um, Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you've got some more work to do. We'll let you go. You're the uh, winner of uh, some more lay right bucks in the hand. Sick. And any um, dollars. Any shout outs before we <laughs> let you go uh, reboot? $3. Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll say uh, a quick shout out to my family at home, my wife and my two kids. Love you guys. Right on. Yeah. And uh, there you go, Chloe and Dino, winner of quarterfinal heat four Thanks, into guys. the semis. You, psyching, veteran. Yep, grew up with that one, and uh, Chloe is showing up today, and looking forward to seeing him and his next heat, and uh. That board, Black Sheep, looks really good under his feet. Oh, it does. It really does. It looks like just uh, it's doing exactly what he wants it to do. And you can just see that when he stands up, it's just that thing has got a gas pedal. That and it just looks so in sync with him as well. So it just enables him to go next level on these small waves. And it looks like we have a couple paddlers. Matea... Up and riding. Nice snap to get things started. Snap. Oh, oh, a little front heavy at the end there. I like the commitment, though. The commitment was awesome. You know, it's early days in the heat. Wanting to achieve the finals. So, got to show up. I mean, she's got her, her hands full with Zoe Benedetto. Zoe's, a, she's savvy. 
She's comp savvy. She's here to win. She is. And Matea, just drop in a bit of a three for that last ride. She would have been on her way to probably a six following that turn. Oh, snapped it and just maybe just brought it around too much. A little too much or maybe just finish that turn versus try and project down. Probably could have been thinking about that next section. Um, but, yeah, looking sparky out there for finals day. These ladies already had a heat this morning. No, kind of what to expect. Tide's dropping. Conditions definitely improving with the tide drop. Yeah, it's a beautiful day down here at Surf City. Uh, be sure to visit all the sponsor booths. Grab a 20% off flyer that is redeemable up at the Jack's flag flagship store or on jacksurfboards.com. I mean, you see it on your screen. Uh, you can hit it with your phone and it'll still deliver. Trust me, we've done it. And uh, I mean... There is all kinds of killer activations. I know we showed some on the screen. And um, just get down here. Get down here before they give it all away. This is finals day. So all these tents, they're like, they don't want to bring this stuff back to the office. No, Definitely no, not. It's got, more to carry home. Yeah, marketing people don't want to be lugging <laughs> stuff around. They want you to carry it home. Exactly. So be sure to drop on by. There's so many fun games for the kids. If you guys need a haircut, Layride Deluxe is giving haircuts out oh, there. Oh, yeah. Free so, cuts. Free haircuts. I was talking to Mitch. I'm like, do I get the commentator haircut? <laughs> and I don't even know what that is. <laughs> uh, bit of the fade on the sides. All right. All right. Girls just uh, trying to just sift out some rides out there. Zoe got um, opened up with a 433. She got another one coming in. And Matea, 233 three and a 3. Has her in the lead. But... Uh, I can't imagine any of those two scores are going to be keepers. We have 1645 remaining. If you guys just logged on, this is women's semifinal action. We will be going into the men's after this. 1210 uh, will be semi one, 1235, semi two. Then we've got air show action. And then it's finals, crowning champions. Yeah, Zoe up and riding on that one just. Quick two turns, she'll be out the back, and uh, now she's looking to replace a low 0.67. I'm sure she'll do that on that ride. Yeah, coming off a massive victory at the 5,000, too, in Barbados, Zoe is. Yeah. So, again, she's no stranger to the winner's circle. And, uh, uh, I mean, the Olin, uh, the, the Olin sisters, I mean, this is probably a great result for them. Definitely. I'm sure they'll be really happy, you know, with a semifinal result for both of them. And, you know, it's still early days in this first heat. So so uh, if you go down in the semi, you're walking away with 1,825 points, 2,200 bucks and an equal third. Not too bad. No. You win 3,000 points, 9,500. Second place, 4,700. And... Uh, 2340 points so again a good launch pad for a 24 25 wqs campaign to try to um qualify for those challengers yeah and gain some momentum you know with this stuff it's always these events you want to just have that compound effect of positive heat wins and just evolve and grow throughout the season it's not a bad way to start with the win so i'm sure these last four ladies that are standing would love to be on top here at the Jacks Pro. You know, it's the seventh annual for the men, but I believe it's the fourth year for the ladies. So um, be excited to see who ends with the win. Yeah, who's uh, hoisting the trophy overhead. So yep. uh, only four taken onto the women's tour out of the North American ranking. So it's a very tight, tight group up top. It is. So hypercritical to finish in those four spots. Here we go. Uh, Matea having a dig and on the forehand. Yeah, just a little foam climb right there. And she's out. Just a quick ride. Will definitely be a throwaway. You've motivated me to drink more water today. Yeah, I've been on the hydration station trained. Just the, all the dialogues and chatting. Want to make sure <laughs> we don't get zapped by the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, the good thing is we're uh, kind of out of the elements down here in the cave. So. True. 
We're we're kind of hidden. <laughs> like Smeagles. Hundred <laughs> percent. But uh, just uh, you know, Jack Surfboards been a reliable surf shop since 1957 with high quality surf goods along the Southern California coast. You'll find locations in San Clemente, Dana Point, Corona Del Mar, HB, Hermosa. Um, and uh, they have two locations here in Huntington. They have uh, the, the the shop up on, what do you call it? It's Gothard. And... Gothard, the Jack's Outlet. Yeah, and here on Main Street. Here we go. Zoe Benedetto wraps it back. And driving down the line, clicks it there. That's okay. I like it. Is there anything? It's eating up. See if there's a little chicken on the bone here at the end. And, He's uh, like, nah. Enough for today. <laughs> well, sitting on a pair of pocket four is just really trying to like just break out of that yeah. score range. And you definitely don't feel comfortable in a heat with fours in your score line, you know. So she'll definitely want to wash one of those fours out of there. And I think she's on her way. Those are two really nice turns. You know, conditions today dropping a little, powers leaving. So you want to stay light on your feet. And uh, we'll see what that score comes in as. Yeah, coming off a massive 5.3 tide, down to a negative 0 0.3 at, I think it's roughly around 3 o'clock. So this tide is on the pole. Yeah. So uh, this uh, this kind of dying windswell, kind of battling this massively dropping tide, but still smooth faces on offer. You know, we saw some good scores already. You know, um, Zoe just dropped you know, five, six, seven, too, so she'll be happy with that. Yeah, and, and Luke Messina's bang, bang, you know, pot pair of sevens. There's still some uh, scoring to be done out there. No white caps, still very contestable. I got a text from the wife there on the way down. Kids are just frothing. I bet. And Taco Surf, I saw they're setting up tacos. There's acai bowls down here. Oh, no. And Cobian. You don't even know this because I don't think you've been down here. But Taco Surf, um, you can get tacos, quesadillas, whatever. But you can sign up for a chance to have a taco cart show up at your next party. What? <laughs> right? That's epic. I want to sign up. Gonna eat taco. We're gonna eat those guys under the table. They're gonna. I'm gonna win. The boys are just gonna clean them out. <laughs> it's gonna be a Coors Light party now. It's 8:05 party. Sorry. 8:05 party. <laughs> 11 minutes on the clock, and uh, Zoe Benedetto, her last five, six, seven. That is the single highest wave of this heat. Coming up next, her sister Sonoa. Olin Dempful, it's Matea's sister, and Kira Pinkerton. Kira's no, she's no rookie. She's no, been she's here a, before. She's definitely, she has a lot of knowledge here at Southside. I've shared a few heats with her. She's looking powerful this event. And, uh, yeah, what a great semi, too. Yeah, she had, like, a crazy, like, injury. Brett would know, but I remember in uh, Snapper at the Battle of the Board Riders, the Usher Cup, uh, she had that injury and then surfed through it, yeah. Hip. hip injury ooh, never fun especially when you're at snapper yeah she looked like she couldn't walk but she could uh get up and belt the lip <laughs> she's like i'm going to save this hip for the turns so with 10 minutes on the clock plenty of time for things to change looks like there's a couple sets rolling in air force there grabbing a jacks pro trucker cap yeah, look, sweet. looking high and tight. Maybe he uh, hit the lay, lay right deluxe ten on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nine forty. Not much change. Get yourself down here. Slip, slop, slap. Sun bum's got the sunscreen, and if you buy a bottle up at Jack's, they'll give you another one for free. Really? How's that? How's that? A BOGO. Yeah, well, trust me. I mean, <laughs> I've said it like 400 times. I go through so much sunscreen with my kids. Oh, I bet. You know, well, the like, last thing you want is when I come in looking like a lobster. Well, it's like the sun just uh, takes no prisoners. It uh, is uh, Definitely. You got to, you know, as much as we need our vitamin D, we also have to protect ourselves from it. For um, sure. But yeah, uh, a lot of A-plus brands down here. We've got surfboard brands, footwear, eyewear, surf accessories, apparel, 
They're all down here. They're running game. They're giving stuff away. You know, you could go demo an Almeric, demo a Sharp Eye, demo um, whoever else is down here. Surf Tech's got boards you could ride. You want to go buy a Surf Tech? Bang, 75 off up at Jack's. They'll cut yep. some, cut the price right there. It's all happening. And I believe a lot of the crew were actually on some Merrick's Happy Days model. Mm, happy yeah, day? something like that. I want yeah. to say someone else is on a Fred Whip. Uh, trying to remember i don't know there's so many people in the event but yeah so i'm sure they have some fun boards on display over there check them out feel the rails see how it feels under your arm oh it was nat was on a fred whip just some fred whip head up ridden for a long time and perfected eight minutes remaining 10 points right now is doing the job here for zoe benedetto and this is women's semi-final number one, semi-two coming up, then straight into the men's, straight into the air show, and then finals, women's final 150, men's final 220. And then we're done for the day. Wow. Final what am I going to do what with myself? Do? I don't know. Well, you'll be in the post show after. <laughs> I, uh, because we, me and Brady got the post show. <laughs> You guys got the post show. Yeah, anything to just anchor us down here for the, you know, a little, a little bit, bit longer. longer. Why not? You guys love the beach. Yeah, you know, I do, actually. There's no better job than hanging out on the beach. For sure. So seven minutes on the clock, and Matea is looking for a seven. So be nice for her to see a seven set come in. She is holding first priority, and it looks like no takers. Zoe looking at it. Nope. Yeah, just uh, no interest. I mean, and it's one of those things where you just got to, you know, put yourself in the spot and capitalize because there's not a lot of, uh, I think we're, we're running out of uh, running out of the dream here. Yeah. On, on, on bigger set waves as this tide keeps yanking. And there is the Monera tent. And they got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, they have some great suits. Yep, there's uh, the marketing sales extraordinaire, Mr. Austin Banky. He dropped off a suit for me this morning. Look at that. Looks like he has one of those Jack's 20% off vouchers over there, a little cup of them. So Every single tent has one. Yeah, be sure to drop by these tents if you need surf gear. 20% off is always a nice little bonus. Might be able to add some surf wax. To those savings that's it I carve off the top to get things started for zoe and a nice snap to finish there i'm just gonna say best wave of the heat so far definitely i, I could be wrong i think she's on her way for sure those two turns look clean a little bit more size on that wave yeah Good let's carp. take a look i like the wrap to slide like zah it really opened up there you know and this finish timed really well Board above the lip. She, you could tell she's stoked on that one. Throws well, the hair. Yeah, I mean, she she really, like, slammed it shut and got the bookend on that finish. So, I mean, that's what the judges want to see. They want to see liquid confetti. Spray! You know, throw spray, throw Christmas spray. Christmas trees everywhere. That's just it. spray. You know, it's a, it's a visual thing. And uh, judges are people. They want to be woed, you know? Yeah, we're performers out there, you know, and you're putting on a show doing the best you can in these 25 and 30 minute heats well and talk about the hardest job ever it's like just like you said you're a performer but you're you're put into this box of time box so of time with the venue that's always evolving and you've yeah with a, a, a playing field that's ever changing and five nine three for zoe on that last ride she's going to be happy with that now she's Holding a 11.6 total These makes look like good waves right the situation here. a bit tougher on Matea. Now Matea's looking for a 8.6, and she's looking at this ride. Okay, here we go. Chin down, eyes up. Nice snap in the pocket. Just a one turn, but definitely a power turn. It might be a pretty nice little single turn wave. So we'll see what that score comes in. Could make the situation a little bit easier. We'll leave it to the judges, but Zoe on another wave. Nice snap. I'm curious if she got a turn before that second turn. 
Well, Matea's wave, even though it was the single maneuver, it was a quality blast. It was. I feel like maybe that one might. I, I'd be surprised if it doesn't not hit the four range. Yeah, that was a really nice. I like how she dropped her knee, her back knee to the deck too. Just gave it a little bit of style. Ooh. Nice snap in the pocket. Wow, Zoe doubled down. Zoe, she she's getting on it quick. She wants to replace these scores. She knows Matea is definitely a fierce competitor. And so she is, oh, Matea getting a 4.9 for that last one-turn wave. So judges rewarding that one turn. We both had a feeling, you know. Yeah. Well, it was it a was, great turn. It was quality. It was a quality turn on a good size section. Oh, my. And a 6.67 for Zoe. I mean, she doubled down. She went bang, 5.93, paddled right back out, right into another one, 6.67. Full jab and then power punch. Yeah, just I mean, boom, she's boom. just tightening the belt up on... Uh, she's like, nope, I want to be in this final. 2.45 on the clock now. Matea looking for a 7.7, so not the 8.0. She did make things a little bit easier on herself, but uh, time's ticking away. She's holding first priority. This is when those decisions and you're you're trying to will that wave right to you. <laughs> yeah, and with 2:30 remaining or just under, it's I mean it's the job's getting tougher. Time winding down. And uh, Zoe has just turned into a python, just putting the squeeze on Matea. <laughs> She's like, yep, nope, not today. But uh, we'll see what Matea has to answer for it. And um, plenty of time. I mean, there's still two minutes. A lot can happen in those two minutes. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's my Groms right there. And the <laughs> misses. There's little Lenny. Oh. oh. Getting her cornhole on. I love it. So close. Oh, they're just like, wait, free stuff. I'll do it again. I'm sure they have some <laughs> some bum on and uh, Carver right next to that booth as well. They make great surf skates. Oh, yeah, they do. And uh, I'll tell you what, get yourself down here. It is now 1150. So that means Vendor Village has been on the cook for almost two hours. That it has. <laughs> and, that, and we only have, what are we, this thing's Four a wrap. Left? No, this thing's a wrap at 220. 220. So, yeah, wow. I mean, uh, what, three hours? Oh, look at that. Get the one of those vouchers right there. Three hours left. So, I mean, if you come in in the last hour, it'd be hard-pressed that anything's left. But um, I'm just going to run it down real fast. O'Neal, Rourke, Mellon, Stance, Rusty, Olakai, Rhythm, Sunbum. Slow Tide, Rain, Ava, Dragon, Billabong, Loose, Ruka, Captain Finn, Vulcan Vans, Fuwax, Takine, Katen. I mean, hello, that's just on one side. The other side, Salty Crew, FCS, Hayden Shapes, Lost, Cobian, Pizel, XL, Hurley, Almeric, Surf Tech, Monera, Costa, Reef, Carve, Catch Surf, Firewire, Rip Curl, Sharp Eye, Future, Quicksilver. That's on the other side. And that's not even the runway coming in. <laughs> then you have the runway. Then you've got, I mean, then you can get your grub on. You've got Asa, Acai Republic, Taco Surf, Java Jaws for coffee, Zevin, Automotive Excellence, Spy Optics, Nixon, Layrite Deluxe, Super 73, Hydro Flask. Bring your own bottle down. They will etch it. You can customize your name. They've got uh, pre-plugged in artwork that you can also choose from. This thing is in the history books. And we will bring you Zoe. more We're live. See her in the final. Yeah, we've got a finalist. Our first final is Zoe with turns like this one right here. She sees her way to the final. Now we go to commercial break. What does it mean to live the search? Oh, well, um, I think to live the search is like a probably the biggest blessing in the world because I think everyone on this planet like in some way lives the search you have a choice to go searching just getting out of the bed it's like you want to get out or you want to get out of your house oh it's nice eat your food you want to stay cruise or or you want to like get out and like or what do you want and then boom you start getting on this journey of finding it
Melon, we set out to create the highest quality headwear in the world. We like to call it better headwear for better adventures. Our hydro hats are built to perform in and around water and utilize technology designed to reduce sweat stains and easily rinse to keep you looking and feeling fresh longer. We partner with the most elite athletes and adventurers on the planet to push our products to the limits so that no matter where your adventure takes you, your melon hat is guaranteed to help you have more fun. And we are back for semifinal number two, Sonoa and Kira. We are going to see one more finalist. It's popping out there. It is popping. Tide's dropping. Po tide's dropping. Popping. Yeah, the waves do look like they're getting a little better out front. I was just kind of up where the judges are looking. and Yeah, that middle bank seems really reliable today. Yeah, and here's Kira looking on this left-hander. Yeah, I achieved a 3.67 on this ride. So just early days in this heat. She is... Definitely one of the power surfers in this event. Yeah, she's looking for that bigger section. That one was a, a little bummer on that second turn. She wasn't able to get a, get a little more into it. Over the lip. Yeah, it kind of went up and there was, you know, water Hot. started splashing yeah. around the rails. But 367 starts the heat. Sonoa Demful Olin out there. Her sister just got a semifinal. It looked like Zoe Benedetto moving on to the finals. So back-to-back -back finals, Zoe won Barbados straight to uh, West Coast into the finals of the first event of the new QS season. Jax Pro, 3,000 points on the line, which is, um, you know, for her, she's obviously focused on the challengers as well as Kira, but this event is super yeah, important. Kira paddling super hard for this one. It's just a closeout, so she'll be out the back. Yeah, just under priority. Yeah, it's like just going, hey, what's this way? You never like know. Checking it out. What you if it backs off and you just do the big turn? Yeah. I mean, one hammer. We saw a 4 and 9 for the single turn in that last heat. So we know that's definitely in Kira's wheelhouse. And uh, she's no stranger to the one big turn this event. Yeah, so Vendor Village. It is the all the games... There's kids everywhere out there right now. It's Your really cool. Yeah, the Groms, they got they got hydro flask with their names on it. Yes. I was like, that's a really cool gift. There's hats. My Grom bought a Nixon watch, but he got a discount up at the store. Cool little camo oh, watch. Yeah, they're all stoked. But uh looks like Sonoa's gonna go for it, Court. Yeah, she's paddling pretty hard. First wave, getting the cobwebs off. You know, they've sat around for a couple hours. Yeah. So I'm sure this first ride, they're getting a bit of those jitters out. Yeah. Know? and Nerves settling. No, like knowing where you want to be out there. Yeah. So it's nice to get the ball rolling, whether it's a good ride or not. Just start somewhere. Yeah. You're not. Sometimes that priority adds a little extra pressure. Yeah. And you sit there, you sit there, and you start might waiting for something that Real, isn't really it realistic your expectations looking for us three to four points yeah you're like but where's wave? that wave i never <laughs> saw it but it was like there's little waves to be had get some fours get some fives if you can and um roll the dice from there yeah lower the expectations yeah just start throwing you know uh you saw that last teat zoe she just kept stacking on her previous score and she Ended it with the jab and power punch. So we have Zoe downstairs at the glass uh, ready for an interview. Zoe, you there? Uh, yeah, hi, guys. Great <laughs> job. Another final back-to-back -back finals appearances. How's everything feeling? Um, It feels good. I feel like today I haven't really gone even to fully open up on a wave yet. Uh, my heats, I feel like, have been kind of tricky for me. Uh, just, like, readjusting and, like, you, like, have a game plan of when you're out there, and you get out there, and you're like, okay, where's the peak? Like, just trying to figure things out. So just really hoping that I can get um, going here. And that's kind of, we were just talking how you might have to lower the expectations. There's the, you know, when you have priority, sometimes it's like, oh, I'm waiting for this wave. But that, that wave night might not be there. And we're watching a replay, a couple nice turns. And you had a solid heat total. So uh, whatever you're doing is working. Keep it up. Any shout-outs to your family, friends? Um... 
Hi to my parents, my mom and dad and my sister if you're watching. Um, I love you guys and I miss you guys. Um, usually I would say hi to Brett, but I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, just hello. Good job. We're excited for you. On to another finals berth and get to rest. I think, are you going to, I think you're in the air show. Are you going to do it? What's the plan there? I think I was planning if I didn't make it through that heat that I would do it and honestly just, I mean, I'm not meant to be in the air, <laughs> but I was like, oh, I'll just have like a fun cruise session and just like surf for 30 minutes. Um, but I think I'm just going to rest. Cool. I'm not going to waste my energy. I'm going to text Ruby and be like, so are we? Uh, so. Yeah, no worries. No, well, you know, I'm sure we'll find a replacement, but I just wanted to, you know, you're in it, but you're in the final, which is more important. And we look forward to watching you in a little bit. Thank you, guys. All right. Talk to you soon, Zoe. Good job. On to the finals. QS3 Jax Pro, QS3000. So she's on fire right now, Court. She is, and she's still establishing herself. You know, she was not really understanding where to sit, but she was making good decisions. Well, her surfing looks... Like so. Yeah. Her surfing or... looks great. She turned kind of some smaller, mediocre waves into good scores. Kira on a set wave. Let's see what she's got here. Yeah, driving off the bottom, a nice carve to start. Snap in the pocket and hammer to finish. So a so, lot more confident. Like, you could just tell on the body language when she kicked out was more like, uh, yeah, like yeah. that's what? That's yeah. a little bit better. Yeah, <laughs> definitely a little bit better. You could tell she's loosening up a bit. Um, feeling more settled in this heat. 17.45 on the clock. Oh, she's got the automotive excellence box. I mean, she's had a handful of these heat wins, so it starts to add up. It does. And then into the finals, and she's guaranteed, I mean, none less than almost, you know, 40 set, for, uh, first place, 3,000 points, 9,500 bucks. Wow. And second, 23, 23.40 points and 4700 bucks so not a bad a nice day's point. work or yeah. four days work four for, days work or maybe three for her as she had a little bit of a seed so zoe benedetto into the finals yeah we'll see her in the final at 150 today yep so just before two o'clock we're we're marching through i don't know my watch right. is saying 1202 this is kira's replay yep just Timing really clean. It comes in as a four six seven, so that will be her best way of the heat. She's building house. She is four six seven three six seven. So on that mm -hmm. eight point three four total. Oh look at the look at the seagull hanging out on the jacks buoy. Thank <laughs> you to jacks. Uh, we've had a great event. We've been had some challenging conditions. The first day on the smaller side, and then big and. Uh, clean in the morning on Friday, and then it got wild and woolly, onshore winds, and then yesterday was a beautiful day, and then today as well, a little bit smaller, but ultra contestable. Definitely. That seagull is doing some surf race it's fitness. Like trying to do, like, hanging on with the, yeah, <laughs> with the wind, and uh, Kira, oncoming section, gets the hit unable to really ride out of that one complete so just kind of keeps rolling the dice see what kind of pans out you know Sanoa looking for the 6.84 she's going to have to put something on the board soon so it doesn't run away from her too fast for sure she's holding first priority and um so she gets the pick yeah, that like we we've been saying, the priority is a blessing and a curse. I it think. is. Days like it, today, it could be a little bit of a curse I if think you're you not just, staying busy. You just gotta roll the dice. Yeah. If it looks like a four or five, go. And it might you, be a six. You might pass up that, and then you might not see anything for eight, ten. Yeah. You know, the time ticks by, and then. Then while those you know under priority surfers are building their scores, then your score just keeps getting higher. So. Yeah, we're here. Beautiful. There it is. The lay of the land. So beautiful day here. You got the 805 lounge at the Jacks Pro. It's standing room only. Merch booths are flaring up. I hear people just screaming. There's a lot of fun games. So everyone's, there's golf. There's all these different ones. Throw, you know, ring toss. The Hydro Flask right there coming through doing a ring toss. So people are pretty excited. And, uh... I hope we don't run into the Jacks Pro wall. <laughs>
But yeah, all these booths, a lot of them have redeem vouchers where you can go up to the you know flagship store at Jack Surfboards just up on the main street. If you're looking at this right now to the left-hand side, if you've never been to Huntington Beach, there's a main strip and you got all the restaurants. Jack's is on the left corner. And it is an amazing surf shop, has all kinds of surfboards, all the brands. And right here you have Taco Surf, you have Spy, Java Jaws, you have the Acai booth, and the Jack's Pro merch. Uh, the U.S. Air Force, which we have the air shows coming up soon. So stay tuned. We're going to have liftoff in wow. about uh, 40 minutes time, oh, yeah. about an hour. About oh. an hour's time. There's the uh, Our flask. And Kira rolling the dice again, carves it right there. So nice turn, hits it again. Laying so it back. And two she rides out. Nice little two turn combo. Yeah. She ain't gonna wait around. We do see some waves out the back. Look at that. Good vibes only <laughs> at the hydro flask tent. And uh, Sanoa's found what she's been looking for. Yeah, nice snap, and then couple carves to get things rolling on this wave and it looks like she might get a little inside connection here so not a bad wave let's see what she does nice hammer to finish things off so kind of the gift that kept on giving it did it started solid nice carvy surfing hopped over the flats and then really you know connected on that finish definitely so looking forward to seeing this wave Roll in, and it looks like Kira just improved her situation a bit. A 4-2-3 on her last ride, so she made things a little bit harder on Sonoa. Sonoa now looking for a 7.4 on that last ride. We'll see if she narrows the gap, though. She has some low scores in her belt, a 1.5 and a 0.8. She'll definitely be throwing one of those away. Yeah, it look, to me, it's definitely the best wave of the heat by how much. You yeah, know, oh, there. and there it is, 6.5. She'll be thrilled to hear that score. Now she's only needing a 2.4. So yeah. made the situation a lot easier for herself with 12 minutes, plenty of time, second priority. Just get a quick 2.4. Well, well done. She, pay, you know, it paid off. Her waiting, we were kind of giving her a little hard time saying she might be waiting too long, but look. She knew what she was looking for. She capitalized, and here you are, Jack's Pro. We've got about a couple hundred yards of stretch of this beach, you know, from Tower 3 to the pier. you got the cold beer surf lounge. There's the ladies enjoying it, serving up some drinks. It is, you know, coming up on noon, you know, so we're, we're rolling in. they got cool merch, shirts, um, and we got a tight heat. This one's really, you know, tightened up. It's going to come down to Kira now with priority. She's going to have to look for something in that good range. Yeah, you look at Kira's lead, it's only a .9 lead. So it's a pretty narrow lead. And Sonoa has the best score of this heat so far. So this next exchange is going to be a big one that will set up for the end of the heat. Yeah, well, I wonder, it seemed like Kira was surfing away, just getting scores. Oh, wow, look at this. Now oh, she's kind of come over to where she wants to sit. Nice little wedgie wave. She's in. Yeah. Nice bottom turn. I'm wrapping it back. And the, uh, that thing tapered off with not much wall. Yep. Well, there's the crew. Dylan Sloan, his boys. They're at the Layright Deluxe Tent. And, oh, Ryder <laughs> McDaniel's getting cut up. Looks like he's going with a little high and tight little mullet vibe. I kind of like it. Speed Demon right there. Look at that, Gart. Feeling fast. <laughs> put some of my put some of those blades on. Are you doing a haircut? I might have to. He's got cool hair for it. I don't know if he my does. hair's that cool. But Ryder McDaniel, a couple local groms enjoying the the cuts that lay right. I was threatening to maybe go get my beard a little lined up and the neck beard trimmed up so we'll see you might see me over there in a little though a little come bit. back looking like a new man just looking all <laughs> tightened up and dapper so dapper but uh time's winding down there's 9 40 on the clock kira's last wave just a throwaway for her 2.17 so i won't go in her top two look at that nice little peak yeah a little too peaky so sonoa ends up 
deciding not to go, probably a good decision. Something coming towards Kira, and Sanoa's kind of went the other way. It looks like a left-hander, so drops in. Nice turn there for Kira, cuts it back, and that one's going to fade out as well. So not sure she's going to better on that situation, but she's trying to just keep the energy up. And, uh, you know, Sanoa only looking for the 2.40, which is is literally one okay turn. Well, and sometimes when you stay busy like that, you can end up pulling the tension off of the other athlete a little bit where Sanoa starts wondering, hey, am I positioning well? Because well, Kira getting... just got a 3.67, and I could have been on that and turned the heat. So yeah, um, it's a way to get between the ears a little bit. Even if she's not replacing scores now, you could see her going right next to Sonoma and being like, okay. Yeah, well, she is definitely like, you know, she paddled over to the, you know, looking at this to the right, and then that wave came. She came back this way. So she's a little bit in a couple minds. You have to, we call it, you know, shark around out there to find these waves because they are popping up in different spots of the bank. Definitely. And you look out the back, tide dropping. We do have some little corduroy lines. Look at the the intervals, eight seconds. So those waves are right on top of each other, pretty quick. Not a ton of you know solid energy behind it. Just more of a wind swell out of that west northwest direction. Um, and yeah, you could see this wave girls a little bit inside, but. Doesn't seem as though they were even looking at it anyhow. Yes, yeah, so you could see her kind of having a look at this one. She decides not to go. So, a couple more out the back. Just really eyeing out every wave. Little peak coming. Looks ultra peaky. Sometimes those ones are too peaky. Too peaky and soft. And, you know, they're. The waves aren't big, but the way the tide's rolling out, it's just outside. But she's happy. The spy booth. That's Michael Merciano <laughs> slanging some gear over there. A couple nice shades. Check them out. Some oh, of those I like those big fast. blades. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of into blades. I think they just. Some glasses, I get headaches, like it sits on your nose a little weird and like. Or too tight on the your head, side. The side of the yeah. head. Yeah. So I've been pretty particular. I wasn't always a sunglass person, but I think when you're at long days at the beach, and that's probably why I have many trigiums now, so yeah. should have been wearing them. Well, also, we sur you and I are Surfing frothing the grom. And you afternoon, you're like, it looks so fun, but you can't even see the waves coming in because the glare is so bad. Yeah, like Margaret's on yeah. sunset. Oh, like, is that a is this a wave or a 15 foot? <laughs> oh, I snapped my leash. <laughs> uh oh. Cotton side. Breaking a little further out than expected. <sighs> yeah, Margie's. That's that Got event's coming. pencil drop. That event's coming up for the uh, WCT in about three. What day? About three days time. Yeah. Mid-year cut there. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it, but, you know. Oh, wow. nice turn for Kira. She and has another. another second prio. She's like, thank you very much. So she is going to, you know, help her situation there under priority. And just like we were talking, hopefully she didn't step on a stingray. Oh, that, I that would be a worried. bummer. She kind of grabbed her ankle. I don't know. Maybe she was just adjusting the weddy, but it these days when it's small, Huntington... I mean, I grew up serving seal, and then coming here, they're around. Sometimes there's a lot more than others, but oh yeah, you can do it. Little landmines on the bottom, but look at Definitely. this big turn there, Court. Nice way to start this wave and hammering this section. Then comes around and gets a little bit of a foam climb. She's like, oh yeah, I'll be replacing. Best wave of the heat, or just under? Maybe. I like Say, the I like the two turns. I really like the two turns. She the last turn was super powerful, so I think it's definitely right neck and neck with Sonoa's. It could be just a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, they're watching it. I just I would I would love to see the both finish, of them back to back. The maybe finish a wasn't the finish wasn't like Sonoa had the better finish and we're kinda of seeing that a little we're bit. We're seeing a little you. bit mixed bag of scores. Couple over, one under. Just All right, better. seven oh. Yeah. So just better. Yeah. And I, I like 
I like that. Yeah. I feel that's fair. You know, she's displaying a lot of power on those turns. And she makes the situation a bit harder for Sonoa under priority, too. Yeah, that. So that always stings when you're the other competitor looking for a small score. Mm -hmm. And then something like that happens when you've been holding priority. Well, that's exactly it. You could have, you know, found a wave if you could have and got the 2-4. The pressure goes all on Kira. Yeah. And then she's the one sitting and waiting. And, you know, you're the one sharking around with the scores. So... I mean that is uh I mean that's the name of this game. You you know every heat is different. How you won your yes. last heat could be completely different than how you really next is. heat. Yeah. You don't want to hold that last heat's results and how it played out as your expectation no. for the next heat cuz that will be your kryptonite. It's like eject the tape. Yeah. It's most likely going to be New different. story. Cuz we're all, we always tell ourselves let's get a fast start. Let's get yeah. on the board. Let's put the pressure on. Doesn't <laughs> always pressure work. on. Let's build a house. Yeah. So well, many. She's she's gonna go like again. That. And yeah, Kira's like, okay, I'll take this wave. Just Why not do a nice carve? Get some rhythm. Why feel the lineup? Keep in that flow. Nice snap. Looking solid on her equipment as well. Making me nervous though. If there's stingrays right now, if she <laughs> just hop in the street, her feet. I have been nailed twice out have here. Have you? Yeah. yeah. They hurt. I... And during Mike Morgan's paddle out, you remember that day? Yeah. I was like hopping back onto my board and, and just got, yeah, I, I felt that one. And I had to surf like eight heats after because I was running double division. My foot hurt so bad that Oof. day. <laughs> That'll leave a mark. Yeah. They hurt. They like do. depending on how you get hit. Imagine got, if you, like, backflopped on one. Uh, that would really hurt. <laughs> or just, like, yeah, you just, like, fall on the bottom weird. It's always kind of shallow shore break. Is that a new suit for you, Wellesie? Wellesie's testing out he's his... He's getting all these different suits it, from different brands. I know. Only if I he wish it was his size. Only if he... Oh, oh, only if he paddled out. <laughs> <laughs> I need him to surf. I want to surf more with Wellesley. We always take the groms out, and then we blow our backs out because we're trying to push them in. We're like, hey, go on this one. Boom. Oh, my back. Or your hand gets stuck in their leaf. Oh. That always happened to it's... my dad when we were younger at lowers. <laughs> yeah. I did it to Von Man the other day. His his son, I said, here you go. And then we're all caught up. And he's. I'm like, has that ever happened to your dad? He looks at me. He's all, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, yeah, it happens to me like every other way with the Grom. So, 1.30 on the clock, 1.34, and uh, situation's the same right now. Wow, so this one really just, you know, Sonoa took control. It wasn't in the lead, but then ended up, you know, just kind of sitting there, and she's hunting around with a minute to go and needing the 5.18, and that's all been... You know, damage was done under priority. It was, but I think she sees a few lines coming in. There is. She's got to. She's got to make a move. Got to rise. Minute. This is. These are those moments that test you as an athlete. Pressure's up. You need to perform. Hopefully, a wave comes in that has the potential for her to unleash, and we'll see. You know, Kira's done a really good job of staying busy under priority replacing scores has stayed a lot busier like mm. nine waves compared to three so one one athlete can pick the safer um get busy yeah but it could cost you i don't it think can. she's got any of her keepers with priority most no. of them have just been under like prior. she didn't really care 25 seconds wave is coming just depends on, does it have the line? She's seeing She's 20 seconds. There's something behind 15. You paddle out. Yeah, that's so, got a hunt to it. You know. Will there be enough time for her to catapult into uh, this? She might get caught inside. Five, four. She's going to get it. She up. She is up. So wraps it right there. Does this thing have any more on it? Hammers it again. So... Oh, oh, a little front heavy. That happens sometimes when you become a little urgent. So 5.18, little slash back right there, looking good. 
This one I thought she could have maybe snapped, snapped it there. and then it's a nice turn. Is this complete? It is. Maybe. But uh, just just in the in the eye it looks the control you're like the control it it would hold the score back, I think. Just because she didn't look like she had full control. Mm. So we're we're gonna wait on this one for a second. A judge is probably checking it out, deeming yay or nay, five point one eight. I mean comparative, you gotta think about the four, four six, six seven. Yeah, and even you yeah. know, there those wasn't three a... six sevens looked a little bit. Well, obviously nowhere, ne you know, it wasn't anywhere near the seven and six five. Yeah. So I would probably compare it with the four six seven and that four two three. It would have to be clearly better than those two scores, you know. So we'll s sit here and wait for that score to roll in and let the judges decide our last finalist for. The women. Will it be all American final? Will a Canadian slip in there? <laughs> there it is, four point five. Four five. So, you know, it was just, just needed a little bit more. Yeah. And I agree. There's a little left on the table right there. So Well, looking like Kira Pinkerton into the finals with Zoe Benedetto. That yeah, will be Kira. coming up in a little bit. We're gonna take a quick commercial break. We'll be back soon. We are back, coming at you live from the lovely golden sands of Surf City, Huntington Beach, in the water here at the Jack Surfboards Pro. As you can see on your screen, Semi 1 taken to the water. Luca Messina is coming up against Owen Moss. So the Peruvian against the wily, uh, kind of very savvy Owen Moss. Yeah, definitely. He's been, he's been uh, both these surfers... I mean, you look at the f this last Final Four, and uh, they've been all pretty in form. So we are throwing it down into the final, Kira Pinkerton. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice work. Hey, all your work done was pretty much under priority. Mm -hmm. I love the activity. What was the plan? Where, you know, was that kind of it? 
Um, yeah, my heat earlier, I was kind of sitting a lot, and then I noticed the heat before us had a lot of waves, so I had a weird feeling it was going to be slow. So I wanted a quick start, kind of maybe put some pressure on Sanoa, but I felt like I had the pressure on me the whole time since she only needed a two. And then I was just trying to scramble for anything, and I knew the sandbar up here would kind of have a bit more power. It's like a little rip bowl, so I was just sticking to that. Well, well played. You did. You found that 7.0. When she kind of took back control of the heat with the 6.5, you kind of hunted around and then, boom, kind of threw it back onto her and eating a solid score. So yeah. well surfed. That was a good little battle back and forth. And uh, you're into the final versus Zoe Benedetto. We look forward to watching you soon. Any shout-outs to your family and friends? Yes, yeah, shout-out to my mom and dad and my Oma, and then a big shout-out to Kiana Miller and Alyssa Smith for being down here cheering me on. Okay, well, epic. we look forward to finals coming up in about you know, a little over an hour. So we'll see you out there soon. Thanks. Hopefully I'm back up here. Yeah. <laughs> Automotive excellence, Bucks. She too. Did, yeah. How many? I, she's got a lot of uh, heat wins this event. So Just she's more yeah. cash. Making paper. Cash is king. All right. We had a paddle battle there. What happened? Did Luca find his way into that wave? He did. Okay. So Red opened up. Uh, judges, mm, I'm not sure what really happened or if this is a mistype or what but 20 and a half minutes remaining and here's the replay just elbow to elbow so a little paddle battle and you know for the fans at home if he kicks out of that or like doesn't catch it it's still on the the old paddle unless they would say he blocked but this wave just goes nowhere and he gets a 1.5 and now owen moss sitting out there with priority yeah so um, Brady, we've got men's semis followed by women's air show final one, men's air show final. Now that's the air, the U.S. Air Force air show. And the women's, we're going to have Maddie Stanton, Rubiana Brownell, Bella Kenworthy, Zoe Kaina, Zoe Benedetto, which she just declined, Talia Swindoll, and Vela Mativ. In the men's, Chloe Andino, Dwight Pastrana, Luke Weiler, Alex Lima, Dylan Horde, Luke Guinaldo. So a chance to put 1500 bucks in the pocket for a W in the air show and a armful of FUWAX. Yeah. Not a handful, an armful. All right, 19 remaining. So that way, really not going to factor in. Um, get yourself down here. We only have... You know, a semi left, a couple air shows, and we're crowning champions. My Groms are down here. They're all kitted out already. I'm like, man, you guys went to work fast. I got sunglasses on, hats on that they've won. It's amazing. Anyways, Jax is your one-stop shop for your surfing needs since 1957 of high-quality surf goods with multiple locations along the California coast. Massive shout-outs to Ron, Bobby, and Jamal, and the whole crew of the Jacks family for bringing us this event. This is the seventh year, and they have uh, turned up the volume. This is a 3,000, 3,000 points. Yeah, I was just talking to Ruby, and uh, you know he's gonna. We're gonna do a leaderboard for that U.S. Air Show. There might be some adjustments. Obviously, Zoe Benedetto, you know, she's in the final, so she said, "Ah, oh, rather not, you know, not do it." And then it'll be interesting. You know, we have Kolohe coming up next if he makes it, if he, you know, paddles out for that. But we're gonna do a leaderboard. We're just gonna update the airs as they go, and and that's how we're gonna decide the winner. Oh yeah. There we go. Happy days. Crown some champions today. New champions here at the Jax Pro. You're right. You yeah. are right. Brand new champs. Well, I'm pretty sure, you know, years ago, Kolohe won a maybe a 4,000 out here when it was, you know, before the regional type. I don't know if it was a Vans or a... But he he's a winner out here mm. in some way, shape, or form, especially... You know, all the years of him competing on the junior events, you know, NSSAs, USA Prime. So, 
out of all the surfers left in the draw, he's had he's he would have had the most experience surfing, you know, right here in Huntington Beach. Oh, he's just like uh, just pull a Kelly, like oh yeah, I remember surfing out here in my Manahuni heat, t- uh, open yeah. season uh, event number four. Was it 2010? <laughs> <laughs> I had it was a, just like this. I had an eight six seven and an eight one seven. Yeah, I even remember the dims on my board, but you know, I've gone up about a foot and. Uh, Luke Davis was hot on my tail. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so good. Louis D, if you're out there, you might be watching. He's probably not. He's probably searching for some crazy waves. But, uh, yeah, Messinas, a couple, couple up and downs. You got uh, Owen Ma spinning rhythm. Here's a breakdown uh, per the rule book. First win. Uh, three grand and eight thousand dollars. I might have had some fake news going on because I thought it, it said ninety five hundred, but maybe that's you know what you do get the winner, both winners, male female, a super seventy three. So add on oh. a couple grand and a customized Nixon watch. What? Yeah. So that I should have entered. I know. You should, we might. Maybe we can make a deal. Oh, I would have went down in the round of 104. <laughs> I almost did. I got snuck through to the 96 round and then just laid an egg. But it's uh, it was a challenging day. But it's been a great event. The Messinas, the Messinas train. Will it roll on or will the freaking Owen Moss train hailing from North Carolina just? halt that yeah i mean it's uh the the messina's train's been stuck in the station he's just has uh, i mean but it's the ocean right yep they haven't had much opportunity it's i mean we're oh. ten, we're 10 minutes in i'm seeing these bikes roll in wow that's yeah. what the winners get we got some super 73s i mean what do those go for at a store they're a couple grand right fancy fancy so super 73 thank you to got you guys the winners will be riding home Saving the, you know, Layrite Deluxe Bucks on gas and just going E-Ride. Dude, I'm going to shine my paycheck here. Just hop on one and hijack it. Say, see ya. Back to seal. Just <laughs> adios, muchachos. I'm just going to take the the board path all the way home. Go on. Take the 73 and run. I'm out of here. 14 and a half. And this uh, semi has been a bit of a snooze fest. Mm. Come on. Wake us up. Give us something to talk about, people. Well, let's go, boys. This hasn't been the typical start for Messina, so he's going to have to adjust. Along with Owen, they've been coming out of the gates most of their heats. Yeah, they're momentum guys. But here's some momentum. Can it change? Nice snap. He's actually switched back to uh, boards again. So he this board looks... It's a... I don't know if it's... I think it's PU. It's not epoxy. He did... The last one was all white. Yeah. Maybe it's the chop, a little more chop in the ocean. Yeah, you can tell this one doesn't look as twitchy. Yeah, a little more in the water, more solid. If it, uh, His hair is still dry, it looks like, too, so just getting his feet. But that's, you know, def- best wave of the heat so far. It's yeah. early. It's only the third ride. Messinas with a couple ups and downs. Well, the boys are going to set the scale up top. This wave, 5-3-3, three, three. so there's your kind of baseline for... There it is. Uh, you know, is it better? Or is it worse? Mm-hmm. Kind of sets the stage. So yeah, air shows coming up. We're gonna crown air show champs, and then brand new jacks champs, and then um, we'll bring you the post show. We got the post show. Post show. We'll break down some of the key waves to the day. Obviously, showcasing the victors. Oh. There's uh, some seven undergarments for your undercarriage. Yeah. Lifestyle essentials. 1250 remaining. Moss with the 533. And uh, yeah, looks like uh, Taco Surf has provided lunch again. Some more tacos. Oh, it's a few days of tacos in a row. Mm hmm. That's kind of my diet, anyways. So. Don't be afraid. Ride the bike down. Hop on the skatey. Take the bus. Hop in the whip. Yeah, we're here for a couple more hours. Yeah. Finals be finishing up. It looked like right around 
3 o'clock. Yeah. So men's women's final at one fifty. Men's final to wrap up the day at two twenty. <laughs> This is mountains around a 132 or 32. <laughs> okay, here we go, Messinas. All right. He's utilized priority here. A little speed float. Hits it there and doesn't complete it. So it's uh, that's not going to count. Or that's not going to really leave a dent in this heat. And Moss, you would have to say, is um, feeling pretty good about himself. I'm feeling good about myself. Yeah, well, we're, ta we're, we're <laughs> the confidence is up. You know, the, I'm kind of riding off that post uh, late chirp of yeah. uh, Java Jaws. I'm, I'm actually uh, still hitting one. I'm winding down. I'm uh, going to put the bindings on, click into crazy for the rest of the afternoon. Let's go. And uh, let's just see it. I just want some surfing. Give it to me. So look at the attack right here. Moss sees something. Is he going to go? He is. So attacks out to this wave, tries to give himself every inch. Oh, nice swoop right there on the backhand. So and gets the finish. So well out in the lead. It's gonna better his five three three. I think it's gonna be the best wave of the heat and pressure on Red Luca Masinas. Yeah, he got a hold of that first turn. I mean, threw some buckets. He did because he he dropped in kind of in the wash. And he he sped out of it, and it was you know backside, but he was able to kind of hold that rail, and here it is, boom. So timing good, wraps it there, you know, not going super fast, but able to angle and and pivot around right there and throw spray. Tell you what, for a kid that's still competing in juniors, he uh, he carries himself like a veteran. Mm. He's come. I mean, this last year, it's been kind of gangbusters for him, it feels like, because it, the skills were there. He charges, good barrel rider. He's always had killer clips. But it, it's all kind of coming together right now competitively. Yeah, it's definitely like uh, bottlenecked with all these performances. He's like heat in and heat out. He's putting on these great performances. Yeah, and we're, you know, working with Daryl Goodrum out of Encinitas. Um, you uh, know, Daryl's a ledge. Yeah, Daryl is a good man. Charges, loves you know down Mexico, getting barreled. So uh, they've had a good game plan, you know, and just kind of guiding. You know, sometimes as a coach, you're just trying to guide your athlete to the best part of the breaks that they can perform. You well, know? yeah, he was one of the guiding lights here during the Encinitas Battle of the Board Riders okay. on Wednesday. Yeah, for... so was he head, Was he kind of heading that yeah, ship? Yeah, he and uh, I think it was Rusty Philpy. Okay, nice. Yeah, so solid. And here, here we, we go, go. Messinas. Yeah. He's going to go right. And uh, better start here. Oh, and does the look back. So... Uh, have the wheels fallen off? Eh, you can say maybe he's on a couple spare tires, but it's 8.50 to go. And I mean, the lug nuts are in the hands. He's just trying to search to uh, put them on. It could be called AAA right here, but he, let's see. Boom. He may just... He, no, he's back. Wow. He's back. Right back into it. His spare tire was a Mercedes spare. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I mean, uh, he just popped four, uh, four, four lugs on the tire. I, I was like throwing up, like, call AAA, I can't do this. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, boom, he just went confetti back uh, in this thing. Well, they just jump-started it, right? He uh, <laughs> hit the one, kind of did the look back, then all of a sudden it was like clear. <laughs> and, uh, I know, he did the turn, and he was all like, you could tell, he's like, darn it, I just ru you know, I picked that wave. All of a sudden you had a little piggybacker right here. Well, what a sneaky little double down on this inside right. Boom! That's been the turn of choice uh, for this event. It's kind of that, you know, Pocahontas spray. Boom! And uh, that's going to help his cause. It looks like the best wave of the heat, Chad. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it was one of those weird sneaky unders, right? Yeah. And just had it, the line. It and wasn't he, the Zevin unders. Right. But, it, <laughs> <laughs> but he'd like... Was able to get speed, knife that first turn, bang, like that kind of his speed saw kind of lipper explosion and nailed it. I mean, judges, 6-3-3. Three, three. Moss still in the lead, though. 
And now Luca on the hunt for the four six seven. So Moss on the backhand trying to regain the momentum after that last wave of Luca kind of best wave of the heat. So slashing and dashing right here. Surfed it really well. And he's had a few similar, you know, last one five six, that one first wave five three three. They're all kind of similar style waves. Yeah, just G H D Groundhog Day on the lefts. Yeah, the wrap back. It's uh, the difference has been the speed of Luca's wave right here. You know, nice turn. Has to kind of re regather, and he's surfing him really well. Rail to rail transition gets the finish in the lip, but as those waves taper down the line, they really lose the the size of them. You know, the face of it. Yeah. And I think Luca's wave was like the first turn was kind of a speed float, and then he really laid into it. But the speed factor was the difference. I so, mean, that one cupped out. Yeah, that little right just cupped out, and it, it gave him uh, the canvas. He could be sponsored by Cup of Noodle on the world tour. <laughs> Four three three last of Owen Moss. It doesn't better. It's kind of what we were thinking. The rapid wraps, just a uh, little slow in pace. Conditions on your screen, still doable. We have no, the wind hopefully is not going to blow today. I really haven't tapped into any uh, reporting any on wind updates. reports. I just kind of use my eyeballs, wakeupandcheckit.com. Wickwire's giving me no updates. Is he blowing you? <laughs> No update. We need the Chaz cast to, uh, to dial us in. Did it, did it, did. Oh. Five and a half minutes, 11 points for Owen Moss, 8.26 for Luca Messinas, chasing a 4.67. I mean, uh, and he has priority. That's kind of bad news for Owen. Mm. I don't know. Priority is one of those things today. It's a, it's a conundrum because last heat, this is what happened with Kira. So Noah took the lead with a 6-5, like, oh, rhythm, everything, only needed a 2-4. Kira used priority, no good, didn't better. And then got them all Then under. got a 7 underneath, just kind of like searching around. So Well, that's what Luca did on the right. When there's only five minutes, I mean, he still needs about a five-point ride, you know, the 4-6-7. Uh-oh, it is time. Look at that. It's live from the pop shop. There we are. Those shirts are pretty cool. The 805 Surfing Global Drinking Local VIP right. Lounge Split Peak Soup. We're going with Mossy on this right. Oh, so that's much better, but only one. And uh, Luca, you know, hailing from Peru, going on a left is danger. Very dangerous. Uh, we're gonna have to, you know, we'll get a replay. But that was a nice turn from Mossy. It just was a bummer. He couldn't really tie it in. Uh-oh. Here we go. So, split of the peak. Little slash. And this one's kind of going away from oncoming section. Hits it there. So, he's on his way. Looking for the 4-6. He likes it. He thinks that's enough. Slash and a bash. And even if he doesn't, he was going to sell it. Oh, for sure. Is it enough? 4-6-7. It's going to be right there. Mm-hmm. 4-8-3. 4-8-3 for Moss. On that one. Oh, yeah, turn. yeah. Okay. So uh, Luca had the little check, backside check, up and over, oncoming, boom. They're having to think on this one. Definitely having to think. Uh, I would have different, to say it's different ride, like a totally different ride to compare to even to these, but I think it's like in that realm of Mo uh, Moss's fives, just the way. That wave was a little more of a south angle where he had to slash and then kind of went over the flats and then the right was coming at him and his timing was good. But they love, they sure love when a wave's closing out and you slam it shut. Oh, they love it. I mean, I, I'm going to say it's going to be just right there or just over. I don't think they're going to undercook him on this one. I feel like they're going to give it to him. Okay. Chaz is on it. He's saying that. Uh, what about a re? What about a guys? Could we queue up a replay? It's gonna be his. Could be his best. Could be right there. It's seven, similar. seven and a half knots. Uh, six to two the, three to the finish. It so. went six two three. There it is. Messina's to the lead. The crowd goes wild. Seven. The wind. Seven and a half knots. Yep. To the finish. So it's not gonna go crazy. Which is probably good when it's smaller. 
But 623 takes the lead. Messina's train is back on track. Just when I said the spares in AAA was called, it, it, it finally left the it station. Flipped. So I've known to been wrong before. Well, it looks that. like uh, it's on the way to the final. Can Owen Moss stop him? He needs he, about a seven. He's got two minutes to do it, sitting with priority. Just got to find the magic jam out there. He's, Fuck it. Well, the last turn he got a four eight three. He needs a two turn combo like that, and he could. They'll give it to him. So yeah, it's chat. It's seven and a half knots. So that's pretty much like what this swell is, right? Yeah. Who do we have? Kolohe and who else in the next one? Uh, Kolohe and Al. And Al. Whoa, this is going to be a battle. Definitely going to be a battle. Each of these heats are battles, but uh, shouldn't disappoint. Let's just hope uh, Mother Nature spits it out for us here on the south side of the HB Pier. This is Brett's local. Yeah, I love this place. I laugh it. I love I this rub place. It. I rub it. I rub it. Uh oh. It looks like Mossy might is he's got priority. Looks like brother. You're not supposed to paddle out in the contest area. But there's Serena Chagas, Felipe Chagas, his daughter. I'm assuming there's Wesley Santos, Felipe, David Ocarmo. She got herself a nice hydro flask customized. Yeah, so rad. Happy days. That was a great day down here at the beach with 45 seconds. Not a great day. Well, it's been a good day for Mossy. He's on the hunt. And, you know, can he pull off this heroic, you know, it was his for the taking. And it's kind of slipped out of his hands. But there is waves. 30 seconds. He's paddling over to the pier. I mean, there's lumps. Can it, is it going to hit the lineup in time? Those lovely lady lumps. Check it out. He's got to go. 20 seconds. It's, it's, uh, I don't know if it has the, uh, oomph where he is to get in. Luca might be in the spot by the looks of things. Oh, my goodness. And he could go wedge factory up and riding, finishing it off. And in three, two, one, go. Good night, Irene. And that is just uh, going to hammer it shut for Mr. Owen Moss's run here at the Jacks Pro. Luca Messinas into the final. And uh, coming up next, don't go anywhere. Chloe Andino versus Al Cleland Jr. Right after this commercial break. Introducing Do your thing. Okay, welcome back. We are forging our way to the pointy end here at the Jacks Pro on your screen. Kolohe and Dina will be donning the blue singlet 
Al Cleland Jr. will be wearing the red Rojo. He is from Mexico. I am Chad Wells. Next to me, Mr. Brett Simpson. Brett, how excited are you? For this, this is one? a good heat. It looks like Cleland's eyed something out right here. He's going to stay with the backhand. So a little setup turn. And uh, this has been, you know, his recipe for success. And gets the finish. So nice start there. Looks like Kolohe uh, on the break got a 4.5. Cleland right there. Probably a little bit better. And what's this? The Kolohe wave? 4.5. So foam climb. And he is on a black sheep um, construction. Let me see if I just botched it. It's a rad ripper. It's a black sheep build rad ripper, right? Yeah. Okay. And then a Cleland right here. Nice little setup. You know, wraps it back to the power source. Another one. And then he does get the nice finish with a little tail pop right Ooh, there. Clacked it. So Cleland clacked it right there. Al clack. Clack, clack, Cleland. He's been on an absolute tear this he entire has. event. Yeah, I mean, what, what was it, 9-8 the other day in the wind? 9-8 when it was big, yeah. uh, some big chundery laughs. Big finner into it, or big, or, I don't even remember. Was it you the know, big finner, and then the slash, or was it the floater? No, so, the, fir so the, the first was like a nice kind of release. The next one was even more of a bigger extension. And then it was kind of like a carve in the pocket, like... Three turn combo. How do you think I was yeah. in the box for that one? Yeah, it was it was a nine from there, and then he went nine eight seven. So, but we got a tight exchange on our first. I mean, he would be sitting pretty for the tires, right? I think it's done. Yeah, I think it's done. Put get some new shoes for the whip. I think it is done. Automotive yeah, Excellence partnered with Hankook. Yeah, for some new uh, treads. Well, got to ship him down to Pasquale's. I know. What's he going to do with them? That's why I'm saying maybe I could work a deal. Ooh, Simpo's trying Is to... there a certain type of tire? We're going to have to talk to Andrew and see if we could... Uh, I'll gladly pay you two. Figure it out. For yeah. a set of hand kooks today. Yeah. All I right. do, though. I was slip and sliding. We've had a lot of rain, and I'm getting a little low on my Ooh, tread. You're getting a little thin. A little thin on my tread. Okay, 20 and a half, Al 467, Kolohe 4.5. This thing is just getting off the dock here. So this will define who our finalist is going to be. Joining the man on the glass, Mr. Luca Messinas. Luca, wow. How was that sneaky right you uh, plucked under priority? You needed that thing. Yeah, I needed it so much. Uh, I think like I was a little nervous in the beginning because the waves were super small and super slow too, and... Uh, oh, and start with a five, so uh, I used my priority and my wife wasn't that good. Uh, and then, luckily, I got a little insight that gave me a six and that gave me a little a little more confidence, you know, for, for my next wave. And, and then I, think I got another six, so I was stuck with that. The, the waves were really slow in this heat, so that was a tricky one. Yeah, no, great surfing. And uh, we're just going to let you go, get rebooted, and uh, get mentally prepared for this battle. Uh, you're going to either get Kolohe or Al Cleland. Yeah, that's going to be a hard one. Both of them surf super good. Uh, I know both of them really well, and they have a, an amazing surfing, so the final is going to be a really good hit for sure. Awesome. Congrats on more Lay Right Deluxe Bucks, and we'll Thanks. let you go. Any shout-outs real quick before Thank we you. sign up? Yeah, saludos a toda la gente Peru siempre. Saludos. You. Awesome. There you go, people. Semi-final uh, number one in the books. Luca Messina is taking the W over Owen Moss, and uh, we have our first finalist in this Second one is going to be decided in this heat right here. Well, it looks like Cleland, you know, he's going to stick to the backhand and uh, finding his rhythm. You know, the rhythm is the rhythm of the ocean, and he's had it this event. I mean, he is one of those surfers. You know, there's, you know, some have the skill, the ability, but there's those ones that just have that, they, you know, in tuition and nat with the nature, you know, and they just find it, you know, fine-tune kind of. What the conditions are. I think we're about ready to find our rhythm. Oh, we're we're rhythm surfers right now. You know, never lost a heat here. We can be, you know, sipping on as much coffee as we want and not make mistakes. Oh, yeah, just get percolated on some bean juice. Get ready for tomorrow today. Let's go. Well, he's going to roll it again. He might go to the air. 
So speeding across this little in. So this is a smaller wave. He's looking for those ones a little bit cleaner. He went four, five, seven. So we got a lot of fours. But, you know, brother out the back with priority looking for a 4.74. Yeah, I mean, it's this dropping tide. It's kind of fighting itself. You know, it is a negative point zero three. Yeah, that is a bit of a bummer because I mean, you got so much water rushing out, and we don't have a ton of swell coming in. So, you know, a li it's a little bit of a you know against us right now. But with the level of competition left, these guys are equipment. They know what's at stake. They know what they have to do to drop these good, to excellent scores and get into that final. Yeah, veterans. Yeah, I mean, Cleland obviously a little bit younger than Kolohe, but, um, you know, he's been doing this long enough to understand, you know, w what it's going to take. And it's just going to be a back-and-forth battle because right now it's been a couple fours. Yeah, as you can see on the drone view, it, I like the – how it flattens everything so you don't see the chop as much. Yeah. But how crazy are all the colors? Well, the colors of the yeah. water, and that's, you know, that's coming strictly from all that water, you know, pushing out. So it's pulling out by the pier, which is usually if, you know, you're watching live over here to your right, there's, it's usually deeper there. So it ends up, you know, it ends up kind of moving the sand and churning the sand. And that, you know, you have these clear patches, you have a little murkier sand patches, and it's, uh, yeah. So that that's kind of why why it looks like that from above, and uh, the you know where the sandbars are kind of structured here on the bank with a nice little wedge coming in. We'll see if uh, Blue uses his priority here. And brother, having a look, we call him brother. His name's Kolohe, means little rascal. That if you're watching, I think that's why we call him brother. Or his sisters called him brother, so the name just stuck. And it's brother. But Kolohe means little rascal. <laughs> and in Hawaiian. And he is, he still is a little rascal. He's gotten a lot bigger, but he still is a little rascal. What's he doing? Um It's like huh. you know, I think he's trying to kind of reset. He just picked a wave with priority that didn't eventuate. So sometimes it's a little frustrating. Do I paddle out, go by the guy? Do I adjust? He might have looked in. He could have dad or whoever on the beach kind of say, hey, make a make a move this way or make a move, you right. know, look for some of those waves underneath to create a score because there's only a couple, you know, fours, fours are on the board right now. So I gave Chad a break. I'm jumped in scott Waring here with brett simpson it's been real crazy out there for me so i know you guys have been in here quite a while no it's we're well, having good. the best time yeah i mean we're down to the nitty gritty this is like the the icing right here you know we're gonna be crowning winners soon and that's uh jacks pro qs 3000 the so this event if you're just tuning in this this carries into this follow or upcoming season so it's the first event of the 24, pretty much 24, 25, 25 season. Yeah. So valuable points. These two guys are actually going to be in Australia already. Al qualified. I think Kolohe got a wild card into the Challenger oh, series. So, yeah. So he's going to be, you know, competing uh, both of them in Snapper Rocks in a few weeks' time. So this is a great event for them to kind of get their, you know, Kolohe hasn't competed much. Uh, in the last couple months, and Al's been on a bit of a heater. You know, Pismo, I think he made got second place in a 3000. He um, can't remember if he went over to the East Coast, but then he did decent, you know, to solidify a spot over in Barbados, right? And you know, he finished. So I was busy, but did Lucas have a pretty good heat? Like, were there some good scores? Luca, or? yeah, Luca actually had. The wheels were falling off. Uh, you know, there was Owen Moss had a couple fives and kind of put the pressure on. And Luca didn't get anything till maybe, you know, 10 minutes left. Caught away with priority. 
uh, didn't pan out. The next little piggyback wave tans up, gets a nice little right, gets a 6.3. Paddles back out, gets a left, 6.2. Took the heat. Wow. Yeah, so the momentum switched. You know, we were – he was kind of on spare tires, almost going to call AAA. And, <laughs> and an next analogy. thing you know, he's he won the darn heat. So Good, good. Yeah. So we got a Peru, uh, Peruvian in the final, right? We do. Yeah, Peruvian. He just won the Barbados contest a couple weeks ago too. Maybe not even that long. You know, we – Two, two weekends ago. Uh huh. So he's on a roll, on a tear, an absolute tear, a competitive tear. Right on. Jack Surfboards Pro, seventh annual. Stoked to be a part of making it happen again for them. And uh, let's see, Chloe's eyeing this wave. Yeah, so Cleland has priority. He's not going to get sold, but, you know, Kolohe's. One of the best in the world at taking a three and making it a five or a six. So I, I think, heard the heat before this. He was did a bunch of errors in it, right? Uh, maybe, he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He had a seven, six, seven. Did a nice backside snap and then rot, rotated a nice air. Right on. I'll be interested to see though if he want. You know, some of the surfers I think may decline to do the air show just if they make the final. Right. But this wave, uh, Al lets it go. And Kolohe is going rapid fire, a little south swell up and over the woods, keeps the board speed. And this is kind of what I'm talking about, you know, creating a score on a sub, you know, par wave. Yeah, and he needs a 474. So he's going to, he's going to, you know, he's, he's going to get it. Ask the judges the question. Um, uh, wow, look at this score line. It's like 467, 457, 45. Yeah, it's pretty st- tight. Heat but if here. you, yeah, like the waves, if you've seen them, they kind of were that. There was no, they surfed them through, you know, the key moments on Al's waves were on the inside. Right. So well, well done there. Oh, that was ripped, better. He ripped that wave. Yeah. So he's gonna keep it honest, and he does get the rebound here and kind of throws it up. So. Made it's going to mo- be right there. Made the most of it for sure. I think they might like this. It's a, a different looking uh, style wave compared yeah. to Al's where he's cutting back. Yeah, 5.4. Best wave of the heat so far. So under Al's priority, gets the 5.4. Decision making a lot easier. He said, I'm going to go on this thing because, like I said, he could turn a 3 into a 5 and, and boom, he's in the lead. When it's tight like this and you get the score to put you in that, it definitely feels good. I mean, because it's such a tight heat. Now that you're in the lead there, you get to hopefully just wait for a set wave. I mean, these guys are going to be on There's set like a waves couple now. different right. strategies where you go right next to the competitor and you right. make them make, hopefully, make, them go, make a terrible decision. Right. You know, like, hey, go on this, no wall. And instead, you know what I mean? So kind of like that. Or right? there's the other one where you're like, hey, I get away from them and I yeah. try to better again. Right. But, you know, at this level, I think you've got to be near them and make, the, make, make them, them honest too. Yeah, 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 nerves, like pressure. Yeah. It's yeah. pressure. Yeah. It either creates, you know, diamonds or it, you know, makes you have diarrhea <laughs> 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 where you're nervous, you yeah. know, those nerves. Well, the wind's staying down. I mean, still, I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? It is, yeah. We talked to Wickwire was saying it doesn't get over seven knots. It's going to stay like this. It's 1 okay. o'clock, 1.03. Okay. It's, it's nothing changing. Here we go. Brother on the backhand rolling the dice. This thing's doubling up, and he's speeding across this section, and he's going to better his score right here, uh, Scotty. So nice. that might even be his best. He's so quick. Yeah, right he's now. so nimble, quick on the feet. He's riding the Black Sheep Rad Ripper, which is, I think, a carbon, some type of carbon technology for Mayhem surfboards. Um, and, you know, this is another wave under priority. Yeah. And I will say, most of the heats I've watched today, people have done it. And, you know, jump climbs it, big turn there. And then, you know, what nimbleness and, and uh, you know, dexterity to float over that pocket jam right there a little extra kick and then just really quick re-engage he liked and, it yeah and there it is six six seven you so, know what i like too like 
like he wanted it you know what i mean like he's just oh he's hungry you know, he's yeah, hungry hungry i mean last year was a, a total you know right off year he had great things happen with him he's built a family two kids now everything is in the right place competitively things kind of slipped away a little bit but that happens in in careers you right. know and and yeah. now he's he's you know if i think he's finding that you know comfort he's also starting in his new brand the two percent union he's just oh, new things in his life yeah and he's like he said yesterday he's ready to give it the next couple of years to get back where he, you know on that world tour so he's 100 yeah. percent hungry and it's nice to all those young kids are kind of keeping his yeah. you know, competitive fire. Well, he he's done so much for them. And also, you know, I think it keeps him young and lively. Yeah. And, yeah. and, you know, that that fun, cool factor is exactly what he wants his brand to be about. The more, you know, originality. I didn't hear about that. So that's cool. So he's founded it. And yeah. He's gonna make so it 2% happen. obviously started was kind of more you know, uh, media, uh, you know, between the San Clemente crew, but they're doing some merch now and, and, you know, we're going to see where that kind of ends up, but here's Cleland. Nice snap there. So this way is looking a little bit better. What's he got for us on the inside? little pocket jam, but just doesn't get the finish. Yeah. Right. And he has that fire hose on that board where he turns in the right spot and spray flies, but the criticalness of that one is just where you know it lacked a little bit exactly kind of linking the whole entire i mean the wave kind of backed off too but it was a soft wave and yeah he, he picked the moments the best like right. as best he could but it just didn't like have the you know where kolohe's wave he was zipping across and then he did the one big turn and and just the spontaneity of getting it back up there and the speed mm -hmm. where cleland was kind of like at the same speed and that I mean, it wasn't really his fault. It was kind of the wave that just let him down a bit. This looks like uh, they are eyeing this one for sure. He's going to let Cleland go. Nope. So he got a 4.9, his best score, and needs a 7.17, which he's been posting, you know, all event. He does hold the highest scoring wave of the event. And has a set of tires right now from Hankook and Automotive X. Yeah, it looks like, oh. I wonder what Al's going to do with the, well, it isn't over yet. No, no. But, no. I am I mean, I wonder what Al's going to do with those tires. You know, living down in uh, Mainland Max, I might have to buy it off them. You know, I might have yeah, to wheel and deal. You should hit them up. See, I do, like I was just telling Wilson, I do need some new tires. Yeah, that'd be uh, classic. <laughs> work a deal, brother. All right, brothers, going on this. Kolohe and Dino throws the reverse. So nice combination there. Just showing his skill and his quick twitch muscles. That uh, is what you need in these these conditions right now. And he's, you know, the year he qualified back in, gosh, I don't know, maybe 2014, 20, or maybe 2012, somewhere around there. He he won. Uh, a couple 6,000 or six star QSs. So no stranger at winning, you know, at this level. And he, you know, 10 years on the world tour, he had, I think a handful of second place, never got that maiden win, which a couple, I will say there was one in Australia versus Italo that that should have yeah, went. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He had a club, couple but close, close ones, ones huh? but um, yeah. So I, I'm sure he wants to get back there and, um, trying to nab one of those things and get back in that title contention. Was that score? No, that score hasn't come in yet. But... Yeah, nothing yet. Look it's at six, this. Six, seven. Is this like a little southerly. From a... Well, it kind of has almost a south angle to yeah. it. So we've had all kinds of surf. I mean, one day was like solid six, maybe it eight was feet. Proper, yeah, easily six feet. I mean, one day was three to four, maybe, and then a couple two to threes. Yeah, and that's, but that's the beauty of Huntington Beach. I mean, you're never going to get ultra skunked. I mean, if anything, the first day was, you know, the smallest day, but right. ended up plenty of opportunity. There was multiple waves in every heat ridden by each competitor, you know, and that's the, uh, this looks like an okay line. Cleland has to go right here. So slashes it, slashes it again. 
the all-important inside and oh catches the rail on the right three, three minutes well he rotated he knew he kind of had to push a little bit harder right uh, i'm not sure if you know that that was going to go up into the seven range Kolohe's last wave 5.67 so he did better by uh 2.7 so al looking for a 744 uh, um, so that's, uh, you know, two minutes, 50 seconds, red looking seven, four, four. We'll wait and see. We'll see where this last wave comes in. It wasn't complete on that final turn, but he did. He was starting to kind of get that rapid fire Cleland vibe going. And then, you know, pushed a little extra on the last. It looks like he caught the nose. Here it is. Well, these are the recap right here of his Kolohe's last five, six, seven. So nice two turn combo. And that's, you know, it, it's quality over quantity. And then Al, nice slice, slices it again. Has to bide his time here, which usually, you know, doesn't help in score. And then that one gets a little more kick, but catches the rail. And that comes in at a 3.9. So doesn't help his cost or his, his situation. And now it's the, the priority comes into play. Yeah. Well, Kolohe is sitting pretty thinking, okay, I got to stay near him. I'm looking at, you know, he needs a 7.44. So he's going to stay in the vicinity and just make sure, you know, the next decision is like, okay, you know, when you're, when you're at this level, you see a wave and you're like, Hey, this could be it. I'm taking it from him. <laughs> yeah. And there's some other stuff that he might sell you on that you go, eh, this ain't it. But under a minute 30, Check this. he's having a good dig and he has to go. He likes the line. He thinks it looks good enough to, you know, take it. And he does. Nice wrap. And so, oh, that was cool. Tricky right there with 105 remaining. Leaves Cleland out the back, searching for 7.44. Will that better and make that even harder? Uh, it could be right there. Could be right there. The speed is what I will say. Cleland. Here's the last chance. Last right here. chance. Hurrah. I like this look of this wave, actually. So surfed it well, but brother kind of knows. Gives him a little <laughs> chuck. Gives him a little chuckle. Yeah. The like, little like hand thing. Ah, eh, no, that's well. Not. He's he, you know, he's coming and he's on your theory. He's got no leash. Now, and, do you uh, think it's good that I mean these way like he came in. He like, should have. He probably is going. Should I stay out there? Yeah. Because it's twenty eight seconds. I mean, in hindsight, is he going to find another one? No. Yeah, but, but you never know. Hold that priority. We're waiting on these last scores. We're counting this one down. And I, you know, I'm thinking, you know, Kolohe is going to better his situation. 6.2 on this one. So speed jam, big wrap right here. Beautiful nice. turn. I like that. And then this was just cheeky off the whitewash. So yeah. super cool. Just a little icing on the cake. And uh, waiting on this one right here. So probably Cleland's best, but looking for the 7.34 or 7.2. Yeah, so 5-5-3. Five, five, so looking like Kolohe and Dino advancing on versus Luca Macinas in the men's final. We'll be back with the women's air show right after these commercial break. Welcome to Huntington Beach, California. I'm Kelly Miller, President and CEO of Visit Huntington Beach. 
known as Surf City USA. Huntington Beach boasts 10 miles of coastline and the most consistent waves on the West Coast. Huntington Beach has it all with endless summer weather, year-round events, outdoor activities, and oceanfront resorts and spas. So get ready to be inspired, be connected, and be here. Huntington Beach. Plan your visit at surfcityusa.com. Welcome back. We are at the Jacks Pro. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. We have out there now, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the Women's U.S. Air Force Air Show. And there it is. Maddie Stanton, Rubiana Brownell, Bella Kenworthy, Zoe Kaina, Vela Mativ, and Talia Swindal. So we are straight in. I think it's a 30-minute heat, and it's going to be top air. And if there's no air completed, I think it comes down to the high, most, you know. Critical maneuver. Critical sure. maneuver. Yeah. yeah. Most high performance maneuver. So this should be fun. A little bit tricky with, you know, the waves being, you know, in a sense on the softer side. Yeah. But I will say there's still some sections there's to be a had. a couple wedges, you know. It's probably going to be a game of trying to find that closeout that comes towards you, especially going for, for the air. For sure. Goofy footers, I'd be looking to do a front hand air with this northwest wind. Yeah. Uh, make it a little easier. So here we are. It's just getting underway. The U.S. Air Force Air Show. It's, uh, yeah, you know, last heat, we had a really good heat. Two informed surfers, Kalohe and Dino, Al Cleland, with Kalohe getting the nod, just surfing fast, sharp. That board. Under black priority, sheep. black sheep. I think it's a rad ripper. We'll have to talk to him about it. He might not want to give out all yeah. the details. That under priority. Ooh. I like that though. She was doing the right thing where you're kind of stall, stall. Wait, wait, go. Set your feet and then she got a little bit ahead. In front. Yeah. yeah. A little front heavy. Um, but yeah, we saw a couple finalists. Actually, he two of the semifinals. Kira, that was her same approach. Under priority. That's got her top two scores and it seemed like Brother did that same approach, and it's working really well right now with the conditions. Just getting on opportunities and not sitting too long. So Messinas too. He uh, yeah. Yeah, actually had a you know so who's the wheels white. This is Bella. Bella. And, and Bella can do airs. We've I seen can. her. You know, here she goes. Boom. Oh, so oh, very so close. close. It was kind of that in between rotation. Yeah. You know where a I'm, little straighter. Am I going to do a straighty? Yeah. Or am I going to rotate? Yeah. And uh, we're going to throw it down to none other than Kaloe Andino into the finals. Ew. I mean, lightning fast, lightning sharp. That board looks, I like the adjustments today. You know, the body language, everything looks spot on. What? Hey, when was, you wanted an event here. I think it was a 4,000. Yeah. Correct me if I'm, what, do you know, remember what year that was? Yeah, it was um, two thousand. 11. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember. Me, Adriano, Taylor Knox, and Damien Hoggood in the right. final. That's <laughs> right. I knew it. Was it a, was that Vans? Yeah, was it was that, Vans. Yeah. Okay. It was, a, it was a shoe comp. Yeah. And the junior too. Okay. Yeah. So I remember, I'm like, he's won many a times out here. I was just kind of going back and uh, yeah, it, everything looks good. I mean, both your waves, you know, got the scores early and then you kind of bettered under priority, a little more freedom, right? Yeah, well, there was, like, that little kind of sidewinder kind of going out to see, like, going south. And um, I was like, oh, I hope he doesn't see it. So I just did my best, like, 
method acting to make sure he uh, it worked. <laughs> he didn't <laughs> see it, and then he didn't go, and then uh, it allowed me to do like four vertical turns. Well, and it was like super hard to to find out there, so I was stoked. Well, definitely, Cleland on his backhand has been shown to be pretty lethal, and yourself as well. Yeah. You actually like looking back. We just watched the replay. You you manufactured that, and I mean. The wave was it was it was there, but you really like you know hit each key point like right on time. So oh thanks. Hey, go get you know go get focused. Ready, you have one more. Are, are you doing the air show? No, you I, shining it. No. All right, we're gonna miss <laughs> I was you. I'm getting t- the small wave thing. It's tiring. It takes so. a lot of yeah. takes a lot out of you. Well, you're doing them in your heat anyway. So <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Off the whitewash in the last. <laughs> that was sick. Cheeky little thing. I like that. <laughs> Maybe gave me an extra point oh five. Hey, it better to, better to score. <laughs> oh yeah. <joke. laughs> All right. Good job. We'll see you back out there soon. Thanks, guys. Later. Right on. And he all he's also taken so, home the. Uh, deluxe box yeah he's just cashing he's just in cashing i mean right now he's like i don't need an extra 100 bucks a heat this event <laughs> well well i'm gonna step aside real quick i'm gonna bring in chad wells and uh i'll be we'll be back later yeah well see <laughs> his little groms are here with sweatshirt on backwards sunny's on upside down they were having fun over in Laboose, getting some free swag. Oh, my gosh. My Groms are having a field day. They're just, like, getting, uh, mopping up everybody's lunch that nobody finished. They're like, tacos? Whose tacos are these? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yours. Uh, can we have a taco? <laughs> He's just like, what? They're mine? <laughs> so we saw Bella go for a little backhand straight air on her oh, first ride. I like it. She She's al- it? Almost. So close. Just... I think she, Brett and I are kind of looking, it seemed like she's almost thinking about doing the Revo, but not quite. So just small waves right now. So they're just trying to find those closeout sections that allow them to take to the sky. Well, Vela is no stranger to the air show. Her mom had uh, shot me a text and said, you know, Vela is the first NSSA air show women's champ. So wow. Let's, uh, let's see if Vela can drop a little punt. And I believe this is Zoe. Oh. Okay. I don't know if they'll count that complete, but I love what I'm seeing right now. So am I. You know what? It's it's these girls know, hey, you oh. want you want to take flight, bang, you gotta get up and generate speed and go. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, that was pretty sick. Zoe, like, got a little pop off that little yeah, she did. chippy she corner. Right. Good stuff. Yeah. I love what I'm seeing. It, it's nice to see them getting busy, too. <clears throat> All right. And here we see Talia. She's just in and out. She doesn't see a section down the line. She's like, I can't get sky high on that section, so I'm out. She's still looking at that wave. She's like, was that one? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not the easiest, like, puntable conditions. No. You know? You need the, kind of that little closeout ramp, like Chloe did that weird cheeky one on the left. But For sure. And the wind with the northwest wind, the yeah. left, so it'll be a little bit easier to go to the air. So that's why we'll see a lot of the surfers going towards those lefts and we have a couple goofy footers is this zoe again zoe and boom oh a little finner finner little snap in the pocket looks like she's changed up the equipment yeah she's like this is my airboard <laughs> yeah right <laughs> well she's one of those ladybirds from uh the stabs ladybirds i love that so, uh yeah she's she's uh she's air savvy yeah, it's really fun seeing this next generation elevating to the sky, you know. Um, we had a bit of that during, like, Chris, uh, Lakey, me, and, gosh, the OG, Melanie Bartels. She was sending it to the sky. I'm pretty sure she was the first girl to do a backside air rev in yeah. competition. Yeah, we can't forget Melanie Bartels. She is one of those women surfers that really charged went to the air so much respect for what she did for women surfing years ago even chelsea hedges you know well georgenson at the time right gosh her backhand at snapper 
Ooh. Phenomenal. Phenomenal oh, surfing. Bella. Oh, Bella. A little clicker. A little click. Stuck that one. Thank you very much. All right, so we have Maddie Stat Stanton in red. So Stanton hasn't, I haven't seen her ride one yet. It's probably looking for the wave of the day, era of the day. So it's funny, we got the, <clears throat> it looks like a G drive oh. sheet, and that's wow. kind of giving us the who's in the driver's seat here. But this is the Women's U.S. Uh, Air Force Air Show presented by Foo Wax, fifteen hundred bucks on the line, and an armful of uh, Foo Wax and bragging rights. Yes, Foo Wax <laughs> worth its weight in gold. So you have Rubiana on that, just quick in and out. Bela, having a luck. You Ooh. ever use the Foo Court? I too sticky have. for you. It is so sticky. I feel like I can't move my feet around, and I move my feet quite a bit when I surf. I didn't realize that till I utilized the foo wax. So, um, but I have used it before. I'll tell you what. There's a level of uh, with the airs though. It'd uh, be nice. There's a level of knowledge that goes into using it, and I feel like if you're not super well versed, then a lot of people because they're so ingrained into just scrubbing a ton of it on that that's probably the biggest downfall because when it's it's a top coat right so you need yeah. base coat to kind of lay the anchor which the beads are the anchor for the top coat you come across oh, yeah. come across with the top coat and that is kind of your foundation and and then it, your wax job is essentially it should be super light uh -huh. you, you know like yeah. it's not yeah. a heavy wax job your be sure. your beads are where the weight is and the Top coat just covers the top, and it's like my boards. You look at them, you know, there's hardly any wax on them. Huh? Yeah, I've I've used sex wax since like day one, and I have such a process with like starting with the blue, then going to the red, and right. then easing into depending on where I'm at. And I love the Miyagi full meditation process of prepping the board and just getting it ready to ride. And, um, yeah, it's definitely, I feel like every single surfer has their own style for waxing a board. I actually do a little drawing in the base coat. So I'm I a waffle other, guy, just waffle, waffle grid. It. Yeah. You're like Roscoe's waffles. On yeah, my li board. Lines one way, <laughs> lines the other, vertical, yeah. horizontal, and then crisscross applesauce, as Brett would say, and then just firm yeah. it up. No, that's awesome. That always works, and it's a great approach. I tend to doodle with my waffles. Oh, you get weird? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put some smiley faces and just funny stuff under the base coat, on the base coat. So we see Bella here. She looks what, like she's wearing booties today. She's probably got the booties and the foo. I think she's been on booties the whole time. I mean, the water is not warm. Yeah, you don't want to get cold feet in a heat. It's funny. Springtime always brings the coldest water with the, like, when the wind blows in the channel and brings in, like, the upwelling. Yeah. You get just crazy cold water. That northwest wind, anytime that thing's cranking, you know the water's going to drop a few oh. degrees. And there was a while, it was like 55, 54. I felt like we rode the high on the El Nino water for most of the winter. And, he scored. And then literally as soon as it was like March, spring, click, it was the wind <laughs> just did not, like, it just, oh, here you guys go. It's 52. Here, take this 52 because you're treated with, like, almost 70. All right, so Vela, have a look. Bella out the back. I love seeing everyone sharking right now. Talia, oh, she's winding up. Oh, nice carve. Yeah, I mean, it's just nice to see no pressure. Everybody's just trying to flare up. Boom. That's what we want to see, just flare up.
Well, we had to go into full, like, uh, replay deliberation mode right there. Yep. Our memories are being called upon, which I'm they like, mine of, my hard drives are corrupted. They're just polluted <laughs> with yeah. Paw Patrol and um, <laughs> you name it. I got, like, my kids have just derailed the whole uh, whatever was left in there. <laughs> Surprise, your sweatshirt's <laughs> not on backwards. <laughs> no, my, that's my all for my kid. He wears, yeah. he's so odd, just... He'll wear shoes on the wrong feet, and I'm looking at him going, you know that's super bad for you. He's like, I don't care. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? He's just very original. Glasses upside down, sweatshirt backwards. Oh, <laughs> just, so eh, good. Hey, enjoy being eight. You, yep. It, live you it up. You're not there. A, you, you don't want to taint that personality. Yeah, you get to be eight for a whole year. Yeah. I love when you have Groms that are that original. They're just being them, and their truest self. It's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, no, what, like what Brett was saying, we serve with Brett and his kids all the time. And um, I just, you know, for me, the best part about it is I don't care if they're good or bad. I just want them to just be able to do it. And surf with you. Yeah, because I'm like, hey, when I'm a complete old carp, <laughs> to be able to share that with you guys is going to be like my greatest achievement. You yeah. know, like yeah. we're going to have these beautiful moments and the sun setting over some lovely right point somewhere you know it's gonna make my day yeah for sure and you know my dad shared the sport of surfing with me and so grateful to have that gift and just everything i was able to do with it but no matter what i always can share that with my dad and it is so special i am my brother and sister and mom yeah. as well well it's a lifelong thing it's a lifelong it's thing like tennis You'll it's like it. golf now pickleball yeah i'll be platinum hair still want to huck blow tail and <laughs> spray well there's grandma court and he just did a big blow there's, tail there's grandma court just uh well she did spraying that grom on the shoulder yeah, she just did an air rev that was nuts that was wild don't you know who my grandma is don't paddle for waves when she even looks at one uh, we see bella up and riding again i'm sure she would love to take to the sky oh she's ready just it just needs the ramp here we go click another Ooh. one She's got the little backhand straight airs on lock. Yep, she's another one of the ladybirds. Yeah. All right. I mean, yeah, I mean, a tough air conditions for sure. There's Great no doubt wind, about it. But definitely tough size of swell and power. I feel like if it's a little punchier, you have those wedges coming right at you. It makes it a little easier to go above the lip, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, any good, like any head of steam into an oncoming, and we're going to see some fireworks. Yeah, definitely. And we see Maddie on this ride, quick in and out. She's like, no thanks. $1,500, an arm full of fuax. Oh, my grom's going back in for thirds on tacos. I love it. <laughs> this kid's never eaten an onion in his life, and now he's just mopping them like, oh, no, he's just scrubbing them. He's done. <laughs> Yeah. So get these things out of here. It's like, no but, uh, onions for me, please. Yeah, it's literally just looking for that oncoming oh, ramp. Oh, my and goodness. And wow. Pat the kitty. Pat the kitty. Oh, yep. Okay. And she is smiling. She knows. Look at that. She's like, yes, I'm a grom. I'm 14. That was sick. Boys, give us the replay. Yeah, do we have a replay on that one? Zoe Kaina just nailed that little air rev. Yeah. I mean, she's at a total unfair advantage. Small in stature, big in maneuvers. Like This is like head <laughs> high. It's head high to her. It's still head high for her. It's like knee high for us. She's like, you going? No. Okay, click. Most of us would be bogging and she's gaining speed. All right. So nice snap off the top here. Probably is just carving it out. Going for the Revo. Oh, she's looking for the clicker. <laughs> she's laughing. They're just having fun out there. She's like, I tried. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Not much of a section, oh, but... Boom. How is that? Great rotation. Kept looking all the way around. That was a classic tail of the beach. Oh, no. She punched the tail yeah, out. Yeah, she punched that tail of the beach. Just boom. She made that error happen. Oh, no, Von Man's going in for, like, fifths. <laughs> He's such a hammer. Uh, I, I, I'm very scared for when my 
my son's a teenager. He's going to eat me out of house and home. <laughs> like, yeah. dude, what do you got a hollow leg? You just scoop it all in there? Like, where are you putting yeah, all this Yeah, where food? is it going? <laughs> he eats so much already. <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> slow down. All right, so, Zoe clicking another one. She got a 6.5 for that Air Revo, and Bella has a 2 for her backside bunny hops. So. I, I mean, that's going to be a tough one to overcome. Someone's going to need a set wave and a ramp. Yeah. Because the fact she was able to punch the fins out and around and even like ride out clean on that. Yeah. On that with not a lot of speed. No. And able to punch it like over and into the flats in that section. Unbelievable. I mean, yeah, that was a greater. Yeah, everyone's on the hunt. Well, now we know who they need to beat. Zoe Kaina in the driver's seat here at the U.S. Air Force Air Show. Presented by Fuwax, $1,500 up for grabs, an armful of food. Just get your froth on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's Hello. go. Yeah, we just finished some taco surf tacos. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I got to get myself in that raffle. I want to win the taco cart for the boys. I don't even need a special occasion. They're, they will, they'll be just the special. Just any night. Yeah, Friday they'll, night they'll be the special occasion. I'm calling Court and Brett. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Commentator team Stamp. tacos. Have Stampsy over. That'd be fun. Oh, yeah. Brett's looking fast with his shades today. He's got the speed goggles. He does. It's about Talia. Psyching up with brother. Yeah, no, Brett's great. He he kind of helps man, va manage Von Man because Von Man, if he blows a wave, gets super, super, uh, takes it so serious. He gets all crushed. And it's I'm yeah. like, dude, it's like your Fortnite game. You get just hit restart. You get a <laughs> fresh go at it every time. Like, For don't sure. take every wave like it's like do or die. There's no, it's not the Super Bowl. No, yeah. Sometimes... You can make the jersey feel heavy, and it's important where every surf feel heavy, and you don't want to do that. You know, as a surfer, you need to keep it free and flowing. I, I mean, I feel like I know he's got some weird, crazy personal standard because he even does it with other stuff. And I'm like, dude, be less serious. Just have fun with it. If you blow one, just paddle out and get another one. But, yeah, he wears it like a – he wears his heart on his sleeve when uh, he, he, he flubs it. And the yeah. funny thing is then he'll get a sick one, and then it's like it's forgotten. No big deal. Yeah. It's gone. That was yesterday. <laughs> We're two seconds ago. We're like my daughter. I don't even, I can't even get a read on her. She's just like, I love it. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. And she's just the natural, just perfect stance, just perfect everything. <laughs> I'm saying, eh, whatever. And See he, you. like, wants it, and he tries real hard, and he's just, he's got a long way to go. <laughs> but that's like me. I suck forever. And then uh, I got good as an older man. Now I suck again. <laughs> nah, I still see you spray. Whoa. Land that. It's a nice turn. Maybe not above the 6'5", but... Yeah, that was nice. sick. That was a beautiful snap in the pocket. And then wow. let's see. Where is our sheet? Who do we have our in the... Final? Who do we have in the dudes? Coming up with the men... Kolohe may or may not. Did you guys get it out of him if he's going to do he's it? He's not. He's like, these small waves are taking a lot of energy. You want to save the energy for the final. So Smart man. I Yeah. And your ankles, you know. Yeah. Ankles and knees. Save those airs for the final. So Dwight Pastrana, Luke Weiler, Alex Lima, Dylan Horde, Luke Ginaldo. They're going to do battle. If you had to lay a wager, who would you throw it on? For the air? Yeah. I feel like Luke has got the ability to just rotate and get it out at low speeds because he's Ginaldo. so super used to it. And Alex, yeah, these guys are, Alex and too. Dylan, they surf so much Huntington. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely think Alex or Luke. So it'll be interesting. I mean, it's anybody's game. You get the right little chip and then boop. Oh, yeah. It's on. For sure. Chip. Boop. Uh, it's right there. Zoe's in the driver's seat. Did a little air rev. Wesley? Okay, cool. So we got Wesley jumping in for Kolohe. So a couple Brazilians are jumping in uh, to the mix. And we have a Puerto Rican. 
and a few local boys coming up. So don't be afraid when I make tacos at home. Everybody catch that? Heckling my son. Don't be afraid of tacos when I make them at home. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. He's very specific. He really loves a specific taco. Yeah, I want this corn tortilla. I mean, there is an art to the best street taco. Well, it looks like Taco Surf has mastered it and they captured have. the heart of my grom. A little cilantro, a little <laughs> onion, a little salsa verde. Yeah, so out there in Webland, we've got Zoe Kena in the driver's seat on this women's air show. 1500 uh, is the prize, along with an arm full of Fuwax. Big props to Jack Surfboards for upping the ante here at the Jack's Pro. It's a, formerly a 1000, now it's a 3000. Uptick in prize money and a massive launching pad for a WQS campaign into the 24-25. Whoa! Oh, yeah! Bella, that is what we are talking about. This okay. air show is on. Bella's like, yeah, Zoe, you know, I'll chuck a backhand air reverse. She wasn't going to roll over. There is no way Bella is going to roll over and say, yep. Take the 15 hundy, you know, but Bella is a master in the air. She's a great skater as well, so sure drawing pink off. Helmet pink helmet posse. Well, the OG pink helmet OG posse. OG pink helmet posse. I loved when I saw them doing that. I thought that was the coolest thing ever for Groms because usually it was just me and my brother. There weren't many girls skating uh, at Van Skate Park when I was a little kid, so to see all of them. They're such rippers, too, now. Oh, no, I'd hit up Kenworthy because my daughter was like, I want a skateboard. And I was like, hey, Jay, like, I want to buy a deck. He was like, no, I'll just ship you one. That's awesome. Just gave us one. That's so cool. Crazy. And that's how you inspire the Groms, you know, that little bit of a nudge, just a little skate deck, stokes them out. They feel special, hurt. Layla. Oh. Oh, no, I'm all weird. We have, like, this downslope in our alley. And I just make my kids form out, like, and, and like, ride the banks the up and that. down on the alley because it's downhill and we've got these, like, driveways. I'm like, you guys got to form out, form out. <laughs> <laughs> have to have the technique. I don't care how good you do in the water as long as you got good form. So, <laughs> so good. <laughs> so, back when we would walk, uh, everyone has their e-bikes now going to lowers, but we still walk to this day. But my dad, he had a Sector 9 where he'd park at Carl's, bomb down the hill, and he had me bomb down the hill. And they don't, they didn't have those flexi trucks back then. And that board I carve did like five turns, you know, that main hill. And the next thing you know, I'm too tired to turn the thing. I'm going straight down. End up judo rolling. Oh no! On the backpack. turn it uppers. P yeah. I've seen people yard sale that. Yeah, ended up turtling with my backpack stopping me, and it was it was gnarly. It was yeah, I had a good friend, uh, our good friend Harry. Uh, he yard sailed that, just hamburgered his toes on the curb. Ooh. You know the curb's that gritty, oh, like, yeah. gritty asphalt? Yeah, yeah, poor guy. Thankfully, my backpack, I think I was like 9 or 10 at the time. That thing was as big as me, so <laughs> it stopped my velocity, and <laughs> that was a good yard sale. All right, Wesley Santos jumping in for Clohan. Do you know he's going to save his bullets for the final? And uh, Wesley's going to have an opportunity at 1,500 and an arm full of foo. And uh, anybody out there, we're still here. We're going to be here for mm, about another hour and a half. We have champions to crown in the air show. Also, Jack's Pro presented by 805 champions, brand new champions, men's and women's. Zoe looking for the ramp. Um, there's deals going on. Get down here if you see that QR code. From Jacks, use your phone, get 20 off on jacksurfboards.com, or go to the flagship store Main Street.
multiple locations up and down the Southern California coast. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, they've been providing uh, your surf needs since 1957. Long time. Get Long out of time. town. It's incredible. So sick. And uh, do we have how much time's remaining in we my area? We don't have any it gauge like... on time, but I would imagine it's getting we near start the. Start at. It's getting to the pointy end. Yep. Bella looking for the ramp. Maybe she gets a little speedy inside section. I think on the backside air, she might have got a five. Oh, it might cup out right here. Look at this. She's running it. Click. Boom. Just not enough speed to yeah. go above the lip on that one. And the section wasn't really pushing back. Had a good little head of steam, but that section, yeah, it just didn't kind of ramp up for her. I'm trying to catch the beach commentary time. All right, look at Brett Simpson's, like, Santa Claus. I love it. Well done, Bretty. Hello. Okay, come on, looking for the ramp. It's cupping out, a lot of speed. Oh, nothing worse than just having a kick out. Yeah, we don't have any time. But um, let's see. We know that the men's is going to start at 125, but uh, we're way, way, we're way. We're a little behind. Yeah, we're a little behind. It's almost quarter to two. Yeah. But I'm so excited. I can't wait. It wait for the man to take the heat. Let's go. All right. There's Luke uh, Ginaldo, Wesley Santos. These guys are eyeing it up, and they surf out here all the time. So. Leave it to them to sniff out a ramp. And uh, Courtney, that is it. Done and dusted. Our it surfer is. in green is the U.S. Air Force Air Show champion presented by FUAX $1,500 Woo. and an armful of food. And it looks like it's going to Zoe. So yeah, local she's girl. Super stoked on that. There you go. All right. So uh, there's one champion down. We have three more to go. Men's Air Show Final. Wesley Santos, Dwight Pastrana, Luke Weiler, Alex Lima, Dylan Horde, Luke Ginaldo. Don't go anywhere. We'll bring it to you live after this break. surfing lifestyle that's developed, it's really the yoga lifestyle. You know, the purpose of yoga is obviously to, one, gain control of your mind. That's that meditative state of mind that the whole practice of yoga is trying to instill in you. Here we are. So now we're into the men's U.S. Air Force final. 
13-year-old Zoe kind of taking home $1,500. Out there now, Wesley Santos, Dwight Pastrana, Luke Weiler, Alex Lima, Dylan Horde, Luke Guinaldo. So one of these athletes taking home a bundle of food, $1,500. Look at Zoe kind of, I mean, I'm assuming that's probably some of the most money she's won in in one of these events. She did get a quarterfinals, which she made a little bundle. But 1500 bucks, some foo wax at the U.S. Air Force Air Show. And it just shows 13 years old, she's just on her way. Hold on. 1500 bucks? That's a lot of cake. Oh, no. Somebody won the one point whatever bazillion last night. Oh, they won the money. Somebody the, won. So yeah. they just they just trumped us, you know, the yeah. 1500 One ticket's all it takes. One. Change your life. How many months or how many weeks or months has it been since no one won and then they just, the money just keeps going up? Yep. Holy mackerel. Yeah, a couple big ones went down and people won. Well, Louis G, just, uh, you know, it looks like I'd be like, hello, Gold Coast. See you later, Seal Beach. <laughs> <laughs> just hit every spot, like straight to the Maldives. Where's Wellesley? Uh, he's got a little bungalow at the Maldives. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I just fall. I just chase the sun. Oh, man. Except I'd need to have to purchase a new back. I, think. I went to that place for the event, like Loi Fushi or one of the Pasta Point. And I'm like, man, this is hard to like get in the rhythm because it's just so nice. You're like, oh, I'm going to go to the breakfast buffet, and oh. you're there for a few hours. You're like, maybe I should go surf now. Just living large. Yeah, uh, Weiler. It's, it's good stuff. All right. Right out of the gates. Weiler's on the board. I mean, a little bit of a choppy, but he's, you know, what are they going to give him? Three, five, four points. He's in the lead. I haven't been, you know, I haven't been, didn't watch a ton. I saw Zoe get the 6-5, took the women's. Yeah, Bella had a moment, but I, it just didn't trump it. Here we go, Lima looking. So late night Lima. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could have been out at the bungalow all night, but he's ready to punt. Look at right there. What do you say? Nice whip. I mean, Man. the wave is knee high, if that. Three, 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 three point three, three. Yeah, judges are being safe. They know the guy. There's a lot more in the tank here, and I mean, it's just all about finding that cupped out little section and a bit of a ramp and just uh, hucking it. Santos is the Superman king. This guy can do some Supermans, but he's gonna need that big uh you know bigger section and today it's just i mean i think it's highly unlikely i'm, I'm calling lima's the danger man and bango he gets it oh with a little what but guinaldo oh almost so local luke g i like saying local luke <laughs> well we are in the men's Uf u.s air force air show and you will not see any of these kids up in the F-22 at the Pacific Air Show, but they're out in the water trying to get in the sky. Yeah. And I that, saw you guys walking last year. It was like a Saturday. I think I took the kids to the cliffs, and I saw you and Vaughn and Lenny walking from like 17th to get a check on the air show. Uh, <laughs> uh, was it this? Yeah, it was this last year. It's yeah, such yeah. a fun event. No, we hung out with Terry and Muggs. Oh, nice. At, uh, at, in their little zone. Right on the sand there? Yeah. Cool. But it was weird because um, every year I feel like it's dodgy weather. It is. It's like you get hazy. Got, like, yeah, you get weird rain. I know. But uh, it was on the lead up. It was super sunny the day before. And I'd gotten out of the water at Hun on Northside. And I was walking to my car, and they were doing practice yeah, That's laps. the best one. That's the best time. And Don't tell anyone. One of those, I don't know, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, it was one of the gnarly ones. Had done like a short version <laughs> trifecta hot lap. Just so they weren't doing the full big bank out over La Salle. They did like this three banger tight loop over like downtown hb boom out to the ocean thing will and, blow you oh no the rains. car alarms just mah, 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 all through the parking lot it was crazy and like kids you know little kids because they can't handle the noise out. holding their air right. just like <laughs> holding their ear like just imagine that thing coming after you and i'm yeah no i'm <laughs> like there's 
people in the world that get the bad end of that. Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> it's brutal. It's brutal. Yeah, it's a scary sight, but there, it gives me chicken skin when that thing comes up, does that little level out. It's just the things it can do at the speeds is uh, that guy in there just must, girl, whatever, just must have the craziest feel. Uh, I, I was, uh, so throw it back, uh, the Founders Cup, when I was working for Quickie, we were at the booth and these guys came up. And uh, I just chatting them up, and then they turned out to be the F-18 guys. Because there's a base right there. The, the guys that fly the F-18. So here I am, oh, next thing you know, you're having a couple of beers with people. And um, they were saying, like, uh, they were like, oh, no. This is the first time we've been inside the walls here. We were flying over this thing for, for ages. ages. And knew, you see them all day. Yeah, they knew something was coming. They're like, what are they building? All those guys are kind of surf dogs, too. It's pretty yeah. rad. Yeah, I think one of them was from Newport, North Carolina. They're all surf dogs. Yeah. They're like, they're going, next time you come here, you better call us. We'll yeah, pick you up. <laughs> I'm all, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> do a little flyby. Gosh, I want to do it. I want to do it. I don't want to pass out, though. I love seeing those videos. We're like, how you doing back there, Johnny? And they just, <laughs> just puke, just stuck to the thing. <laughs> I think Rezzy's done it, right? Yeah, Rezzy did. Whoa. Lima went to the sky, so he went for the F-18 fling out at the U.S. Air Force Air Show. Jack's Pro presented by 805. Also, Foo Wax. You've been a devout FUWAX user for oh, yeah. a long time, huh? Yeah, I, I, there was a stage where, you know, didn't end up doing it. That was okay right there, Luke. So he might, I'm going to say he's going to take the lead by a hair. Yeah. A little more off the top section, you know, uh, just a hair more critical in my eyes. Well, he had a real section. Um, like Weilers and Lima's were pretty small. Yeah. You know, they were sick, but it was just small. Yeah. You, Fuwax, it's, it's, uh, especially if you're competing and you just don't want any if, ands, or buts. The stuff is like, you can use just a little bit and it goes a mile. Yeah. That's, I think, for me, like being, I'm in my, geez, like 12th year with the Fu, is just trying to educate people how to use it. Use it. Yeah. And then once you get it dialed, it's like a bar will last. Oh, it's because, like, my father-in-law, like, Charlie, he's old school. He's like, dude, I put that on. I can't even, like, stand up. It's too sticky. I'm like, you just have to do, like, you. it's almost like if you're wearing booties, you just, if it was, like, cold, you almost want to go summer cool. Oh, no. You Ren know? You Ren go Reynolds goes warm in the winter. We, yeah. Because if you have booties on, <laughs> yeah, you, don't you need just to want, be like, base. Yeah. You just want to be stuck. Yeah. Where the stuff is like so ultra tacky, but what I love about it is it isn't like um, smudgy. Well, it is if you use too much. Yeah, if you layer too, if you like, put if you too go much too on. heavy, it will push. It'll smudge. You yeah. know, like kind of. Smear. But I just like like typically the grip with a nice base. We got Horde. He spins one. Oh, there we go. Guinaldo goes five eight three on the previous. We'll wait for Hordes, but yeah, you just don't want to slide around sometimes oh he goes shove it uh no the best story like <clears throat> i'm up at the cold water i've never met tiago perez yes, my yeah life, right he's hey wells he uh, tiago's making the final are you still up there yeah I just be there with them is back in the old quicksilver days and um so i was like hey tiago chad da, 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 da. oh yeah sick he looks at me and he's like Hey, do you have any wax that's sticky? I can't make wax work up here. Yeah. And I'm like, for real? And I'm like, what do you use? He's like, I use this stuff. I'm all, okay. I, well, it's funny that you even said that to me because I happen to have here something. There you go. So I flicked him a bar and told him, don't, I go, clean your board up, use some base, don't go bananas. So I show up the next morning. It's the day of the final. He's got a semi, I think, against like Adam Melling. And, um, I rock up, he's getting his jersey, and I look at his surfboard, and it looks like icing on a cake. And I was like, oh. He went overboard. I was like, oh, boy. Yeah. So then he rocks up, and he, I go, what were you thinking? He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm like, I said, go light. He's like, well, whatever. So a bar he, should last you like a month. So he goes out, and he, he ends up beating uh, Adam Melling. And he comes in, he's like, my first wave. I thought I was going to do a cartwheel because my jersey was stuck, stuck. to the deck. 
<laughs> and he's like at the, la- yeah. at, at the last minute it, it released and he, yeah it was insane. <laughs> All but just, time. Funny, just funny stuff you well, never used the food before you know another one if you're a competitor like anyone out there that's competing but if you wear a new wetsuit and you say you haven't worn it really and you don't have wax underneath like say it's on your belly slippy. oh my gosh you put your jersey on and you're like you feel like a fish out of water. You're just sliding around on your board. So you kind of got to get wax on your chest a little bit just so that jersey lays down. Just a little tricks of the trade. And if you watch Brother, Andy, all those guys over the years, Taj. Ooh, the old Corey Lopez. Lopey, top of the feet. Corey and Shay. Yeah. They were, they were kind of the ones to start it. Yeah. But you're down at any rock break, uh, even Santa Cruz, you're running over these like – like smudgy uh what is it clay it's almost like clay i've noticed it at the cliffs too because the the track exactly all the goat tracks your feet get that weird it's like clay and you get out there and you're like what is this yeah and that's when you have wax on the top of your feet you just kind of roll it over and then you know Mm -mm, mm -mm. get it going get it going but uh guinaldo Local Luke, whoa, they in the lead. Uh, yeah, and I mean, it was a, a little bit taller of a section. They didn't really like hordes. They went three six. It was he, that was it. The section yeah. where he launched for Luke was a little just more it was impact. just taller. Yeah. It stood up. It where, wasn't like he was coming into like some dying horde. Was coming into corner. a dying little mush burger and popped it. Get yourself down here, people. The finals are coming up next. Women's finals. Zoe Benedetto. Coming up against uh, who she got? Kira. Kira Pinkerton. So yeah. a couple. I I mean I'm gonna call these girls veterans now. Yeah. I mean they're both like 21 and 19. And they've been on the grind for a while. Forever. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it crazy? It's nuts. Yeah. It feels like they are veterans, but and I mean, they're uh, young. And then the men's, Luca Messinas and a couple uh, vets. And Kolohi and Dino. Couple vets. Two guys that have been on the world championship tour before. Yeah. I mean, I think Kolohi spent what, Ten years. a decade. Ten years, maybe even. Yeah. Probably and around a decade. Luca kind of was on and, and off. Yeah, you know? a couple years. But just, you know, obviously at that level, Luke looking around here. So this is your men's U.S. Air Force air show. We are at the Jacks Pro. We're winding this down. We are into the finals. Uh, Lima, dark horse. Oh, it's coming. Oh, he just headbutted the lip. No, I'm telling you, if he gets a ramp, it's done. I watch he, him. Out. No, he. Yeah. I watch him in free surfs out here, and He's he is just tail lane. tail whipping everywhere. I know. No pad too. Sometimes I'm like, oh my oh. gosh, Mason Ho style. I don't he's he's get a devout it. foo guy. Yeah. Well, that'll that'll help you. Well, Santos might have eyed something. Can he get under the ledge? He does. So he might have to go backside. Uh, he wants the what? shove. Hey, tricky, tricky. Well, he's going to at least get the 805 lounge fired up, you know, because <laughs> they like something tricky up there. They're looking for anything to just get excited. I love it. Well, score's coming in. I don't know. They're waiting. We're waiting for scores. I don't think just the criticalness on the shove. It's it's really have to be up off the top. Pretty flat, but hey, technical to say the least. Yeah, I mean that was crafty. It's like you try that, you could have your fin through your foot. Oh, I'd break my hip. <laughs> I'd break a hip. Little Weiler. He's not so little anymore. So Luke. Oh, he's got a section here. Oh, man. So not able to ride out there. And this is kind of, you know, what we were worrying a little about with the air shows that, you know, the the softness of the waves at the moment with this low tide. I mean, look at it. It's like New Key, f- New England. Key England. Like I know. 50 foot tide drop. Is that Vaughn Man fishing? No. Nah. Somebody else. They've already been prized out. He's like scavenging <laughs> for food. Now. They're maxed out. Grom is just like, Ka-ka! he's just seagulling. He's probably in the uh, judge's tower trying to just sift all the cookies and stuff from up there. <laughs> does, does anybody can eat this? All right. 
Local boy Luke in uh, in front still five eight three. I mean, we were a little late uh, on the scheduling, but I imagine thirty minutes for uh, this heat, we are gonna just go right into the women's and crown a women's champion, and then the men's. And Mr. Brett Simpson, we are done and dusted. We're just going to be relegated to the Crabs Bar with the grommets. Uh, oh, I'm so excited. This week. Is there South Swell? I know, like, so I was hanging with Felipe Toledo. He went down to Mexico to, uh, oh, gosh, just <laughs> guillotine somebody um, to the point. So uh, there must be some South Swell dabbling there. around. We may not see it, but it's uh, down there. Yeah, that's kind of, that's it. It might be a little overhead swell, but we won't really see it. We need some bigger ones. Yeah, Sean Collins told me always, he's like, May always holds one of the biggest souths of the year. May. And that kind of seems like it's always the kickoff for like Puerto Escondido, like those May swells. Early summer, there's always just a big, giant Southern Hemi in May. Okay. Bully, you idea? heard it here first. People. Any idea how much time left? Anybody? Somebody? All right. So court's thinking roughly in the 10-minute mark. Someone's walking away with a half a box of foo and what? 1,500 smackaroonies. Thank goodness I have you as a friend because I have foo. But... It is, uh, it's the real deal. Oh, no, I hold out on you all the time. I'm on that. I got a surf and sport and bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lima. <laughs> Lima. I'll t I just snag a bar when they're looking the other way. Like, Pesh, look over there. <laughs> Reader, no big deal. Could be Lukey. Okay, Luke. Can he find it? He's trying to set this thing up. He's in the lead right now. Ah. But that'd be a good payday for him. Huh? Oh, it'd be huge. He'd be psyching. Uh-oh, this is trouble, though. Pastrana. Oh, he was quiet the whole time. Wow. What do you think? Kind of a little sticky. I mean, I like the pop, but it, wa it wasn't like a... Um, I don't know. I'll let the judges work on this it. This guy's lethal at airs, too. So I'm so He's had a, lo a little tough time, but we do have scores coming in. I mean, it was like flypaper until the tail got up there. Yeah. Just a little bit of water on the deck, which might hamper the situation. Luke's was a little cleaner. But low tail to revert. We will wait and see. Scores coming in. Okay, so yeah, it's Mid not Mid-fours. But with Santos... He's not happy with it. Yeah, all the passion with no ramp. <laughs> would, it's like a Sano air show. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, though. Luke's good. Dude, someone's walking home with 15 hundo. Zoe kind of just took it. He might have taken this one too far, so he spins it. What? Which, you know, he pulled it off, but definitely not as good as his other one. I mean, yeah, I, I kind of pinpointed him or Alex and Wesley as a dark horse uh, for nailing one because they spend so much time out here. Well, Stampsy okay. said we should maybe go on a trip. He just said he just looked at the forecast, Barra, lining up. Oh, I chingalo. It's lining up all the way through the 22nd. Ay, yeah, yeah. I bet the bars just rule our edge. Isn't the first swells usually better? No. You know, uh, it's just I think it's how the, river, the sand river. lines up. We know just, all about the sand. It just depends where you go. Okay. Timmy Stamps out there watching the event. Thanks for the new boards, brother. I haven't really got to ride them just because I've been locked in this booth. <laughs> booth back. <laughs> booth back. Oh, oh no. Yeah, oh, but it's been good. The U.S. Air Show. We don't know how much time's left, but it is Luke Guinaldo currently holding on with that frontside air rev. 
So local Luke G. This would be a big one for him. Fifteen hundo. Pretty much gets you anywhere you want to go in the nation, mm -hmm. or definitely in the nation. Uh, Maybe. Former HB Ledge Kirk Tice uh, shot me one from the Pacific Northwest. You he's up. Me. He's up in Vancouver Island. Is he, is he in Vancouver Island? Maybe that's Oregon or somewhere. Yeah, I think it's like Oregon. I don't know, Kirk. If you're out there, tell us. But uh, you don't have to tell us. But the little sandbar looks yeah, fun. No, Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna leave it at the PN Dub. But yeah, he's got a a little grommet that's been on a tear. Yeah. Wow, well, Timmy. Oh, geez. Timmy's the cold water. He's warrior. telling me that. He's telling me that. But his wheels fell off on the way up there. I know. He got too cold and went warm on us. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm going to the tropics. I bought a boat. I sold everything. <laughs> Later. I'm doing a boat trip in the Caribbean. Pico oh, no. This could spell trouble. Oh, okay. I, hey. Oh, he did the walk-off. That's called the gator <laughs> walk in Florida. Yeah? That's the old gator walk. Sell it. Hey, West Coast, man. You could step on a stingray doing that. <laughs> you could be out for Just like sap. Double, double sting on both feet. So, I mean, the judges have their work cut out for them. There's Luke, a lucky spin. Luke had a taller section. I'm still, I still think we Look got scores. We're waiting on scores for Lima. Uh, this old lady's going to win a um, bar f a sticker. She's like, I got a bar base. I'm psyching. <laughs> I like that. I might. If I put that on my board, like, give me a little. Oh, Pastrani went for one, too. Well, we need a time check if you're out there, people. Yeah, I mean, we've got to be at the pointy end. Is this going to trump? No, I, I'm, still, I'm still seeing waiting for score. I see a front side four. I think, really? I, I thought Waiting. he got more air. He did get more pop. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Is it going to go better than 583? You get a bar, you get a sticker. Oh, what's that? You've been blackballed. No, you get a bar. <laughs> Here, what do you want? A bar? What do you got? Here's a bar of warm. It's going to do you a lot of good right now. No, no, no. I need cool. <laughs> she's like no i'm not surfing that i'll take the sticker no i just wanted to she just wanted to spin to win uh, give me the cool dude take yeah. that i want that picture of felipe she's like you got summer cool <laughs> <laughs> i love summer cool that's my favorite batch you know i don't know it's funny that, that means uh, the water's like at that temperature where it's just cozy i put it to those guys and said hey foo like we need a In the, we need a gap whack yeah right and then they put their nose to the grindstone and came back and was like, here, try this. And I was like, this is perfect because it's the in-between scene it, wax. You, it, that's like our whole life out here in the summer. Yeah. It's kind of in-between. I mean, my next challenge for them is to make a bargain. Lima did make the he jump. Did. He did. I knew oh, it. Oh, that's Heartbreak City. And we got a switch hitter right here. Yeah, my next challenge with those guys is to develop a bar that you can go start to finish with without base. Well, we got bars. Well, that so was we're doubling so up. What's the one on the right? Was that bait? That's or cold. Is, that's that's, that's my the cold. Favorite. Cold's legit. Well, use I less mean, of I it. I go cool. Even a, even 58 cool, and I'm just. Glue, oh, no, but no, you go cold. But is this use, who's this Wheeler? Use far less of it. Is that wheels? Yeah, he's like, man, I wheels. Ah, oh, you got hose. Oh, we got a sticker. Ah, uh, he's on the former. Yeah, sticker. Well, we did have a change. Lima six point three. There you go. Jumps into the lead. Yeah, ooh, fifteen hundred. We could have a riot down here. Oh man, he's got his uh, arms halfway around that foo box. Click. Ah, uh, and take that. <laughs> what's the? Let's see a little replay. We gotta shove it again. What about Orange's score? Five eight three. Any replays there? This guy, Wesley. And then he goes switch hitter. That was sick. Bang. People don't understand. That's so hard. I can't even stand up that way. <laughs> Just all <laughs> twisted. You're like, why is uh 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 shimmy shimmy? <laughs> what is going on? 
Oh, so good. Meanwhile, like Gabriel Medina does pop. He, him and Italo are like next level a on joke. Switch, huh? They'd make it through the challengers <laughs> on Switch. They are uh, so gnarly. Why is he in the challenger? He's going to surf the whole season. He's going to surf but... at Switch. At least the first four <laughs> events, I'll go Switch, and then I'll switch it over in the back half. So it sounds like what three minutes remaining. So this thing's almost in the history. Oh, book. we had a horde. Oh, we. Wait, Ford what? gets a 6-2. Oh, what did we miss? I don't know, but it's a tight one, you guys. So did he overtake? Yeah, he, no, he didn't. Ah. Alex Lima still in the lead. Looks like Von Man has a shirt change. He oh. might have stole a couple shirts. Von Man went collared shirt billabong. Pop the collar. Oh, you won the scavenger hunt? No. I... Oh, daughter got a new hoodie? My kids are on an absolute... Swag heater, and that's what I've been telling you guys. Get down here, whether it's you or your kids. We only got a couple. We only got about 50 minutes left. It's almost done and dusted, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I mean, well, it's a clearance sale now in, in Swagtown. <laughs> like, the marketing people don't want to lug that stuff uh, home. A lot of them look like they might be out, but it has sure... How much time do you think Santos looking... 2.30. 2.30. 2.30 on the clock. Lima doing the number on the crew here at the Men's U.S. Air, Sh Air Force Air Show presented by Fuwax. Shamalama Ding Dong. It is almost finals time for the women's. Yeah, ladies first. Men's We'll second. be bringing in. Courtney Conlog next. We yeah. got under two minutes. L women's final next. Zoe Benedetto, Kira Pinkerton. Who are you liking? I think in these conditions, I'm leaning towards Zoe. It's, uh, you know, very Stewart Beach, quick on the feet. Kira's going to have to maybe change the game plan a little bit and really focus on quality waves. Horde. So throws the old shove it. Yeah, I mean, I'll uh, I, I'll side on the I'll take a camp Kira. Okay. Just because you went camp Zoe. Okay. And uh, I'll back our California based okay. finalist. Okay. You know, second generation professional surfer, dad Jim, pro from uh, what the 90s. Yep. Jim's an absolute hammer of a, a goofy foot. So you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna back our uh, our Cali girl here. I wasn't really I picking, but I was just saying the conditions might lead towards like. Oh yeah, no, it is grind off. But I think it leans a little towards Zoe. Just these smaller, linkier kind of maneuvers. Yeah, it's the all American grind off right now. It, it is. is. It's a uh, dead. It's the tides. But super, super low. That's why they say that's why we play the game. Pastrana, this is his last chance right here. And gosh, this guy just didn't get the chance because he can actually fling into the wind in Puerto yeah. Rico. Yeah, he, know, crazy he knows play. how to do it. He did it in his heat. Here it is. That's what got him qualified. Santos, last ditch, last chance you. Goes for the spin. Wesley, oh, oh. came on stock. Luke. So All looking right. like Alex Lima going to pocket an absolute bag. Mm. Kind of, yeah. I mean, well, team... I just knew like the local HB guys that are spending time, Wes, Alex, and Luke, they're going to be deadly out here because they've just, I mean, this is what they do in their sleep. There it is. You know? Ka-ching. He did get the most lot like explosion through the turn. Almost lost it, and then just does the old gator walk out the back. <laughs> like I pulled it, I swear. So Team HB via Brazil, winning fifteen hundred dollars for Lima. Oh yeah, HB Janeiro. Holy mackerel, and some food, which he already probably has a bundle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's been hanging in the food tent. Uh, I'm checking out every day. It's up to Courtney Catalog to, to to get us home tonight. Yep, don't go anywhere. Alex Lima taking the W in the men's U.S. Air Force Air Show presented by Fuwax. 
we have the Jax Pro Women's Final presented by the by 805 Beer coming up next. And uh, we'll bring you live action, myself and Courtney Conlog. Don't touch that dial. Welcome to Huntington Beach, California. I'm Kelly Miller, President and CEO of Visit Huntington Beach. Known as Surf City USA, Huntington Beach boasts 10 miles of coastline and the most consistent waves on the West Coast. Huntington Beach has it all with endless summer weather, year-round events, outdoor activities, and oceanfront resorts and spas. So get ready to be inspired, be connected, and be here. Huntington Beach. Plan your visit at surfcityusa.com. And we are back for finals with Zoe Benedetto and Kira Pinkerton. See Alex Lima there, just won the air show. He's stoked. He was getting cheered up the beach. I love it. And they dropped him. <laughs> oh, just straight to the food tent. Yeah, yeah, ching, 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 ching. A bunch of wax and 1500 bucks. Get it. I think that one, what is his name? Thank you. Come again. Oh, that's classic. <laughs> All right, here we go. The stage is set. This is the women's final in red. Miss Zoe Benedetto hailing from the East Coast here of America. And in blue, Miss Kira Pinkerton right down the road from San Clemente. They are set to do battle. And it is a 30-minute final. Top two taking the win. 3,000 points. I mean, our sheet says 95 hundo. The official WSL says eight Gs. Whatever the case is, <laughs> it's probably after taxes. <laughs> yeah, they're walking with they're walking with some coins. So Either that's way, all we know. It helps them working their way towards the challenger. You know, the cost of travel and all the process of achieving, gaining momentum into that's it. the challenger onto the tour. We all know everything costs a little bit. So really happy for. Zoe and Kira, they achieved getting into this final. They have been on point this whole event. So let's see who ends up taking the big win. Well, it's a new champion here at the Jax Pro. So whoever uh, takes the W or is going to have their name etched on the perpetual trophy. Yeah, I saw that trophy. It's really cool. It Kind of remind me of, you know, the fact that they do that with the bell. And I always thought it was really cool seeing the previous winners be alongside them. And a lot of the champions here have done very well for themselves. You too. rang that thing, right? 
the bell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah a few times. A few times. See, <laughs> Courtney's in it. She, she, she's a gamer. I just love the sound of that bell. And to be able to hold it over your head, it's pretty heavy, that bell, too. And ring it is. So if you know, go full super- Tom Kern style, it's just out in the backyard in the corner. Is it up on the mantle? Where do you got it? I have all three bells alongside each other on the mantle. And it's funny because most trophies actually get put in the garage where I came and see them. But I have that one, those three out, my Fiji one. Ooh. And my Margaret River trophies because those are works of art. They're blown glass. They're beautiful. Love it. They're a piece, they're, they deserve to be on display just because the craftsmen that created them. Should have your uh, front door as a, one of the bells. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> I remember one Thanksgiving, I actually, I rarely actually ring the bell. That's a funny thing, but. One Thanksgiving after my first spell, I rang it, and I was like, oh, that's Dinner. kind of funny. Dinner's ready. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny, but it was a lot of fun. It's a lot of work to gain one of those bells, and definitely to be alongside those past champions is really cool. That's a prestige and an honor. Yeah. Um, okay, 27 minutes remaining. And who will draw first blood? Kira taking a look. Not going. Here we go, Courtney. Zoe. Zoe. Pulling the trigger, getting the first wave of this final. A nice carve to start things off. Cuddy, just flowing, getting her feet in the wax in this final. She's very familiar with finals, and she'll be out of that first one. Well, I mean, at this stage in the ball game here, um, you're in the final, you're in the pointy end. Conditions have greatly deteriorated kind of and just shrank with the tide yeah so i mean so here's a replay she ended up bringing a 3.5 yeah you're kind of like i mean you got to throw it at the wall and see what sticks like what kind of total is going to be a winning total out here is maybe someone plucks the eyes out of a gem maybe someone does you know it's like we don't know. It's like we need Mother Nature to spit one out and just give them opportunity. For sure. Hopefully in this next 25 minutes we get a few exchanges, some opportunities so both these ladies can hash it out. Yeah, I'm just reading a couple text. <laughs> A little lull in the action. We have still about 30 minutes till a dead low. And when that happens, sometimes with those dead low tides, things could well, slow down. And yesterday, more. and yesterday, though, we saw like the weird south at the end of the afternoon. All of a sudden, like there were these kind of like shoulder high sets and on the low. And I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. But and I think there is some underlying south still. We haven't gone to White Cap Town. There's still a chance. Fingers crossed. You know, we still have this heat and the next final for the men. So, <laughs> are you looking at the video of Lima? Yeah. Classic. Alan Burke sent this to me. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm looking at, though, but. Um, I'm sure that's going to be all over <laughs> the internet <laughs> later. Sticks the biggest air, getting charged, chaired up the beach. <laughs> I don't know. It was all slow mo, so I, I don't know what's going on. But whatever uh, the case is, Alex Lima is your Jax U.S. Air Force Air Show men's champion, walking away with 15 hundo and uh, a bunch of foo. But enough of that. That's in the history books. This is what it's all about. Zoe Benedetto, 3.5. Single score, I mean, slow goings here at the beginning of this uh, women's final. But one of these girls is going to walk away with the title, 3,000 points, and a bunch of cash. Yep. And uh, bragging bragging rights. Bragging rights. It's always nice to get a W here at Southside Huntington, you know, with the Open, a part of the Challenger Series, too. It's a great way to establish yourself, gain some experience, um, and rack up some points as well so but yeah 23 30 on the clock see a couple lines coming through at the moment looks like zoe's sitting a little further inside of kira 
and um, just yeah, the tide's definitely slowing things down. And you know, it's heat. it's like uh, Brett said it earlier. You know, we're 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 on a running tide. It's running out, and it's kind of battling a pretty pretty little Mr. Limpet swell. It's just limping along. <laughs> and uh, I mean, he's got his uh, he's bank rolling on Zoe here. It's his team rider. She's very well versed in surfing the gutless slop of the small days in Florida. So a lot of experience from Zoe and small surf and every day's a good day <laughs> over here for there. You sure. Know. I know, you know, it's funny though. Like I forget who I was having this combo with. I'm like, you know, Oh, it was at dinner. I was with the WSL's Andrew Nichols and uh, Dylan McDonald. Dylan does uh, the computer scoring and um, Andrew is the media manager and we were having dinner and, a couple of brewskis and we were just chatting. I would kind of said, you know, the East coast when it's really good has more epic days than the West coast because I feel like that's true. I actually right? agree. Like when you see these photos of Jersey and I'm like, gosh, if it's, if it's over five feet, it's like it's offshore and draining going off. And if it was like that at home, actually over five feet maybe not crowded <laughs> right, yeah right the adult learner the adult learner's got to take a break yeah but, um yeah i'm like you know what and, and when it is that good over here i always feel like it's a short-lived affair it is it's usually like maybe an evening or a day hopefully we have clean conditions when the swell comes right a lot of the times lately we've been having those winds with the swell so um yeah well, it you're be... you're, you're hard-pressed to get an offshore all-day affair in California without it either turning or shrinking the surf. Yep, usually it blows the swell away. <laughs> Where, like, in the East Coast, it's just like, wait, it was good all You get day? a little bit of both, yeah. So, I don't know. I could be wrong, but uh, whatever. Jersey's got the juice. Jersey does. Jersey does. I've Even had some, New York has some incredible oh, waves, too. I, I scored some waves in New York. Same, same, same. Like, a lot of barrels, almost like a little Hazegor-ish. Just like, like crazy eight, sick ones. A-frame barrels, you're just backdooring the section, pulling in, just getting shack spat out. Yeah, yeah, I was recanting my story to the boys uh, to, to reiterate that fact um, it, over dinner that... Way back when, when I, I judged, it was still ASP back then, and I had done a few years on uh, the domestic tour, and we were there for the Heritage Pro. Comp hadn't started yet. I was like, had brought a board. Hey, Brian, you know, I want to go surf with you, and he just was so over me. He's just like, uh, you want to surf? Be in front of my garage at like 5:59 or whatever he said. <laughs> And it was the year, it was one of those years, it was like 2000, whatever, and it was one of the first um, hurricanes had grounded that far up, and I remember it knocked the eaves off the shop, and uh, we woke up, and I remember being at the garage door, I'm like frothing, going, it's going to be pumping, it's, I'm going to be there, and he, he opened the garage door, and he was just so just bummed that I was there, like, oh, I got to deal with this, ma- like, oh, I, I got to deal with this maggot, <laughs> and um and we, oh. he drove me around. We didn't get out of our suit. Three different sessions, and we scored at every beach. Wow. But we were buddies by the end, though. All day surf. <laughs> Those are the best. And it looks like Kira getting the ball rolling on this ride. So that's going to help. I mean, she's got to start the campaign. You have right? to start somewhere. And the best thing to do is put something on the board, whether it's a three or a four. Just get the ball rolling. You have to. If it's a nine, you're psyched. <laughs> I mean, I don't think priority is a big factor this at this early stage in the game. Um, Zoe's got a pair of uh, scores, a two, six, seven, a three, five. I Kira see. throws the wrap, but you know, just I mean, it's you you can see it on the screen. It's not easy. This is a uh, super grindy conditions. It's very grindy, but I feel like this event has given s- such a variety. Full oh, it's given us the whole the whole bag of conditions, you know. Yeah. So, um, the only thing the priority will affect having the pick of the litter when the waves do come through. If a good one does come, I doubt there's going to be two, three good waves in a set on a day like today with the dying swell in the evening with the dead low tide. So, 
That is the only advantage to have priority, not have to kind of sit in and down from the other competitor. But with that being said, sometimes having that second priority gives you freedom to roam yeah. and shark around. Yeah, so Kira 433, right now, single highest wave score of this final. Um, I mean, can she build on it? That is the hope. Can Zoe Benedetto find another one? We're down to just under 18 minutes. And one of these girls walking away with 3,000 points. Second place, uh, 2,430. Still a good start, you know. And West Coast, we have a, 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 a sea of 1,000s and then a 3,000 in Pismo. And then the big banger, 5,000 um, in Barbados that caps off the season. That's the bookend to it. So this, these are huge points. This is yeah. massive right here. It is. And, you know, there's always that gap with the points and the prize purse. And there's this book, uh, 212 Degrees, and it talks about that separation of points between first, second, and prize purse. And it's crazy how it compounds over a season. So getting the W here does help anyone's cause. Being in second is always a positive, but there's a huge incentive to take the win in this final. Yeah, like I would have to go back and scour the the rankings and the point totals, but for the women, they take four. So if you've got to be in that top four to get it. Yeah. yeah. It's a small group, you know. Even on the tour, there's only 18 women. But uh, going back to like thinking about going and scouring the points, I wonder what the cutoff was. Yeah. You know, yeah. what's the cutoff? What's the target number? What's that bullseye that you're searching for? Yeah. And I mean, because at this stage, you know, they're looking like I need to be above whatever 18,000 or whatever the point total is. Right. Like you're trying to just get to that zone. Yeah. Good definitely. results will get you there. Um, but yeah. Yeah. A win at the 5,000 is massive. For me, I always uh, looked at if I was winning, I knew I was in the right direction. So kept it kind of simple for myself and found, uh, you know, put the math to the side, just win heats and keep it simple, two waves every heat. Um, and, yeah, it looks like Kira, she has the best score of this heat, 4-3-3. Still... A lot of time lies ahead. A lot can happen in 15 minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah, I mean, it's it's rough sailing out here. It's, uh, you know, small swells in the water, a, a combination of this tiny south and wind swell. And uh, the negative tide's not doing it any favors. We are lucky in the sense that the wind never, like, went bananas. So that is the plus. We just need opportunity. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Mother Nature, as the, as the Aussies call it. Let's go, Huey. I think you're actually willing a little bit of a wave here for Kira. I let's like see it. see what happens. I like it. Let's go. Okay, Mr. Wellesie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Here's Call another one. set. Look at that. Can you be my commentator anytime I surf another heat? Yeah, right? I just rub <laughs> the crystal ball. Just, just be like, Set for All right, Kira sets it up, running through that section. Quick little tap, zap right there. Hits the turn, looking for just any kind of face to just throw it up into and bang. So okay. she's, hey, she's going to add to it that, and go to the lead. She will definitely take the lead. And that wave was gutless. And what she did on it was awesome for today. So let's check out this replay. A little snap to get things started. It is looking like Virginia Beach out here. Well, it's, hey, it's a combination of skill and magic board. It is. Meets opportunity. Yeah, when you have that board that allows you to glide through these gutless sec sections and, like, link your turns, it always makes it a little bit easier when that swell tapers. Yeah, and I mean, hey, Matt Biolis, he's got a pair of uh, surfers here in the final, so. He does. Matt, if you're out there, hope you're doing well. Hope you're watching. Hope you're entertained. And if you are down here, be sure to run around these booths. I keep seeing Groms bringing free gear. They are stoked. They are doing. Oh, I think my my daughter got me a new golf towel. You have a oh yeah, a loose <laughs> golf towel. Got a little Vans bag, a little loose golf towel. It's all happening. That's She's good. got Lennox has a new sweatshirt as well. 
Yeah. I got it. Beat it. <laughs> Lennox is psyche and right Oh, no, now. my daughter's on the froth. Yeah. She's so amped. She is so fired up. She's got the cutest little Billabong sweatshirt. They're yeah. looking for mammals. Oh, I'm um, telling you. I guess you. they're doing like a little search down the beach. Yeah, no, they did a beach cleanup and yeah, the they did a treasure mammals. hunt. They so chip cool. they chip balls at the jacks activation. I mean, it it's crazy. Like Ronnie Nelson said, he's like, My daughter walked away with like three hundred bucks worth of <laughs> stuff. Like she's in what over the day. moon. We should have been out there scavenging a little bit. I don't need to. Yeah, you have the Groms do it. <laughs> so Kira dropping a 3.1 on that last ride. She def, I mean a 4.1. Okay. 4.1. So there we go. Yeah. Up, ups the ante. Ups it a little bit. So uh, she had to earn that. 4.93 required for Zoe Benedetto to overtake first. I mean, it's the battle of the small scores. Are really, I mean, we've been watching. And there hasn't been anything that's hit the lineup where, like, oh, that's a six. Yeah. You know? So they're just on the hunt and being patient and just waiting. Obviously, we know Zoe's got Simo in her corner. So, I mean, that's uh, I mean that's just an unfair advantage in itself because Ryan Simmons is the, just an absolute Yoda when it comes to competitive surfing. <laughs> U.S. team coach, gold medal winner. Almost made qualified a couple times, U.S. champ. I mean, his Ryan, he's one of my best friends. Absolute hammer when yeah. it comes and to competitive surfing. And his approach with coaching, too, is very zen and positive vibes. He always wants you to go out there feeling loose, feeling free. No stress and burden on that jersey. So, Zoe, I'm sure she went out there feeling good. You ever hear the TTTS? Too thin, too small? <laughs> I mean, I know I had that guidance where he's like, Court, your boards are way too small. FYF, foam is your friend. Yeah, he took me <laughs> to Ryan Sakel. He's like, hey, I want you to try these boards out. Let's get you a board shaped. And that was when I was in a growth spurt where I grew like six inches in a year. So Jeez. every time I was getting my boards, yeah, I went from like five feet to five, six in like the span of a year. So um <laughs> have Lennox here on her side just watching the <laughs> oh, heavy. Ronnie's sending me a shot of what his daughter pulled down. Whoa. It looks like a surf shop. <laughs> looks like he could open a surf shop for sure. <laughs> uh, it that is unbelievable. The loose towel, some van stuff, mayhem stickers, some fingerboards. Little tech deck? What? I mean there's a, a Jack's Pro hat. A tea, some foo stickers, some bars of wax from Sunbum. It looks like a deck of cards from Vans. What an epic day at the beach. A couple them. like uh, eco-friendly like shopping bags. What is this? Some slow tide action. Holy mackerel. Talk about cleaning house. They scored. What a day for those groms. He's like, kids are so lucky these days. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> He's like, we got stickers. I think I only got stickers. Stickers when... and posters, right, when we were groms. And they color your hair. I remember my brother ended up having some uh, blue hair at the Switchfoot Bro-Am. Oh, the Switchfoot Bro-Am? Yeah, yeah he, they colored his hair blue and came back looking like a Smurf. All right, so nine and a half. We are in the throes of battle here at the Jacks Pro Women's WQS 3000, presented by 805 Beer. I am Chad Wells. Next to me, Miss Courtney Conlog. And the, I mean, it's been a heck of an event. Yeah, it has. It's been an incredible event. We are coming down to the champions right now. It, we started the action Thursday. Went through some weather. Some hail at Seal Beach and rain here. Oh, my gosh. It was gnarly. Like, day one was just the ultimate grind off. It was super small. Then it went, like, straight crazy wind swell with the crazy weather. And then yesterday it was kind of buttered up and got good. And then today is kind of finishing off with another Great American grind off. <laughs> yep. And we're going to see uh, some great American grind off with uh, our two Americans here and a Peruvian 
and local boy from San Clemente, Chloe and Dino up next. Luca Messinas from Peru, Chloe and Dino. That is your men's final here at the 3000. I mean, look at these drone views. It's ridiculous. It's such a great day. There's brother right there getting the getting, getting the black sheep ready. Getting the foo on. He's been a big foo wax proponent for a long time. Doing out wax in that traction. He's putting a lot of wax on there. Just saying. <laughs> hey, you don't want to slip. No, you don't. I love how he did the splatter on the bottom. Love doing that. Just a little wax in the feet. I always did that. I'd always wax the top of my feet. So when I got out there, I just rub my bottom of my feet on the top. 40, and make sure I don't have any go. slippery stuff remaining. Right. Do you have a little wave board that you just ride and you know every time you set foot on yep. it, you just have fun? My little hobby. The hobby? The habanero. I feel like that's what Kolohe's got in, in this rad ripper. It's like he just has so much fun on it that he knows he can stand up and just go to town. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He, he looks like he's pretty psyched to get out there, too. His froth, he's still a grom at heart. And I mean, in that, it, it inadvertently equals confidence, you Definitely. know? So, Kolohe coming up next. Luca Messinas, the Peruvian. He is no stranger Coming off a massive win in Barbados, qualified for the Challenger Series. I think I'm, I'm not mistaken. I mean, he's also qualified for the Olympics because he's had just crazy runs in like those weird ISA and Pan Am games and and all that stuff. Like he is a vet competitor. All right, here we see low tide. Look at oh. these lumps. Look at this out the back under the buoy. It's all happening. It's actually right on the turn. Oh yeah. Pretty soon here, so. Woo. So what was it? Three, three o'clock. Three o'clock. Should turn. Hopefully for the men's final, they get some waves. Kira. Kira. Trying to just extend this lead. It's working through the inside. See what that score comes in as. Right. Hmm. I gotta wet me tonsils. Hello. <laughs> so Kira, Kira starting it off with a nice little snap. Bang. Nice finish there. Well, you know, I she's just... in form. You know, for the size of the waves right now, she's looking really solid. Definitely looking like she's on her way to a replacement. Yep, a five point five for that last ride and. Here we see Zoe. All right, tightening up the lead here, putting the pressure on Benedetto. Zap right yeah. there. That is that small wave flare as she cuts it back. Just staying next to the energy. She knows she needs that finish and just tops it off with a nice little smack on the end section. You know, just trying to eclipse these low scores in her score line. 3.5 the highest, 2.67 is the throwaway. I mean, the, a low-scoring affair. 5-5 five, five is your uh, current uh, single high score that Kira just dropped, and that's with her uh, low of a 4-3-3. Three, three. So, I mean, it's been the battle of uh, the fours, you know. So, Zoe, just trying to just get out of this three range. Are the judges going to reward that? Is this going to be her best? Will she improve? She needs a 6-3-3. Three, three. That was a nice first turn. She might replace one of these scores, definitely. Um, obviously, she's looking for the win in this moment. And uh, the 3-5, I think. Hey, look I think at the score. Yeah, 4.5. So that makes the situation a little better for Zoe. Looking for now only a 5-3-4. I mean, both Very of these, attainable score. Both of these girls look like they're on magic surfboards. The board, I mean, the fact that it's it is what it is, and they're grinding and groveling so well. Yeah. Hats off to Matt Biolas and the Lost Crew. Um, they also have another surfer in Chloe and Dino coming up next. And I forget what was um. He has three of the four finalists. Yeah. Huh? What was Luca Luca on? I forget. What is it? Sharp Eye? Yeah. Sharp Eye. I mean, that board looks insane, too. Sharp Eye, they do. He does make some incredible small wave boards, you yeah. know? Yeah. Marcio Zuvi, he's, got, he's, he's a gamer, current world champ. Yeah. Felipe Toledo rides one. 
<laughs> that he does. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Comp director giving wagging his finger at us. Just in case you're wondering why the great final state yeah, down here. Just in case you're wondering why the commentary was so amazing, we've been uh, able to keep ourselves hydrated. Two fifty remaining. There's a nonstop flow of water up top. Got to keep the tonsils wet here. Two forty remaining, and Pinkerton doing the number here. Crushing will, it. Will she walk away as champion, or will Benedetto? get an opportunity that is the question well and two and a half minutes is going to decide that yeah two and a half minutes on the clock zoe does have a four five the task is only a five three four so it's not a out of reach task no you know? it's very much in her wheelhouse she's looking solid this whole event would love to see both of them get a opportunity to just bat it out on this last exchange right so court i know you're going to jump out we're going to bring brett in for the men's um yep any highlights you recollect on in our week together for the jack so Club? many i mean i really enjoyed watching kolohe and his performance out here this whole event i feel like he has a fire in him right now he's super passionate alan what he did as well and then these two women right now, Zoe and Kira, they have put on a show this whole event and um, seeing Zoe in the air show, what she was doing was awesome. Zoe Kaina. Kaina. Yeah, that's, that's a glimpse into the future. It is. And, you know, she's only a, around like 14 years old, I believe. So to see her where she's at right now, she's on her way. And yeah, the... The performances this week have been substantial, and uh, they've definitely been tested in a variety of conditions. I like it. I like it. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not far off uh, from where you're at. You know, Kolohe and Dino has been a joy to watch all all event. Owen Moss is super super impressive. Luca Messinas. I mean, these guys have put on great performances. What Al Cleland did, jeez, yeah. he's just an absolute hammer. So many great performances happening. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, hats off to the Jacks crew. They have delivered professional surfing on a platter here, rallied the industry, come down. This vendor village and even the non-endemic brands that are gracing the sands today and all week, have been amazing. If you were um, lucky enough to be able to come down in a in the local capacity or even make the drive, it was well worth it. Definitely. Um, and on top of that, all the brands that are here just supporting this event. It is their seventh year running, having this Jacks Pro, and we see Kira closing out this heat, coming unglued, but she is the champ wow. of the Jacks Pro. Congrats, Kira. We are so stoked for you. See Zoe out the back just washing off. But she should be coming in feeling great on this result in second place. Yeah, you heard it, ladies and gentlemen. That is uh, done and dusted. Kira Pinkerton taking the win over Zoe Benedetto. 3,000 points. Our sheet says $9,500 and a brand new Jax Women's Pro Champ. Don't go anywhere. Men's final coming up next. <laughs> that smile.
fight the battles no one hears about. We drop into the middle of firefights to rescue others. And act as one-man air traffic control towers. We're the ones who go before all others. Join the fight. Welcome back. This is live action here in Huntington Beach, the south side of HB Pier. This is the Jax Pro Men's WQS 3000 presented by 805. For all the marbles, Mr. Brett Simpson, Kolohe Andino versus have, Luca Messinas. I didn't have my mic on, but no, we didn't. do. Two, in, two of probably the most informed surfers this event. We just saw Kira Pinkerton take out the win over Zoe Benedetto. So those two girls starting off the 24-25 season pretty darn well. well. I backed the Cali girl. Got the You were right. Win. You got it. You got a case of 805. <laughs> Courtesy of Brett. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. uh, yeah, that was a, it was a grindy little heat. These conditions, you know, you're in the final it has deteriorated. Kolohe sees something. He ain't going to waste no time. Here it is. Nice snap there. If you, you know, I feel like on the gravel level, you know, in these waves, I'm going to give Kolohe the nod. But in picking, you know, dialing in some waves, you got to kind of, you know, Luca has been on point. Oh, no. He is the dial bomb X factor. <laughs> And uh, I think I'm going to side with you on this one on the grind off uh, with Kolohe. Yeah, he, he just he, he can tic-tac around lighter on the feet in some smaller waves. But uh, Luca, you know, it's always going to come down to what you ride. Right. Well, we have a new women's uh, Jax Pro champion, Miss Kira Pinkerton. Kira. Hello. I mean, talk to us. What does a win here today mean to you? Um, in a heat like that, I was kind of just stressed the whole time. I know Zoe could e easily gotten the score, so I kept saying, like, I don't want to win like this, and then, honestly, I think that's the best way to win when you're just full stress mode, and it works out for you. All right. Well, I see the celebrations having, uh... Yes. You're already <laughs> ready to it. Well, Kira, <laughs> Huntington Beach has given you some big wins in your career, and this one, a QS3000, where does it kind of rank amongst, amongst all of them? Um, this one's definitely probably like my second or third. I think obviously a world title's going to stay up on top, but Huntington seems to be pretty nice to me. I've gotten a few wins here now and I'm pretty stoked. This is my first Jack's win and perfect way to go into snapper. I'm pretty confident right now. Well, your name is going to be etched into the perpetual trophy as a women's champion. Now you've <laughs> your uh, neighbor, Sawyer Limblad, bang, bang. She went one, two. Now you are the current champ congratulations i mean i'm just kind of speechless because we've kind of made it to the end and uh it's so good to see us crown a champion yeah thank you guys so much for this whole event i'm super happy to be down here and i had the best support crew this year i think that's why i did good because i just had full help with me the whole time and i feel like i'm in a good headspace well let's break it out have the moment thank your people yeah thank you kiana miller she's been staying with me and she is like my sister, she helps me with everything. We get in little arguments, but it keeps us pretty uh, 
Keeps you grounded. Keeps us grounded. (laughs) (laughs) My friend Ellie and Alyssa Smith and my dad's here with his friends and um, my dad's brother. I don't know. The whole crew. Thank you, guys. (laughs) Well, enjoy some 805s together. And uh, we are proud of you, Kira. We look forward to cheering you on on the Challenger Series and, uh, you know, enjoy this win as you should. Thank you so much, you guys. All right. And there you go. Miss Kira Pinkerton taking the win here at the Jacks Pro Women's 3000 presented by 805 9.83 points over runner-up Zoe Benedetto's 8 points. So kind of a low-scoring affair, but it was but a it, winner's a winner. When it comes down to that, you know what when you're paddling out, you know, you we were talking earlier lower the expectations, ride waves, Kira did just that and and just a hair better. Zoe waited a little too long to 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 change it up and that kind of you know Kira found the waves and and surfed yeah, well on the yeah. waves she had yeah I mean you're right lower the expectation and just ride waves she did it and she is the champ yeah. there you go I mean huge points no, I mean yeah 2024 20, 25 she's in the lead 3000 and like she said she's confident and that that confidence going to a place she knows well snapper rocks. I was there. I got to witness her, you know, in January at the Usher Cup, and she was just dominating. Well, and beware the injured surfer. She was injured and performed like an absolute champ. Yeah, she's, uh, you know. Oh, there's Dad. Trying and true. Yeah, there's Jim. Till later. And the crew. Hopefully she gets to keep that jersey. I'm sure she will. She'll have to put it on a little bit at the all the awards ceremony. But, uh, yeah, what an event. Kira Pinkerton back on top right here in Huntington Beach. Yeah, come on, companies. Find some dollars. This girl is not sponsored. I know. Get her some support. She's going to go out there and battle the world. Let's do it. She is, you know, she need what the focus needs to turn to, obviously, this Challenger Series. Because if she can get to the world tour... Her surfing fits the criteria Uh, big time. Big turns. Big turns. You know, the waves uh, excel there. Bigger waves. She's she's fearless. You know, and bigger surf, she's pretty fearless. And her power surfing is she could she'll be able to, you know, battle anyone in that top five, ten, fifteen on tour. Okay, look at this wind chip kind of pushing towards the pier. I mean, there's some energy out there. It is, it is, uh, you know, deteriorated, dead low tide. I mean, is it on the? Yeah, I mean, we are always, we're on the dead low. It is a negative 0.3, and we are in men's final uh, action here. Chloe Andino, 3.33 and a three. This has him in the lead. Luca waiting for a wave. And uh, yeah, you know, we're just kind of doing it. I mean, Brett, we've made it to the end. Well, she does have support. I mean, she's got the 805, you know, and uh, that'll be good for her going into the old tour. Yeah. So, I mean, okay, wait, hold the phone. Messinas stomps into this one. Eh. Eh. It's going to be tough for Messinas in this. He's going to have to be the patient one, and he's going to have to kind of connect into the better waves because I think Brother's going to build. He's hungry. I see a little set coming this way. He's digging deep. Got to be light on the feet. Got to catch these waves right in the perfect time. Perfect section. Here he goes. Just kind of, as he would say, chiveling around as the 2% crew says. But looking like T Street, you know. But, you know, Luca surfs out here a lot. I think, you know, he spent a lot of time in the States and uh, in California in general. And I've seen him on every different type of condition. You know, he's putting in the work out here. So Chaz had, uh, who, by the way, is undertaking uh, Lost's and Mayhem. Saw that. Um, epoxy kind of. Construction. They moved, yeah, they moved things from overseas and brought it domestic in-house. And they've... Uh, Saw Chaz's expertise, who kind of ran some point for them in one and was one of their glass shops and brought them into the team. And he says the Black Sheep build is a stringerless EPS foam foam core with a full biaxial carbon deck. 
I mean, that's, I don't even know what biaxial means. That makes my back hurt. <laughs> Is it a biaxial weave, which is really like a non-weave, resists the distortion that can be an inherent negative element in a lot of stringerless, stringerless builds. The ideal scenario for this build is shorter to lower mid-period swell energy where speed generation is well, key. We're, we're watching it right here. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and this is the byproduct of such tech. Yeah, I mean, that's the rad ripper, black sheep going to work. We got the crew. We hear some people fired up. So, you know, you got to give local boy. He's 30, 40 minutes down the road, San Clemente, California. That's without traffic. Yeah. <laughs> I know the hardest part in Huntington is like just getting from the freeway or if you, you know, you go the toll road up to 73. Oh, summertime from Newport, 45 minutes to seal if you hit every light. I live on, I live in North Huntington just to get across. Huntington is... 30 minutes it's yeah long. it's gnarly but Ooh, here he I goes like yeah sharp this is definitely his best wave he's just smallest way but he zipped into it you know a little he just put the hard hat on so foam climb this turn wraps it back holds it and and just what you were talking about you know in that situation but you know surfing hard surfing you know loose but only a is that a 3.3 3.33? Was that a replay of a 3.3, Maurice? Oh, no, no. We got scores. That's a My score, bad. right? My that's, bad. that's the Heat's best. 5.33. So there I had is. two points to that. There it is. Which, it could be a keeper out there. Oh, I think a 5.33 is a keeper. 5 chi chi. I mean, the dropping tide has kind of really played spoiler on our playing field. Just kind of reducing height and a little bit of umph right oh there's no oomph we know luca's on also kind of similar like carbon Same instruction deal. well my grom left with four hats now he's back with like eight he's got a bucket hat look at this i wish i could show you guys it's unbelievable it's so good he's like uh when i get him on the mic yeah well it's next level anyways so with 18 minutes Luca only on one wave, brother. As we thought, you know, staying busy. Three, 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 zero. Oh, another three, 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 and a five, three, three. Which, you know, has him out in the lead with eight point six six total at the moment. Hey, end of the day, Luca Messinas. He walks away with a second place. Not to just throw things into the mix too early. We already said that earlier, remember? I said the wheels have fallen off. He was on the spare tires with eight minutes to go. Right. And but 2,340 points, like that's more points than he had going into the 5,000. Triple A had to be called off. Right. Out. And, hey, 4,700 smackaroonies. Let's go. I almost, in these situations, even if you have priority, you're next to you're next to the guy without because they're the ones roaming free, and somehow they just typically fall into fun little waves, <laughs> right? So <laughs> why not stay with them? Yeah, so it's you know I mean we've been blessed with great conditions today, and I know you may look on your screen and go those aren't great conditions, but it's not white capping. And traditionally around this time, almost especially wish, in the spring, like, I almost wish it was. Yeah, like <laughs> it, it's it's pretty nuclear. But we had the crazy like wind swell um, that came through the other day that really jacked the surf up. But we've been kind of lucky in the sense that the winds have been fairly light. It's these negative tides have been kind of the Achilles heel for us. It's a roller coaster. But I mean, these guys have the talent. To, Something coming. To, this to could be rip, a little to rip waves this size. A little southerly, one foot at twelve. This could be a left. Well, you know, Luca Messinas would love to go left. He says no dice. Brother's gonna do the little chip roll in. So nice start, little vertical snap, coming over the flat section, hits it there. He's coming back right. So, even, oh, oh nice form carve, Wellesie. Oh! Uh, I was going to say, I mean, I think he's already bettered the 3.33 the black before sheet. he went into the wrap. 
So we'll see. I mean, you know, Luca looked at that one kind of eh, didn't go. That's a hard one to pull the trigger on with priority, but nice little up and over as the oncoming section hits it there. And then this carve was sick. He lays it over, formed out, hits it there. And then the board just cavitates and goes all the way under. I mean, that was a, a sick read and sick, I mean, sick combo. It was, uh, that turn was nice. Four, what'd they go? Four feeling kind of uncharacteristic six. on. Um, oh, he went, should have went grab rail. Uh, you know why? There just wasn't a lot of them pushing back. It was on that kind of ball. a little rib, too, where he hit it. The board just, like, went under. But goes, betters the score. Yeah. Told Four you the work point. was done before he got there. Luca now needs pretty much a nine. 14 minutes, 55 seconds. Yeah, so Ronnie Nelson just gave me a little 411. Luca's uncle lives in Costa Mesa, so... That ah. kind of gives them like the local in, you know, and, and to be able to have a home base kind of in striking distance. And uh, yeah, Uncle Renzo, but takes care of all the South American dudes. We love does, it. Does Renzo ask him if he owns like a Peruvian restaurant? Or a Benzo. <laughs> or a Benzo, <laughs> but he's up. He is up and riding right here, Luca. So these rights are tough. They're chitter chattery. He's doing his best, but it's kind of a... Oh, a little oh. better there. A little better there. He picked a good wave, so uh, the gift that kept given right wow. there. Wow, even got the finish. I mean, we wanted to see him ride waves, and he did. The start was like he was trying to carve, but there was so much chop and bump, he was unable to lay it over. But he just stayed with it, and as the wave got farther inside, it cleaned up. Yeah, I mean, he's going to give the judges something to chew on here. You know, and, and here's your benchmark of comparisons. A 4.6 uh, is the highest single wave score, right? Or, sorry, the 5.33 is the highest single score. The the second best is a 4.6. Luca has nothing on the board but a 1. And there it is. Like, kind of half the, the first turn. Kind of double stage the second one. And then it cleans up and just goes bang, snap. And uh, let's just keep... Uh, just kill the chicken on the bone here bang so you're gonna have to see, what do you think i don't think they're gonna go crazy it was kind of uh um, start stop at the start and just uh, not really uh, a smooth wave that was the money turn in the whole thing they're that best, combo was best the best wave of the heat no five three three has got to be the best i mean he two st he got caught on the first one two stage the second one i'm so. just saying i think they might I mean, I think they might go there. Oh, what do you reckon? Think uh, so. I'm just better than the five three three. I'm just saying. I feel like it's gonna come somewhere around the same, somewhere in between the five three three and the four six. Okay. That's my guess. If they go above it, I'd be surprised, just because the first two didn't have cr there was no crisp, clear cut maneuver. They were kind of broken. He's on the horse though. And don't think anybody out there, I'm not throwing shade on uh, Luca. Love the kid. He's awesome. No, I agree. The, it was a little... Just kind of break down what we saw. Yeah. The you never know. You're right. I could be high. They might just go, 6-5. <laughs> I have a feeling. I have a weird feeling. Yeah. So, anybody out there, you guys uh, hopefully can get down here before they give it all away but massive props to jacks they have been handling surfers surf needs since 1957 and they have multiple locations across the southern california coast from san clemente the outlet to the huntington outlet um up the street on you called it gothard Let's get you on the panel. Let's get you back on the panel. Hey, and then Hermosa, <laughs> Dana Point, Croner Del Mar, HB, the flagship store, 537. Yeah, it was like kind of right there, this right? This could be trouble. So better start up through the lip. Oh, it's getting messy. Oh, boy. This is going to be the heat's best. It's getting messiness. So they like it. So back to back, double down. 537 was the last. This has got to go above it. Yeah, better start. Had the little speed, a little horizontal speed float. Kind of re-entry. Bigger second turn. Oh, wow. 
I'm uh, could be wrong. Well, they might be staring into the glare. Boom. It was it was a little love tap. Well, the first one was broken, right? Mm. It was like a two stager off the front, like the first turn, and the second turn was. Or the first turn was a half. Oh no no no! That's turn. the left. That's oh. the left. This is the right. Okay. Yeah. Now then, now that makes yeah. sense. Six three three. Okay, that is the heat's best. All right. Judges were a little slow. Yeah. I was a little fast. Yeah. The four one. You, we were we were chatting chatty Kathy, and we got the he went left little turn, kind of went up up and over, and that right goes six three three. So there you go. Pressure's on uh, Chloe and Dino chasing a 6.37 here under the 10-minute mark. This is the Jax Pro. We're psyching. It's the Jax Pro. <laughs> I need some Fuax just to sit down. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Keep me in my chair. <laughs> I'm stuck. Bang. So, yeah, I mean, the judges like this one. I liked it. It was definitely a clear-cut uh, best wave of the heat. 6.33 for Luca Messinas takes the lead. Brother on the hunt for a 637. Does he have it in the tank? Of course. Will HB provide? Oh, it looks like Messina's got another one. What? So this under priority situation is uh, deadly. I, it's deadly. I mean, I feel like that's kind of been the the day. If you have priority, you are screwed. <laughs> and not in most cases, but man today crazy town for sure you just want to hand it over handle it handle it <laughs> here i decline priority <laughs> i don't want it this is his last little wave so he's going rapid fire we will get you a front angle view but we are out in the drone well he's trying to throw away a five three seven Could right be close yeah here we go so decent little wave here wellsy the vertical and uh, slashes it oh, right man. there. Huh? Oh, Speed boy. float. So it did well to keep his speed over there and then gets a solid finish. I mean, to bookend that thing? Wow. Okay. We almost had back-to-back. -back, I, uh, I feel like it's not going to be better than the best, but it might be right around or just better than the In between? The throwaway, yeah. 6-3. Six, six, right above maybe the 5-3-7. I can't see it eclipsing the best one, mm. but he definitely grinded it, just it out. Just depends if they can see in the glare. Yeah. Okay. Five nine three. So there you go. You're right. I need to know. I just hire me on the WSL. You're on. Let's go. I'm a judge you're now. You're on point. I'm a judge. Let's go. I so know what I'm talking just, about we're, today. We're gonna bring you in for <laughs> Hismo. Yeah. See right. See how you do. Let's go. I got this. You might have just earned a job to head over onto the gold. Yeah, coast. okay, Bill Sides. I want to jump on the panel. 593, Luca Messinas twisting the... Uh, the grips? The grips. He's just like a python giving uh, Kolohe the squeeze. 693 required. Wow. Okay, seven minutes remaining. Just a little over seven. And uh, tell you what, we're going to have a brand new champion. Kira Pinkerton walking away with... The trophy, the points, and the Skrilla for the women's. And will it be Luca Messinas or Chloe and Dino? Uh, Chloe needs a pretty good score of a seven. And Luca, tell you what, six three three and a five nine three. It ain't, ain't too shabby. But I mean, kind of sniffed out those was waves. That same thing. He it got, didn't look like much. Even on the slow start heats, he somehow he's he's managed to crawl back and figure it out. He's had heats where he just kind of started out, guns a blazing. He's in form. Yeah. In fine form. I mean, coming off the Barbados win, can he go back to back wins? It's as of now, he's looking good. We almost had Zoe pull it off. It could have been a double back to back, same winners. That would be psycho. Really? I mean, rhythm, the ocean, surfing, it does that kind of stuff. Yeah. But uh, oh, hold the phone, brother. He's trying to roll into this double up slash right there. So hits it again. I think you know the situation. Okay, so he ain't laying down. 
Is it better than the 4-6 or the 5-3-3? Brett's lip is twitching. It's just tough because, it, yeah, he's disappointed because his situation slipped away from him under his priority. But it wasn't not a lot he could have done. Luca just found those little double ups. I mean, yeah, you can't do anything. That is like just getting lucky, mm. right? Kira Pinkerton did it in the semi just under priority. Just boop, boop, done. I'm twitching. But I don't think it's going to go uh, that high just because the wave. Oh, man. Know, that's that... a damn good surfing, though. Oh, he just flared that little wave. Is it his best? Maybe. I like the drone shot. Really kind of shows just, uh, I don't know, just shows you those subtle accentuations of technique. Yeah. And like just getting the weight on, weight off release and those smaller kind of crumbly sections. Because that is hard to do. I mean, that's having equipment that lets you load up and just squeeze the juice out of it. Yeah, right? looks like Give you the speed. Looks like it's going to be his best. I like it. Okay, we got a heat on our hands. Now we're in a battle. Drop the 5-5. Five, five. Drop the 6-3 as of now. It's looking in that. 5-8-3. Kolohe and Dino answers back. Still on the hunt for a 6.43 in this Jax Pro men's final. It's on, Brett. It is. And it's it is. Uh, it's it's really taking shape here at the four-minute mark. Had a feeling it was going to be tight. I think it's hard to, in these conditions, to run away too far ex you know, on excellent scores. But, uh, yeah, what a, you know, he's crawling back. He kind of had to go on that wave. I feel like he waited quite a while to to end up getting back. Bye, Dad. Love you. Make me something. No. So we're, we're lining this one up. Sorry, everybody. Forgot to turn my mic off. No, you're good. The crew <laughs> is, is on their, headed home. My posse just bolted. They've got uh, at least Michael uh, Bolton. $200 worth of product. <laughs> my kid's got like nine hats just on. Just rob the beach. Up to $999. It's free. Yeah. I mean, that's that was the whole idea. That's And the beauty for the Jax Pro We is, got a little something here. Will he make, you know, he's trying to make Luca make a decision. I'll hold my thought. Kolohe going to have a... Okay. Yeah, he held, he held out. Well, the beauty is that... Ron and Bobby, Jamal, they rally the industry, get them down here and put them in front of consumers and hopefully turn them into customers. Oh, right? very much so. We got an important ride here, Chad. Vertical snap there. He's out. Yeah, Jax Pro. I mean, thank you to Ron, Bobby, Jamal. I mean, supporting these events is a lot more than just, you know, throwing a contest on. You have all these brands. You have all these athletes that, you know, are... It's imperative for their careers. Totally. Well, I think it's important for the brands, too, because this is where you win hearts, exactly. right? Exactly. Get down on the up. sand. Put yourself in front of people. Have really accomplished marketing people that can interact with the gen pop. For sure. Right? That's how, oh, my God, the Quicksilver guys, I love them. Yeah. You know, the Billabong guys were so insane. It's one of those things. Give people a good interaction, and it lasts forever. Exactly. And that's how you keep your your consumers and customers happy that's it but right. uh we're winding this down 150 he's gonna roll the dice on this backhand can this thing grow down the line it might it's got a little southern oh. heavy pulse to it oh this could spell trouble can he keep the board speed up and over this flat section all right. Gonna wrap it back. Didn't get the extension on the closeout hit, but got the combo. 6-4-3. Oh, is he calling it? 120 on the clock. Eh. I mean, I feel like he didn't sell it, but, you know, I'll leave it He's... to the judges. But regardless, what a great event. I like... think for the fans at home watching, too, small waves is so taxing. Probably it's more than, you know, bigger waves in a sense not getting worked but just the amount of energy you have to expel oh, into the sure. waves sure like i always small waves like really can blow you out like, well it's a lot of work it's a it's an aerobic deal yeah right everything is in play 
Well, you don't stand there and just let the waves power push you. You got to generate. Well, it looks like both the boys making their way in. Last of blue coming in. It's not going to be enough. So it's going to look like the Peruvian nectar. Wow. Here we go. Luca Messina's taking the die. Look at he's just famished. I mean, he's had a great few weeks, last couple weeks. He's tired. Very much so. Earned it. Well, you can see Kolohe coming back. He's going to greet him. That was a great final and some. You know, sub-marginal waves, these guys just gave it their all. Yeah, and I mean... Talk put everything about, into it. Talk about a dream run. Luca Messina's coming off a big win in Barbados, has the break, makes the Challenger Series, basically came out of nowhere to win that event, like, point-wise and to qualify. Yeah. Taking the win here at the Jacks. His name is etched in the Perpetual Trophy. There is the handshake. All right. I mean, we did it, Brett. That we was did a rad it. shot High right five. there. Rad shot. Dang, Congratulations, Luca Messinas. Just uh, on a tear. Barbados to Huntington Beach. Jack's Pro, your champion. 2024-25. Current North American ratings leader. Uh, great job, Chloe and Dino. Finding form back in the finals here at the Jack's Pro. Yeah. And... Uh, you know, well on his way. Crew's going to be, these two guys are both going to be representing North America heading over to the Challengers. So, what a, you know, great day. Look how low the tide is. I, I mean, where are we? If England, France, like. <laughs> That's like Nuki. Oh, my God. I mean, commendable performance from Kolohe Andino. I love it. He ripped the whole event. Oh, he was, yeah, star. He was a star. He is a star, and, and Luca has just found his rhythm and he's back on top look at this yeah all right there you go on the chair so if everyone's flag. watching in peru congratulations on a absolute tear and we'll be representing you know on on the world stage challenger series at snapper rocks both of these these competitors but uh we will take a quick commercial break and we will come back and celebrate with the finalist.
All right, we are back. We just finished up the finals. Luca Messinas taking the victory back to back straight from Barbados here to yes, the man. Jacks Pro. Congratulations, <laughs> Luca. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. On, Super stoked. On, happy. on fire, brother. I mean, similar to your semi where that heat started a little slow for you slow. and then you crawled your way back. Yeah, the conditions were really hard today. Uh, it was really small. I think the final was really small too. And yeah, Coloja started quick, but uh, I was just trying to be patient and just try to find like the double laps, you know, the small one double laps. And yeah, I, I was stoked to get two in, in a row really quick, so that, that made the hit. So yeah, super stoked. Well, what a last couple of weeks for you, man. You've got to be super proud. Your family, everyone supporting you. I mean, it's been a it's been a nice role. Anyone you. you like to shout out? Sí, quiero saludar a toda mi familia, a mi mamá, a mi hermana, a mi papá, a toda la gente que me está viendo en Perú, a mis amigos que siempre están apoyando. Eh, seguimos con todo. Vamos, que esta es una buena racha y a darle duro a representar a Perú. Thank you guys. Appreciate and, it. And what's next? You're, uh, I, I want to hear, are you, what's the plans heading over to the Australia soon? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go back home, train with my coach, and then, yeah, get ready for Australia. I'm going to do both of the challengers and then get ready for Olympics as well. So, yeah, big year. All right, big year, yeah. big start. Uh, congratulations, everyone. Super stoked. Jack's Pro Champion, Luca Messinas. Thank you, guys. You. Enjoy. Yeah. And there you go. It is in the history books. Luca Messinas taking the win here on the south side of Huntington Beach at the Jack's Pro, presented by 805. We have done it, Brett. We have put this event to bed. We've got two brand new champions. Should we go to bed? Kira Pinkerton. And Luca Messinas, men's and women's champions. Happy days. We did it. We have conquered the Jacks Pro. We rode that horse all the way into the sunset today. Yeah, what a way to finish off. Luca Messinas going back to back, straight from Barbados. A couple weeks later, boom. I mean, it's uh, it's one of those things, right? Like watching that final, it's it was so, um, gosh, unpredictable, I feel. Right. Yeah, well, you, we kind of had a pl we had an idea of how the you know heat might pan out, and uh, it just you know when it ends up, Luca had the plan. We knew he was kind of have to find maybe the little better waves, but it was done again, pretty much under priority. Yeah. Which oh, look at this. Hey, you got a new Nixon bread. Hey, check this out. <laughs> it's a custom one. It has your name in it. Hey, you but he also, both the winners today. Super 73. Super 73, which is a couple grand. Oh, no, we've seen these things. I there. know. I've wanted to steal one out the back door. They're nice. He's and, like, wait, I got a watch? And a customized Nixon watch. And, uh, I mean, did we ever figure out if it was nine, ninety five hundred, eight grand? But either way, he's walking home with a nice bag. Yeah, and most importantly, 3,000 points yeah, for I, his 20, 2024 25 campaign. Which, you know, when you're a competitor, you forget the money's nice, but those points are so valuable, yeah. more so than even the money. Well, that's going to define where you sit at the end of the year, right? Yeah. Well, All right, well... We have done it. Don't go anywhere. We are going to get prepped for the post show. The post show. With that post. And bring up final. a wrap and just show you some of the highlights. Okay. All right. We're going to hit the awards first. We are close to getting the awards underway. I'm sure we got some photo ops going down. Beach is still. You got the Kaloe and his crew kind of, you know, f talking it over right there to the right. And, uh, yeah, we're going to crown our winners here at the Jack Surfboards Pro 2024 edition.
women's U.S. Air Force Air Show champion presented by FUWAX is none other than the youngster Zoe Kaina. Alex, Lima, would you mind getting a photo of both of you guys? Alex, you still here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Smile, guys. Your air show champions. And the Goofy Footers dominating the U.S. Air Force Air Show presented by FUWAX. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. All right, let's welcome, oh yeah, quick quick photo. No, 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 go ahead, quick photo. You guys want a quick photo? Yeah. Hey, Guy pays the bills. Flu Wax pays the bills, you know? All right, there we go. Our U.S. Air Force Air Show champions presented by Flu Wax, Alex Lima, Zoe Kaina. And let's call up our first runner-up. So your Jax Pro runner-up on the men's side. Going to give him a few seconds here to get ready. No worries. All right, big round of applause for perhaps the most successful surfer in American surfing history outside of the great Kelly Slater. You guys know him as Kolohe. They know him as brother. Runner-up on the men's side of the Jacks Pro, Kolohe Andino. Congratulations. Uh, thanks, brother. And then... Our women's runner-up, hoping she's around here. Okay, so your women's runner-up at the Jacks Pro is none other than Florida's own Zoe Benedetto. All right, photo op, guys. Make sure to smile. Yeah. <laughs> Caps pays the bills, dude. All right, thank you guys. Colo Andino, Zoe Benedetto, they're your runner ups. Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate you. Over here. Zoe, can we get you over here too? Benedetto, Simpo, can we get her over here in the middle? All right. Your men's champion. Here at the Jax Pro, just qualified for the challengers and for the first time ever wins the event. It's the machine, La Máquina, Luca Messinas is your Jax Pro champion. And not only do you get 3,000 points in the, in the middle, Luca, over there, <laughs> you get 3,000 points, you get the check, you also get a Super 73 bike. I saved it. And also a custom Nixon watch. Congratulations. Your first win here in Huntington Beach. How does it feel? Oh, man, it is amazing. Uh, I've been training in this wave my entire life. Uh, you know that because I see you here. 
uh, I don't know, this is, it feels like home. And I'm lucky to have all my family here all the time. I have my two uncles that live in Costa Mesa and Malibu, and they take me at the home. And, and just stoked to have this opportunity to finally win in Huntington Beach. Uh, it's something that I wanted my entire life. So, yeah, I'm super happy. And what about competing against Kalo in the final two? Must be surreal uh, surfing a heat against him. Yeah, we have we had plenty of hits uh, in the city, uh, in the ISAs too. Uh, he's an amazing surfer. He's an inspiration for me. So it's always nice to have a hit against a city surfer. And yeah, that was amazing, man. And that is, is a dream for me. Anything you'd like to say to the people in Peru in Spanish? Uh, sí, saludar a toda la gente de Perú siempre que me apoya, que está ahí, a mi familia que también está ahí, a todos mis amigos y vamos a darle con todo, vamos a seguir en el Challenger y a seguir con toda la meta de las Olimpiadas también. Felicidades, muchas gracias. Congratulations, Luca Messinas, your Jax Pro champion. And now, after a hard fought victory, and as always, making things awkward, your women's champion here at the Jax Pro, San Clemente's Kira Pinkerton. <laughs> Congratulations, Kira. You also take home a Super 73 bike and a custom Nixon watch. Congratulations, first major victory here in Huntington Beach. Oh man, I don't even know what to say. I'm super happy. This whole week has just been really fun down here and I just got picked up by 805, so shout out to them for my new sponsor. Um, and thank you guys for the support all week. I've had my best friend Kiana and Alyssa Smith and my dad down here with me. I feel like I have a really good support crew right now, and that's honestly a win in my heart. And to win this event, too, has been amazing. What's really amazing is that all four finalists, the two men and the two women, have just qualified for the challengers. And now you both had major success here in the first event for the next season. How does that feel, knowing that you have not only starting on the right foot, but most importantly, gaining momentum for the Challenger Series season? Yeah, I haven't won an event in like five years in the QS, so this is like, beyond me right now. I feel like I need to go home and cry. <laughs> well, don't cry here, Kira. Congratulations. You're the Chalks Pro champion. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for your champions and your runner-ups here at the Jack Surfboards Pro. We're getting <laughs> and make sure, let's uh, get a, a group photo here, guys. Yeah? Cool. Congratulations, Kalohe. Congratulations, Zoe. Kira Pinkerton, your women's champion. Luca Messinas, your men's champion here at the Jax Pro. See you all next year in 2025.
surfing lifestyle that's developed, it's really the yoga lifestyle. You know, the purpose of yoga is obviously to, one, gain control of your mind. That's that meditative state of mind that the whole practice of yoga is trying to instill in you. Jack O'Neill just wanted us to surf longer. And that's exactly what these board shorts were designed for. Tough and timeless, the Traveller Enduro board short. Welcome to the Jax Pro Post Show. We're at the Post Show. Presented by the Cold Beer Surf Club by 805. We are here. What a day. I mean, we grinded out crazy grind off conditions to kick the event off. Went into some nuts overhead wind swell. Yesterday's clean conditions. We finished off in smallish, but doable uh, surf and we crown brand new champions we have new champs and uh it's been some informed surfers you had luca messinas taking the victory back to back coming off a of barbados win qualifying for the challengers and then kira pinkerton local girl right down the road san clemente california has won here on the world level at the isa world games gets her first Bigger QS win, 3,000. And she said during this event she hadn't won that many big QSs. So this one kind of catapults her, yeah. and she's excited for the challengers. Right. I mean, conceivably a big monkey off the back, right? Like, did it. Sometimes you you have to have that win to know the feeling. She's won events as we talked, but that event on the qualifying level is important for her quest on this challenger series. Yeah. I mean, this is a huge launch pad for anybody's campaign for the 24, 25 season in, in to get qualified for the challengers. Yeah. And right? then you have the likes of Chloe and Dino coming back, just turned 30 years old, uh, two, two new babies and just, fighting his way back and he's hungrier than ever you could tell he was fired up surf smart he's had the best air of the event 9.33 just launched on a right hander and 
um, you could he, he's ready to to take on the task to get back to the world tour. Yeah, and I mean he deserves to be there. I think. Yeah, most definitely. And you know this this event has been a treat. It's been a pleasure to be a part of the Jacks Pro. Thanks, Ron, Bobby, uh, Jamal. Seven years running. I can't wait. I hope we're back for an eighth. Just, I have a good feeling. I mean, we're talking industry support, the vendor village. It's all here. And what a great, great event to just get in front of people. And right? It's, it's, a, it's fresh and new in a sense, too, where this is results for this next season, 2024-25 season, which is important these athletes are looking to qualify to get to the challengers to to get to their goal of making that world tour. Yeah, just to, you know, to go battle the world. So let's uh let's see what the boys have cooking for us. What's gonna run? Let's go. Fired up. And then we got a little road to the finals. We right here got a little throwback on some of our champions, Huzanomi Batero, Kevin Schultz, Crosby Colapinto, Nat Young, Keanu Asing, and Johnny Mel. And when we started the day, there was a couple, you know, contenders, as in Nat Young was in the draw quarterfinals, and he ended up getting upset by, you know, the eventual event winner in Luca Messinas. Yeah, and there you go. There are your women's names. Katie Simmers, Sawyer Lindblad, back-to-back. Guess whose name's going on there right here? Kira Pinkerton. That's and it. she has had a great event. Smooth, solid, precise and uh broke out qs 3000 win jacks pro that was their top ride in the finals 5.55 was able to get the job done in some tough conditions there's her friends and her her uh family members congratulating her on her big victory and like you said her father was down here to celebrate as well and there's no better feeling than that right there when the girls got to carry you 300 yards on this negative low tide. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, I won the SEAL comp, but it didn't look anything like this. <laughs> <laughs> and your men's champ right here, Luca Messinas, just in fine form. He couldn't put a foot wrong. The last two heats, he had slow starts, but he just crawled back every time, Wellesley. Hey, and honestly, uh, more miraculously, a guy that's been known for a very strong forehand or backhand, backhand yeah. one on his forehand i know and i will say he's put in a lot of work like every time i see him out here he's going right i think he knows his backhand's fine-tuned and ready to go yeah so he works on his forehand and look the last two events barbados jacks pro rights victory yeah on rights awesome well so. congratulations to our winners and uh brand new winners to the perpetual trophy so they are etched in uh History on the book. trophy, yeah, forever. They will forever live on the perpetual trophy here at the Jacks. And um, I mean, on on a fifty-two thousand foot level, I could just take note on how good people's equipment looked. This event, so much good small wave equipment. And you have been mentioning it this whole event, where yeah, the everyone's pretty fine tuned. Everyone's been competing. Co- Kolohe had a little break, and but the eventual winners have been fine-tuned and ready to go leading into this, and we saw performances in all different kind of conditions, and the person, the the two that reveled the most were Kira Pinkerton and Luca Messinas, and yeah. look, they're on, like you said, they're etched in history. Yeah, no, I mean, they did it. Everybody was just revved up, all very fine-tuned coming off that, East, we'll just call it easterly leg you know barbados ron john's dominican they come here they're just fired up and it showed everybody was ripping and uh you know the two front runners kira and luca until next season boom jacks pro thanks to everyone for tuning in we will be signing off see you in 2025 bang